Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday. Let's start the stream. Hey. Happy Monday. Happy New Year to you, chat. How are you? Welcome to the stream. We're live, baby. Oh. We're live. Feels good. Feels good to be alive. Feels good to be alive. Can I get a woo? You can get a woo. Woo! <laughs> okay, baby. Um, I saw some subs and resubs already. Let me get those. Let me get those. Let's get. Let's cut straight to business. ALC Fan of Six being a 36 month or a new year. Let's go. Congrats on three years. And Kublai Khan, thanks for being a 40 month or happy new year. Happy new year. Today is January 1st, 2024. We actually made it. Can I get an Oya for making it to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this, oh, this Oya goes out to everybody. We made it. Oh, yeah. Whatever they say about us, we made it to 2024. Don't listen. EGP Noodles, thank you for gifting a gift sub. We have an extensive art show today. Uh, Zorgla, thanks for being a 17 month or can I get a creepy happy new year for chat? No, unfortunately we can't do that. That's not right. Um, packed art show. And then today's stream is just wild. We're going to kick it off with chat. Stupid choice awards, 2023 awards, of course, from chat to various video game characters and moments from streams throughout the year. That of course leads into the entire review, the tier making of every video game we streamed throughout the course of 2023. Let me just set your expectations and check. This will take hours. <laughs> and then, once we have finally finished our business with 2023, it's time to move on to 2024. And open up the docket. The docket is, of course, the list, the schedule, the plan, the agenda for every game we will stream in 2024, potentially. <laughs> uh, I think we got, I think we got maybe like a 20% batting average on the docket, but uh, it is still a valuable tool. Um, oh my God! You know, uh, just get something to keep in mind, chat. I think in the previous past we have used um, Wikipedia, the article that's like 2024 in games. Um, I wonder if there's a more visual resource for a list of games that are coming out in the new year. Um, but uh, as I just said, that's hours from now. We'll worry about that later when we get to it. So yeah, first we look at 
all of the newly announced games for 2024, see if we're playing them this year or not, see if they fit in the schedule. For instance, here at the end of January, we have uh, Tekken 8 and uh, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth on the same damn day. Uh, so stuff like that, conflicts like, like that do pop up. Killer Instinct week. Yeah, we got to figure out when that is happening. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so we'll figure that out. And then we open up the docket to your submissions. Games that have released before 2024. Um, those are all added via random chance and deliberation. First, the random chance is the wheel. We spin a wheel to pick your number. We look at your submission. We think about it. And then we add it to the docket or we don't. This year, I'm thinking about having a maybe a maybe bucket. A maybe bucket. And so the maybe bucket is like, uh, okay, let's just put that in the maybe bucket for now. We'll figure out if it's getting on the docket or not later, you know? So yeah, I, I expect the, the maybe bucket to be a valuable tool as well. It is too late to submit to the docket officially. And unfortunately. Uh, I have already set up the wheel. The docket is locked the sum, the docket submissions are locked we should say um i apologize for that merely a matter of uh being able to slap this stuff together in time for the stream to begin phone lines are closed yep a physical bucket would i don't have a physical bucket chat <laughs> Um, I have noticed when watching Max's stream on Twitch, he has some emote thing on while it's just him on camera. I have noticed some people have been using the pig a lot <laughs> due to chat. <laughs> Do not use, don't show Max the pig. Uh, tomorrow's my 35th birthday. Can I get a happy birthday? Yep. Happy birthday, Violin. Uh, can I also request an, oh yeah, not in the same message. No. Uh, I got my first ever Natty Shiny yesterday, a golden Puccina. Awesome. On my first Pokemon Emerald playthrough. That's legit. That's nice. Uh, Green Primal Ranger, thanks for being a two-monther. Love a two-monther. I pray to God that you put 102 Dalmatians on your docket. <laughs> I don't know if those prayers are going to be answered. <laughs> I've been holding my breath that you'd play that game since you were streaming Legend of Dragoon. <laughs> I don't... Pray, pray to Cruella. <laughs> God has no, there's no interest in that. Okay. Uh, let's start the art show. Let's get this, let's get this cooking because uh, there's, there's, we got, all right. So the normal rule for the art show is one submission per person per week. However, there was no stream last Monday because Santa Claus said so. There was no stream on Christmas. So uh, we are, uh, we allow people to submit uh two things on a week that we have taken off um and then uh the problem with that is that uh i'm also allowing two minute videos as you'll see uh right now oh stand by so hold on this whole thing about Kyle, i was watching the mgs vod not sure if someone said this already, but you mentioned the Twin Six codec calls don't have the expressions MGS said. And I remembered you said years ago that it uses the same models as MGS2, but that's not true. While it does use MGS2's codec UI, it uses the same portraits. Thank you, Marcello, for setting that straight. I actually appreciate that. My birthday was the 25th of December. Can I get a belated happy birthday? Yeah. Happy birthday, A Christ. Now, hold on a moment. Are you role playing? I think this has happened before. I feel like A Christ has told me your birthday is Christmas before. And I can't tell if like that's legit or if you're role playing. Is this RP? A wild Rom star thanks for being a 43 month. They're happy New Year, Kyle and chat. I've been off the grid for a while, but Kyle, just wanted to check that you knew you made some cameos in the YouTube doc on Ray Rizzo. Oh my god. Is it that thing where I'm asking him if far fetched is legit? I had no idea. I can't click this right now. I got too many tabs open. Wait, and is it a good doc or a bad doc? There will never be another Pokemon player like Ray Rizzo. Okay, phew. Do you consider yourself the greatest player of all mm. time? That was a good question. Oh, uh, Wolf Glick made this. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, all right, all right. Chat, when you tell me, when you tell me a video 
online personality had a doc made about them, usually it's not good. <laughs> Slicey, thank you for gifting five gift subs. Farangi, thanks for being a 15-monther. Discord events? You're right, we always start with those. And you're a subscriber, hell yeah. Uh, Shabello, thank you for gifting a gift sub. Sorry, I'm just catching up. It's my legit birthday, officially 33 years old now. Hell yeah, A Christ. Happy to hear it. There's a request pin. Can I get a big buddy? Because I said, come on, little buddy, to my seven-year-old son, and he said, okay, let's go, big buddy. I'm afraid so. Is there something you should tell me, big buddy? All right. All right, all right, all right. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I was gonna grab. I was gonna grab my coffee before we talk about this, but let's. I mean, it, chat. This is a legitimate week. It's a special day. It's the. It's. It's the first of January, first of twenty twenty four. But it's, this is still a legitimate week of streaming. <laughs> Back to business. So on Wednesday, Music Club is happening, four p.m. to six p.m. Eastern time. It's that time of year to look back at 2023 in music, bring your favorite songs or albums during last year. Video game related music is allowed if it fits more into song than soundtrack. So you mean, you know, you want a tight two to three minutes is what you're saying. You don't want everybody chilling out listening to pop, 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 pop for 15 minutes. I get it. I get it. Um, Chad, I really think 10,000 Gex would be my pick for best of 2023. That was Chat's only good musical recommendation in their lives. Actually, no, Chat's, Chat's got some good music. Um, but uh, what was so funny about that is like, I, I actually thought you were trolling me at first. When I first started listening to that album and it's like, frog on the floor, where he going? I'm like, what, what is Cho's Chat pranked me? They pranked me into getting this. Um, but I just had to like listen more and more, and then I couldn't stop listening to that album. You know, it's good shit. With a heavy heart, I've switched my Easy A sub to Joel Haver. Who is Joel Haver? But I still have some more pennies left over. I could send your way. What's the most hopeful way? What do you mean hopeful way to send me pennies? Um, here on Twitch and on Patreon. Your pick. Joel Haver is great, says chat. Joel Haver is a filmmaker comedian. All right. Cool shit. All right. All right. Yeah. So, all right. Here's the thing. Here's a problem I still have is like, if I'm curious about an at Kyle Bossman, I'll read out the whole thing before finishing the sentence. I'll read, I'll start reading it out loud before reading it in my mind, you know, like that Metal Gear Solid thing. I'm really happy to know, actually, that Twin Snakes uses the portrait faces. However, those faces still appear in cutscenes, and I can't look at them. Okay, anyway. Uh, Digimon Club, Thursday night, 8 to 10 p.m. That is, of course, a Digimon trading card game chat. If you're interested in checking that out, if you're already a fan of the TCG, there's a group always playing that Thursday nights, 8 p.m. And then, Sunday, we're having another session of Gunpla Building, 10 to 12 p.m. Eastern Time on the Robot Party Discord, exclamation point Discord, if you're interested in checking any of this out, chat. You like that Black Country New Road album we recommended? Honestly, that's what I thought of when I said chat never has good recommendations. That was a really good road trip album. I had forgotten, and then I remembered. I, I corrected. Um, all right, so we do have a video. We got a two-minute video, chat. Uh, I'm going to go grab my coffee. Here we go. Just know that this is permitted. After two weeks off, it's even recommended. The Beef Studs have runners on first and third, and Taz <laughs> hits the ball in the left field, but it should be caught for the first out. But Marlock <laughs> drops the ball, and he's so distraught, it takes him a moment to pull himself together and throw the ball in, but it's too late now. The Beef Studs are up one to nothing. Jonah up to bat again after scoring the game's only run so far, and he hits another high fly ball deep in the center field. It looks like it has enough. Little looks dejected as he watches it pass over the wall for another solo dinger by Jonah. The count is currently 0-1 to beep, and he hits this one in the left field. He absolutely annihilated that pitch for a solo dinger, putting the glimmers up 2 to nothing. 
Marlux is up to bat with the bases loaded, and he hits the ball to third base and takes the <laughs> ball out with the bomb while Pitt callously runs by, refusing to help. Thankfully, ball recovers in time to get the last out, but not before a run scores. He said callously. <laughs> Graves is up to bat with a runner on first, and he hits the ball into shallow right field, and Tesder makes a phenomenal catch and throws Spice out at first for the double play. The count is 0-2 to Arthur. He swings late, but the umpire felt bad for him and <laughs> the ball anyway. Joner's up the bat at the bottom of the third of a scoreless game with two outs. Wolf looks fatigued, but the manager decides to keep him in. Joner's gonna use the meteor in this one, and he hits a high <laughs> fly ball deep into left center field. He didn't need the meteor for this one, because that <laughs> ball is out of here. <laughs> And the Glimmers win one to nothing on a solo dinger by Joner. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> oh, that was good. Now, that was not credited, but I saw Ickity Ackity Oop in chat claiming, claiming that. That's some good shit. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, what I love about it, I always forget who's actually in the field. You know what I mean? Uh, they're all the same to me in the field. But hearing, like, actual players' names of who's making those double plays, that's something. I love that. Can we get Solo Dinger on the soundboard? So funny, bro. That meter was not needed. Uh, I feel like this will be important context to anybody who missed Saturday's stream. Uh, a big event happened at the barnyard. Ben fought those coyotes off like a strong man, defending others, but it took every last bit of his strength. <gasps> that night, we lost Ben. He was our leader and our friend. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of the world. Snow cone guy, I don't buy it. You're in denial. <laughs> You're in denial. I don't buy it. No, 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 no. There's no, there's, there's no reason to believe Ben is still alive on a beach right now. That's not canon. No, 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 no. I don't buy that. <laughs> I got a question about this one. All right. Sometimes, sometimes chat, sometimes I get in trouble there's a piece in the art show that's like, oh, Kyle, that's actually not a good reference. You shouldn't have shown us this. And this one might be one of those, but I don't know. So help me out with this, chat. Who is that man? It's the guy from Beastly. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. I was so sure this was like, it's 50-50, right? Like it could be somebody who like murdered someone, you know? That guy looks like somebody who probably murdered somebody. Okay. So it's just the guy from Beastly. Okay. Casey, we're clear. We're clear. Doesn't it look, it looks like, it looks like a photo from a trial or something, you know? All right, that one's clear. We're clear. Now here's a, here's here's another piece from Casey. Similarly, I can't tell if I'm being pranked or not. Spider-Man Two, B Casey eighty seven together. I 
I forgot about the white dot. No, 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 no that's on me. I forgot about the white dot. <laughs> All right, so Spider-Man 2 has a lot of uh, accessibility options, chat. And so when we first loaded up the game, we tinkered a lot. We tinkered with our options a lot. And one of them was turning this dot on or off. Unfortunately, the dot stayed on during cutscenes. And it became part of Spider-Man's story. And then you can see here, <laughs> the symbiote has taken over the dot. Yeah, that's, this is like a, that's a very simple comic. That's nice. Cabana boy Rylan, thanks for being a 14 month or happy new year back at you. Minimalist. Yeah, thank you. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember it. It's it's a crazy jumble, like a like a nightmare. I, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. Shadow. The ultimate <laughs> <form>. and <laughs> chaos control. <laughs> I remember Sonic Adventure 2. I remember. Wishes are eternal. <laughs> I am the ultimate life form. All right. You're going to chat. I don't know what it is about you. There's going to be, you're going to see a lot of that tonight. <laughs> I don't know what it is about you, chat. This I obviously love. This is a callback to the gif of um, Gabe Logan dribbling a basketball. Here we see Solid Snake also dribbling a basketball with a little uh, wolf dog cub. Cub? Yeah. Snake wins that pickup game? No. He, he can't jump as high as Gabe Logan can jump. Pup. Okay. Wolf dog pup. Cub is for bears exclusively. Okay, chat. Fine. It's still cool. Husky, perhaps? No, uh, the game said. The game said it's half dog, half wolf. Yeah, so this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying right here. It's like sometimes chat just like all has the same ideas. Sometimes like sometimes chat is just invaded with these thoughts, you know? I do appreciate the Cynthia up in the upper left hand corner. <laughs> Yeah, the scrap mind. <laughs> Chat has a scrap mind. Trade car desk quack. Bring the trade quack. Load the car mem the quack quack. Load mem trap desk quack. Bring the trade quack. Load desk quack. Bring the trade quack. Load 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 desk quack. Bring yep. the trade quack. Load. I was right desk again, quack. my stupid the chat. Load. I'm trap quack. Bring yep. the trade quack. The PS5 load. and the original Xbox are the, the trade quack. Same quack. size. Quack. I like the way you work. <laughs> Slippery, 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 slippery. My streamer recommends change of life. A high quality of life improvement. Trust me, I like the way you work. Dirt bag it in. Stupid chat. Bag it, bag it up. Jingle bells. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is. Is to ride on a one horse oh, then slay slay twerking is sexually oh, suggestive dancing slay. on a one horse oh, you are a strange then one slay. characterized slay. by rapid repeated hip thrusts oh, then slay and shaking slay. up the buttocks 
You're right, we're getting banned for this. Fucking kill all this shit. Quarantine it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck this shit. Fuck all of that. Yeah, destroy it. Yes, chat. Twerking means something other than one particular butt dance. She had such a cute way of walking. Way of walking, What's going on with the way she walks? She kind of wiggles her butterfly. Oh, my God. God. Look at this guy. Her butt. Hey, bro. Here's my little butterfly. Statues are just hot. I love the jiggle on her cheeks. Wait, hold on! You're taking me a good girl! I like my little boy! You're me a good girl! No, hon, you're being a bad girl. Come on now. Walk in, gotta get the sippy in my family, but you don't get my sippy at all. Make it colors of the sky. Oh, you're my little boy, I swear it. I swear it. Why did they let you get the colors of the sky? Ba 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 Wow. Damn. I didn't have time to vet that whole thing. That was nice. Oof. Just want to say 2023 was a tough year for me, but sharing my silly songs and getting to make people laugh was a true highlight and really helped me. So thank you, Kyle and Robot Party community. It means a lot to me. You're the best. Blepisaur, that was good shit. Youngster Joey. Thanks for being a brand new subscriber. Oh, man. Now, I can't even... There's some cheeks... Sorry, there's some... <laughs> There's some lines in there that I can't believe I said, <laughs> including, look at her cheeks. <laughs> God, I really love the The sleigh transition is so nice. We might have to play that again. One horse open sleigh. Sleigh. <laughs> And then it go that goes into the twerking conversation. Yeah, that's good. Wow. All right. Yeah, that's a good piece. Neko Luna, thanks for being a six monther. Um, did I miss? I feel like I might have. I feel like there was a video starting. No, you're all caught up. All right, cool. Uh, great. Let me make sure I hit all of those. I think we're good. Moving forward. Chim chim chubby. Thanks for being a thirty three monther. I like this piece. This is most of our created characters and then also every character from the Game Jam of 2023. It's a nice piece. EGP noodles. Love that. <laughs> Why is this inspirational? <laughs> Why does this make me feel inspired? <laughs> 2024, baby. It's going to be okay. We're Yeah, we're going to make this work. We're just riding into 2024 on our BMX bikes with our sunglasses on, hanging on the wall. Oh, we should. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. All right, I'm going to need help with this quite obviously this is a piece from yule scum one one little worm boy two for lucky german pigs japan -ame. <laughs> and he's saying otaku what does the pose mean read the poem okay chat yeah i do i do think i i have a feeling that the poem has something to do with our little alan wake poem that i didn't love too much Definitely Otacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Otacon with Joker's face. And the poem is a haiku. Okay, I'll take it. I think we solved that one. I love this from Alexander Arts. Happy New Year 2024. If uh, Yuffie holding a bunch, a box of Sinistics doesn't make sense to you, it's a callback to the game trailers playthrough of FF7. Where we would play Friday nights, or maybe it was Thursday, but we would play late and we would order pizza in. And uh, we were having a really hard time activating the random battle against Yuffie. And I think it was just like, okay, so if, 
if we fight Yuffie in the next three random battles, her name is going to be Sinistix. And then it happened. No, Aerith. Who? <laughs> She's taking the photo. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's taking the photo. She's taking the photo. And Vincent's like a vampire, so he doesn't show up in photos. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's right. Vincent would be there. Learned Fingers. This is just cool, dude. What are, like, Learned Fingers are really good at, like, using, like, these, like, hot pinks. Makes that thing pop. Yeah, that's really nice. Another piece from Learned Fingers. This I really like. Kenneth Baker. Who watches all of Metal Gear Solid and is like, yeah, I got to draw Kenneth Baker. <laughs> and what's cool is that is the Arms Tech logo officially in canon. That's nice. No, uh, Arms Tech president. Kenneth Baker. Yeah, that's really nice. From Chibinobi here. I'll let Maggie know that another Powers has joined our little spy militia. <laughs> so unfortunately, you have to know here that in the Siphon Filter universe, there is an MI6 agent named Maggie Powers. <laughs> Who within our headcanon obviously is the sister of Austin Powers. <laughs> Liquid Powers. Uh, Johnny J, thanks for being a 12 month or congrats on that year. <laughs> Liquid Powers is very funny to me. Hey, you wrecked Otacon's game console. He's right behind me, isn't he? Heroes Keep, I like this. This is a legit good piece. Want to make it clear to chat. You don't have to add jokes and speech bubbles to really nice pieces of art. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this stands on its own. <laughs> this is just cool shit. <laughs> Love that stuff, dude. Love it. From Goaty Locks. Scrat was me. I was Scrat. But who was the creator and who was the created? A squirrel through time? I existed only to fruitlessly chase after a nut. Forever out of reach. I was still stuck in the Ice Age. Ferragamito. Thanks for being an 11-monther. Is this British comedy? <laughs> nah, this is scrat comedy. It's advanced. It's advanced. I love this. The sloth hound unit from Mr. Brownie. Check this out. So, uh, from left to right, we have Revolver Vach, Sniper Worm, Liquid Hunter in the middle there. Psycho Gordius, Vulcan Shen, and Decoy Scrat. <laughs> Mr. Brownie, that's really, that's good. That's really good. Good matches. I like Revolver Vach, man. I believe in Revolver Vach. Psycho Gordius is so cool to his stupid hair. <laughs> Sticking out the sides of the mask. Yeah, it's nice. That's really nice. From Cats, please. This is watercolor. What's the flag? It's where she comes from, yeah? I, for I actually don't remember where she comes from. Sniper Wolf. Educate me, chat. 
It's the Kurdish flag. Cool. You're not a dog. You're a wolf. Kyle lacks flag literacy, no doubt. Chad, if you, if you gave me every flag, I'd probably get three or four. <laughs> I would do so bad. Oh no, I got to stop this. AFB is escalating this. Worm Boy's fusion is seemingly complete. And I don't know who's saying, oh no, I've got to stop this, but clearly they have worm attributes of their own. Yeah, there's a lot to consider with this piece. And unfortunately, something we'll talk about as we get to the 2024 docket. Uh, Pokemon announced that there will be an epilogue <laughs> to the DLC. They did the DLC, one, part one, part two, and that was supposed to be it. But then they're like, hey, also we're doing an epilogue in January. It's like, okay, all right, we're going back. I thought I was done. I thought I was out of there. But uh, there is the tease of the final, final Pokemon being part of that epilogue, so we'll be in there. The idea behind that piece was that I was imagining Cyperwolf's life in a different universe. She would be part of the Kurdish resistance after surviving the Iraqi Kurdish genocide. That's a nice piece. No, free ep I think it's a free epilogue to anybody who's bought the DLC. Which is kind of weird already, right? So it's like a free gift if you spent money. The Kurdish flag is a symbol of resistance since Kurds lack a homeland. This is what I'm talking about, chat. Educate me. I don't mind it. Fill us in. And here are N7X. <laughs> One final reference to the poem. <laughs> I like how angry this bird is, too. Another win for the birds. Yeah, it's a nice piece, actually. I like that. One bird for light. And then we're all the way back around. If you want to submit any art to the art show. Oh, yep. No, no. Hold that. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them didn't make that in. You're so right. How did it get mixed up? Stand by. Hmm. No, we definitely got that one. We definitely got that one. We got that one. We got that one. We got that one. We got that one. It looks like two. It looks like two didn't make it in. Yep, we we uh we went to uh the OBS max capacity. Stand by. From Woojack. This is really cool. Uh Saturday we played games from chat. We played uh games that chat made. And uh one of them was called Robo Dunk, and it was like basically 2v2 robot basketball, and the only way to score is to dunk. So here, Woojack is depicting Metal Gear Rex dunking. That's nice. Robodunk deserves art. Yeah, I mean, really, really impressed with the entire style of Robodunk. And then, of course, this one. The Continued Adventures of Hog, Volume 8. Happy Hogla Days from Didgeridooist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to enhance that actually. Yeah, he's having he's having a good retirement. I like how big Carbuncle is compared to uh Hog to Hog to Hog. That bears a mount, right? I remember seeing that bear all over. That's cool. Alright. 
Now we can. If you want to submit art to the art show, send that to dearbossman at gmail.com. Put your name on it if you want it to be attributed to you. Only one per person per week. And only one minute if you're making a video or a song. However, because I missed a week, uh, we'd make exceptions for that. But we're going back to next Monday. We're going right back to normal. One per one, one per one. And no Looney Tunes. Yeah, wow. Killer art show, though, man. Killer stuff. Chat took this break seriously. Oh, man. That was fun. Hyphen, thanks for being a 23 monther. How long before Kyle realizes that all the docket submissions are Wallace and Gromit games? We have 177 submissions to the docket. If everyone was that coordinated, if it's 177 Wallace and Gromit submissions, I can only applaud you and play Wallace and Gromit. The new snap season is Planet Hulk. Very cool. War height. Thanks for being a 42 month. I can't wait for another great year. Hell yeah. One, one day at a time though. Yeah, 177 is crazy. We'll never get to all of them, unfortunately. 177 is just nuts. I mean, I'm happy. I'm really happy we got that many submissions, to be clear. Can I get no ya for finally getting back home after several flight delays due to snowstorms? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Shabello, thanks for gifting that gift sub to Shavage. Can we get a betting tournament with Robodunk, perhaps mid-season if there's still baseball? Yeah, it seems like they're still integrating some... Uh, 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 some aspects of that game still patching some in um, if it, if it's a really simple like we can just make up fake teams and just run it run it run it maybe um, but currently like you, you like it's a little random setting up like team red versus team blue you know uh, Zal Goose thanks for being a 43 monther we're gonna kick off uh, chat stupid choice awards next I think All right, I'm not against British comedy. Nope, that's lower. Higher? I'm not against British comedy. Will we see some changes 2024 from you in any capacity? Anything planned? What a question. What would you like to see? VR streams? More mucho, more standing content. I got to say, well, I mean, we'll go. So here's the fun thing. We're, we're going to go through every game I played in 2023. And that uh, helps us get a good gauge of like which streams were good streams this year. I feel like that WarioWare stream was actually pretty good. Like going, going back and looking at those clips, it's so funny to see this guy like going like this and saying like, what the shit? What the shit? Why isn't it working? You know what I mean? Like, that's just, that's just funny. <laughs> I feel like you could get Keely to get you a Muppet as a guest at least once. All right, I don't want to chat. I don't want to. I don't want to reveal too much behind the scenes of the game awards, right? But uh, the Muppets don't like me. Um, grow a beard in twenty twenty four? Absolutely not. No. Twenty twenty two's review absolutely influenced twenty twenty three, and so did twenty twenty one to twenty twenty two. They've heard your Kermit impression. <laughs> They've heard me say that every every comedian can do a Kermit impression. They've heard me say that. Another haircut for color for 2024? Not likely. Does Kyle hate the Muppets too? No, I fucking love the Muppets. You don't even know. No, I mean I don't like I don't fucking love them like I've seen all their movies. <laughs> I don't fucking love them like I know their names, but I do fucking love Muppets. Talked to Hydro Man recently. Hydro Man is a villain. What are you thinking? No, I haven't talked to Hydro Man recently.
Welcome to the first ever Chat Stupid Choice Awards. And now, here's your host, Kyle Bossman. Hey, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> actually, actually, you know what? I got I got more prep to there's I still gotta like prep some clips and stuff. Welcome to Chat Stupid Choice Awards. That was Blepasaur actually. Blepasaur made that. <laughs> It's a good intro. Um, welcome to Chat Stupid Choice Awards. So, uh, what I want to do this year, as I was just saying, we're about to recap every game we've uh, streamed throughout 2023. But I thought it'd be fun to also like have awards for like characters and moments that stood out throughout a year, because um, they're like you know it's part of like a uh, the collective stream appreciation. You know what I mean? Like, there's it's just stuff I don't like want to forget. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many like characters that it's like, oh man, I loved that character. Um, so yeah, it's a fun way to memorize, remember all that stuff. Um, now for the moments in particular, I got to queue up the clips um, because our first category is most surprising moment of actual skill. Uh, now these are moments where, look, people don't come to this channel because I'm a highly skilled professional. This is a variety channel. We're primarily here just to look at Mucho and then secondarily hang out and have a good time. Most of the time, we're not here at this Twitch channel to observe uh, somebody who's ultra skilled at gaming. You know what I mean? You're not, you're not picking up gamer tips watching this stream. But sometimes. Sometimes you witness skill. Sometimes you are surprised by raw gamer performance <laughs> here are the nominees oh actually actually how i'm doing this is reverse order and the percentages so you you're going to see you're going to see basically the nominees in reverse order so this was the worst nominee just to be clear Kyle effortlessly pulls off a high skilled skip in Sonic Adventure 2 with 12.1% of the votes now, let me make sure this works correctly. Uh, bop. And let me make sure that works correctly, I said. It's not. Okay. Stand by. There we go. Great. Perfect. Nope, not that one. This one. There we go. Part of the level and Sonic just falls to the end. So cool, dude. Shit. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. You can't see shit, but I Sonic, can. You alright? You know it. Okay. <laughs> I told you I can do high skill skips. I told you. I told you. Okay, it just keeps going. It, that was cool. Chat, you don't understand. You don't understand. That was actually very cool. What you're not picking up on there is that that was very cool. We had 208 votes submitted. Yeah, a lot of people voted on this stuff, actually. So uh, that means that people were not particularly impressed by what happened there. Kyle wins a Fortnite match by shooting a cowardly sword assailant mid-dash. <laughs> no, this is good, too. This is good, too. I'm glad we're starting with this category. Look at that accuracy. <laughs> Shit. Oh, okay. Missed a shot there. This is how we do it. Okay. And here's here's why chat <laughs> maybe didn't vote this higher. I'm actually dead if that tree is not there. This guy is dead in his tracks right here, and I'm still getting shots, right? If this tree isn't here, 
that's actually not a win. I get it. But that's this fool's fault. I got, I'm using the tree as cover. Get the shot lined up. There, oh, get it lined up. There we go. The tree is destroyed. I got my headshot. That's fourth place. High skill environmental awareness. Thank you, Chad. I appreciate that. Kyle gets a perfect in Rhythm Heaven's pig level. <laughs> Shit, hold on, hold on, I gotta re -cue this clip. <laughs> Do I know my pigs or do I know my pigs? <laughs> what a freak. What a freak. <laughs> now hold on. Two of those clips are pink hair. I wonder if pink hair like helped us out. I wonder if that enhanced my gaming, dude. All right. The runner up in second place. Kyle beats the final level of Super Mario Bros. Wonder faster than Damiani. This one's really going to blow your mind. Shit. Watch this focus. Uh-huh. Look at this shit. Uh-huh. Look at that focus. Eyes peeled. Yep. Tracking it. Eyebrows up, bro. Hold on, here's what's so good. Here's what's so good. You can just see you can just see a little bit of the flag here. Which means that we've oh my god, this is actual anguish. We beat the level, except we need to get the top of the flag to get wonderful. No! Chat, no! 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 No, I didn't do shit yet. <laughs> I didn't do shit yet. <laughs> Alright, we'll skip ahead a little bit there. He gra he grabs grabs himself. He grabs himself. Oh my god. Grabs his confidence. Shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Ale, thank you for gifting a gift sub. Holy shit. Uh oh. That's raw emotion, bro. Wow. Wow. The full do. The full yabba dabba do. And the number one most surprising moment of actual skill of 2023. Kyle draws something he vaguely remembers from possibly a 90s Simpsons comic. Woojack looks it up. It's nearly identical. <laughs> Here it is. Here's the full story. I have a memory, and I don't know if this was a Simpsons episode or a Simpsons Treehouse episode or potentially some Nickelodeon show or potentially a Simpsons comic book of an olive-colored little craft that people shrink down into and travel through a body, a human body. Like, like they put like this olive machine 
olive submarine into a sandwich, <laughs> a Simpsons character or somebody eats it, and then mm-hmm. they travel around the body inside of that little olive that looks like this. Does anybody remember this shit? What am I thinking of here? Nobody remembered this shit. Holy shit. I thought I thought this was difficulty level eight. But look at this shit. Mm, perhaps you're thinking of the magic school bus. No, I'm not thinking of the magic school bus. Please. I'm thinking of an <laughs> olive submarine. <laughs> That's it. I mean, shit, that is it. <laughs> this, chat, this looks like a fucking plant, bro. <laughs> but what's triple fucked is that, like, this image stayed in my mind. The absolute triple fuckery is, like, the idea of, like, for some reason, this red glass stuck with me, dude. I was like, damn, that's cool. Look at that red glass. That looks nice. I should buy that comic. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's just skill. That's just raw gamer skill. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> I like that. What could be said, chat? That's your choice. That's chat's stupid choice for the most surprising moment of actual skill. So not a video game? Hey, nobody said, look, there's no part of this that says it has to be from a video game. <laughs> I think I said, like, if I did a cool coin flip or something like that, like, if I flipped my hat in a cool way, that would count. Can we get an applause? Best I can do is this. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have an applause button. That's as good as it. <laughs> Our next category. Best created character. Now, what's kind of fun about streaming and playing a game where like you're it's like an RPG or so that where you gotta make your own character is like it feels collaborative. It feels like we're all a part of this character's process. Here we award those characters. In fifth place, Tiger Shan from Jade Empire. I don't think people generally liked Tiger Shan like I did. <laughs> we should give him Oyaz. Okay, okay, I, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, we should do Oyaz for the winners. Vach, an absolute icon from Street Fighter VI. 15.5% of the votes. In third place, Worm Boy, who was created in 2022. I think that hurt him a little bit. Uh, generally an icon. He had some good moments in 2023, but uh, it wasn't it wasn't his year. It wasn't his year. Hunter from Marvel's Midnight Suns with 26.1% of the votes, and Chad's stupid choice goes to. Gordius, Baldur's Gate 3, with 27.1% of the votes. Oh, yeah. Incredibly close. Incredibly close. But uh, look at this guy. He really is an icon. When I look at that character, it looks like maybe from, like, a movie. Maybe from, like, a CG movie. Gordius is an absolute icon. I can't believe how good that face looks. Tiger Shen is the Spider-Man 2 of 2023. He was good, but in a year with outstanding characters, he had no shot. Afraid so. Two vote difference. That's crazy. That makes sense because you said it was around 200 people, right? A two vote difference between Gordius and Hunter. That is wild. The stance won it for Gordius. Important aspect of his character, no doubt. Voting matters, chat. Yeah. All right, our next category. Favorite baseball team. This goes to, you know, 
the team that you want to cheer for the most when it comes to super ultra baseball. Sometimes it, sometimes that's a cheer that that's a team that dominates obviously, but no, uh your your in-season record was not at all uh a attribute uh that contributed to whether you could be nominated for this category or not. It's just about the teams we love. In fifth place, the firm. <laughs> With 5.4%. I don't, I mean, I don't, congrats on getting nominated. <laughs> How'd they even get a nom? It happened. It happened. Somebody nominated the firm. <laughs> Laser kiss with just 7.6%. Brutal. In third place, the Richards. With 14.1%. I feel like the Richards are on the rise, man. This team is really gaining some momentum among among the fandom. In second place, the Jankers with 22.2%. The Jankers are the God, they're they're they were just <laughs> an intentionally awful team. And, like, the Tanukis is just, like, a good version of the Jankers. You know what I mean? That's tough. And then, chat stupid choice goes to the Beef Studs with 50.8% of the votes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not close. Absolute wipeout. Beef studs win. Complete blowout. Yep. Yeah. The main characters. Gotta love the beef studs. They also they also have uh they're the only team that was in both seasons, so maybe they'd have that going for them. But no, I think generally people love the beef studs. Our next category. Best party member. <laughs> this is my favorite shit. It goes, it's not, and it's not just like an RPG party member, but it absolutely could be. It's like any like little buddy companion that contributes in some way to the game that you're playing. Um, I love party members. And uh, the key factors is like, it could be absolutely somebody who's just like clutch. You know what I mean? Like the party member who just has ridiculous stats and can just wipe any fight. Or like, like an emotional, like, oh, I love this game because this character is in it. Either of those things contribute to you being the best party member. In fifth place, Hugmaker, the Ursa Luna, with 10.5%. Just uh, basically our, our best Pokemon of 2023. Uh, but that'll only get you 10% of the votes. Gale from Baldur's Gate 3 with only 14.5%. I'm happy to see that. He is our Grease Man. He's the strongest person in our Baldur's Gate 3 party. But as we just said, strength doesn't give you everything. No Gale sweep. No Gale sweep. In third place. Strong Baby Chow from Sonic Adventures 2. <laughs> Who somehow beat Gale. <laughs> <laughs> I love, and I love that. <laughs> Upset of the century. Yeah, poor Gail. And I love that this is, this is, I got a photo of a strong baby child with a little metal on his chest. Love that shit. Okay, here we go. Second place, runner up. Goo from Radiata Stories with 28.5% of the votes, which means. Chat's stupid choice goes to Blade for Marvel's Midnight Suns with 31% of the vote. You can't, chat, you cannot forget about Book Club. <laughs> Blade in this photograph is wearing his Book Club shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goo was robbed. Blade started book club. Because that's like, I think Blade's got it all. Blade had a really fun deck. 
in Marvel's Midnight Sun. So he actually was a fun party member to play as. I really liked his cards. But on top of that, through the story, had Book Club, which he started accidentally as a way to try to get to spend some time with Carol. Captain Marvel. <laughs> Carol Danvers, excuse me. With Carol Danvers. And uh, he, he like accidentally started a book club. So he came to us and he said, look, I made a mistake. Can you please come to book club every other night? <laughs> and we're like, yeah, man, let's do it. And that's the thing. It worked. It worked. No, don't get me wrong. Goo is an icon. Goo is an absolute icon. However, we could not beat the game because Goo's stats are so bad. <laughs> No, 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 that's not right, that's not right. We, we absolutely beat the game. We couldn't beat the secret boss. We couldn't beat the, the absolute secret ultra boss because Goo was in the party. Uh, so that was tough. And I feel like maybe that hurt Goo here. There's a five-vote difference between Blade and Goo. That's just crazy. <laughs> Goo is robbed. Yeah, Goo is an icon. No doubt. I'm not debating that. I think we're up to our final category. Worst possible moment. <laughs> All right, hold on. I got a lot of clips queued up for this. Stand by, stand by. There's a lot of uh, a lot of cues here. All right, so let me close this. We did that one. Let me open this. There we go. Okay. Let me uh, move this to the side just a bit. There we go. All right. Tough category. This is what this was the most contentious category. It had the most nominations. It was the hardest to whittle down. And as you can see up to this point, there's been five nominations per category. However, worst possible moment has eight nominees. Our first. Inspector Gadget tricks Kyle into thinking there were two puppy paws. There's two puppy, what do you mean? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Here's the context, here's the context, here's the context. No, 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 no. Here's the context of this game. If you see two of the same symbol, you slap this red mask, okay? <laughs> there's two puppy, what do you mean? What do you mean there is two? Oh, there is two puppy paws, I swear it. I swear it. Why did they electrocute me? Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Now, upon reflection, there are two puppy paws. However, these are two and these are three puppy paws. Not a match. Not a match. That's number eight for uh, <laughs> worst moment of 2023 with only 1.9% of the votes. What? That's four votes, right? <laughs> That's four people voting on that. The slow-mo is good. You're right. I should have queued up the slow-mo for that too. Kyle spends a half hour finding Jeff Keighley's Twisted Metal cameo. Now, this is a series of clips. Hold on, let me cue these up. No, that's right. Okay, okay, okay. Here we are. This is a whole story. Also, it turns out it's more like one hour, now that I look at the time code. I heard they limited the roster to accommodate FMV cutscenes. Oh my gosh. This is the game. This is the game Keeley's in. <laughs> look, look at that's, chat's reaction. That's an insane... Firstly, that is an insane design choice. That can't <laughs> be right. But yeah, there's this, there's like a scene where like there's a, a giant um, prison of people that Calypso has captured, and Jeff Keighley is one of them. <laughs> he captured it, He sorry, he recorded it for uh, GTTV, the show I'm working at a, on at the time. And uh, yeah, there's clips of him being, like chained up, and he's going, Calypso! Calypso! <laughs> <laughs> and so like, I have that memory, right, of Jeff Keighley screaming Calypso. <laughs> okay. But I think in the actual game, 
I think he's like just like a little tiny guy in a corner, right? Let's so I think we found the the clip of the in game. We have Jeff's clip in Twisted Metal. Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah hell Esther's yeah. got it. All right, let's wrap this up. We've got two minutes left of this show. It's great to see Sweet Tooth making his. Hmm. Sorry, I thought that happens right there. Here we go. Uh, hold on, a little bit, a little further back. Here it is. So here's the actual moment in game. Spot Keeley. Keeley isn't. Oh, I, he's already tiny. Keeley's in one of these. The Ah Real Monsters scream. Spot chat. Spot Keeley. <laughs> 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 did you see him <laughs> all right good shit all right so then i was like i gotta find that episode of gt tv we're at 350 in this video right i'm like i gotta okay so it is more like a half hour i gotta find that episode gt tv is not online anymore you can't just go to gametrailers.com and see those videos so then i had to like download it from the windows store Play it on like a separate PC and capture that, but eventually we got through the process. It's more like it's like 42 minutes is when we finally got to this clip. Here we go. All right, so Jeff, you're gonna be in this thing. Got it? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Calypso! <gasps> you put us in here! Worth the three dollars. That was worth it. That was worth the three dollars. The best three dollars I ever spent. <laughs> One for the soundboard? Absolutely. You put us in here. Chat, you need that. Chat, you need that one. <laughs> this is my chat. <laughs> this is my chat when I'm playing Barnyard. <laughs> it's like you, you put us in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's my porn chat. <laughs> oh, that's still... Oh, my God. Wow. And that's just number seven. <laughs> and that's just number seven. Wow. Oof. Didn't see the full context, FYI. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> you put us here. <laughs> it's such a funny line, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why did they tell him to say that? Oh. Okay, the makeup, everything, it's so unnecessary because everyone is so tiny in that scene. God, that's so funny. Oh, man. Shit. Okay. In fifth place. No, this will be six. In sixth place. Kyle sets a honeypot for the Mountain Dew Twitch bot and successfully lures it into chat. Tied, 5.3%. Honey time. All right, so here's what happened. Chat gave me a warning that there was a Twitch bot that would hop into any Twitch chat room if the streamer, for some reason, had a Mountain Dew logo on their stream. So I said, let's try it. Let's get that bot in here. As you can see, there's a logo in the upper left-hand corner. Now, unfortunately, no way unfortunately because we got it <laughs> it worked we actually summoned mountain dew gaming <laughs> yeah give it a give it a two-day ban <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no unfortunately because the because we did in fact ban that bot it doesn't show up in the archives so you can't see it appear 
<laughs> Looks like you're ready for Mountain Dew Raid. Start to sipping 12.6 through 12.8. Hashtag <laughs> Screaming Argonaut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. And then it was, in fact, banned. Hashtag sipping. That bot dropped hashtag sipping into this chat. <laughs> In fifth place, Kyle comes dangerously close to cringing because we never cringe here. Comes dangerously close to cringing because Shigeru Miyamoto kept missing the spiders in 2010. We, okay, we were, re we were re watching uh, previous E3s. Chat, just uh, as you watch this clip, count the misses. Count how many shots he takes. Oh, it does not use the IR. And you tap the A button to shoot. <laughs> Fuck. Hit one. Hit one. Fucking hit a spider. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. He hasn't hit one spider yet. <laughs> these are these are some fast spiders. Uh-huh. Good shit, Bill. There he got one! Okay. Oh my god. That was rough. It was way worse than I ever remembered. It was way worse than I remembered. 16 is what we get to? Damn. Apparently Miyamoto freaked out backstage after this. That's what chat said. Chat said it was 20 shots. Dang. This beat Calypso? Honestly, like, I feel like uh, you would have to watch, like, a half hour of that stream to really appreciate the lead up to Calypso. I, th I feel like, you know, a little succinct, poss worst possible moment. We'll get more votes, you know? Um, in fourth place. Kyle self-righteously looks up the definition of twerking, learns that it is, in fact, just for butts. That would be this clip here. You ever try to impress a lover, but then you just start twerking in your sleep because you're having weird nightmares? Yes, chat. Twerking means something other than one particular butt dance. <laughs> chat, am I being crazy right now? <laughs> Is the word twerk not a real word outside of one particular butt dance? Twerking is sexually suggestive dancing characterized by rapid repeated hip thrusts and shaking of the buttocks, especially while squatting. <laughs> so, I've taken three L's on this stream. No, no, the word twerk does not mean anything outside of one particular butt dance. And then Blepisaur made a whole song about that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, educate me. Educate me. What are we doing here if we're not learning? You know what I mean? Go ahead, Chad. Educate me. <laughs> in the middle of the night, I was twerking in my sleep. Okay, Chad. Come on now. In third place. Kyle shows Chad a couple of funny pigs he saw in Germany. Now, I was doing a slideshow of photographs I had taken during my Gamescom trip. And I showed Chad this one. Oh, Chad's going to love this. Heute schon Schwein gehabt? Gehabt. Look at those, look at that damn pig on the right. You know what I mean? That's basically an emote for this channel. <laughs> that's funny. I didn't realize I suggested that immediately. I didn't realize. No, 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 that's on me. That's on me. Schwein prophecy. 
Next year, you have to do a food review in there. Oh, my God. I mean, you're not wrong. Next year, I have to go back there. Left pig emote should be a charity stretch goal. I kind of agree. That would be really funny. Poor left pig. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, we got to say this year now, Chad. It's 2024. You got to adapt. I feel like it'd be, chat. I do feel like it'd be fucked up if I made a shirt with that pig on it and wore it in there. You know what I mean? That'll get me sued. German sued. Like, we don't want that. <laughs> do you have a chance to do much fun stuff when you're in Germany or is it all work? It's mostly work. It, you get out pretty late at night. Um, I could, like, I could, I could walk around. That's when I took those photographs. It's me just, like, walking home uh, at the end of the night. But, uh, back to my apartment. I Sorry, back to my hotel room, I should say. But, yeah. We leave before Gamescom even starts. We do opening night live and then fly home the next day before, uh, before the show actually begins. <laughs> Not sure if you ever watched Retro Rebound, but he was praising Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights as a great platformer on GameCube. Might be a good Halloween game. Are you joking me? Loco Luca, is this a prank? Okay. In third place. No, in second place. In second place. We played we played exactly that game on Halloween, is why I asked Loco Luca. And you know what? I was not that impressed. I was dressed as Wolverine. Iconic stream. Sure, it did not. It did not. That stream did not generate any awards tonight. No, that's true. <laughs> but that was a, that we played that game. And honestly, yeah, it's not even that good of a platformer. I can't praise it. It was pitched for a moment of skill. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I did a couple of uh, speed run skips in that game. Never too old. Thanks for being a 22 month. Or happy New Year to Kyle and Chat. 2024 Schwein gehopped. 2024 Schwein gehopped. Okay, here we go. Second place. I'm so sorry. This is first place. Weeks of technical issues resolved when Kyle reveals his retro tank has been plugged into the switch the whole time. No, this is second place. Sorry, sorry. There is one more after this. There is one more after this. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is second place. This is second place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got the cues que queued up. This one's wild though. Okay. Um, my problem is I didn't grab the clip of this. That's what my problem is. Okay, okay, okay. Stand by. I'm going clip hunting. <laughs> Shit. This is La La Land all over again. Yeah, I'm so sorry, chat. <laughs> Turbo Chicken Man's got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> and then let me, yep, let me do this. And then let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. There it is. What am I doing? What is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. I like that. And I'll tell you right now, chat, perhaps irresponsibly, the power source I'm using for the retro tank. <laughs> and that's just because, oh, that's just shit. because, listen to me, listen to me. Oh listen, shit. Listen, like I have, this is justified. Shit. The cord I have is pretty short. This is, this is as far out as I know, right? <laughs> it is a USB. I have it plugged into. Oh shit. <laughs> the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Because I thought that would be a viable USB source. Uh -huh. But perhaps the Nintendo Switch is not a consistent power source. <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetically speaking. Okay. So what would be happening is I'd be playing a PS2 game, right? I mean, it was mostly from our um, Radiata stories. 
it was mostly from playing Roddy out of stories. There'd be moments where the game would just like flick to black or flick to blue. Even it would flick to blue and then it would come back. And I was like, something's wrong here. It's probably my cables. Something's wrong with my retro tink. Something's wrong with my PS2. Uh, but no, I was powering the retro tink through the USB slot and the switch. And yeah, that was a, that was a bad moment. That was a bad moment for everyone. Weeks, weeks. It lasted for weeks. I bought new cables. The good news is I still have the old cables. I didn't, I did not fully throw them out, but, uh, yeah, that was rough. And chat, stupid choice for the worst possible moment of 2023 is Kyle unwittingly downloads pop-up malware because of a deceitful Bing search with 31.7% of the votes. Here's this saga. Yeah, what's funny is uh, being active in Fortnite, like really following their shit, and oh <laughs> no. This says, emerging cyber attack techniques threaten devices worldwide and may let hackers steal your passwords. This is from McAfee. Extend protection is what that says. What the fuck? <laughs> McAfee? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> McAfee, you're hacking me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Looks like six minutes later. Okay. Oh my God. Oh no. He thought he fixed it. Look at her butt. Look at this. <laughs> it says, let's try Yahoo search. <laughs> what the fuck? I just turned all this shit off. <laughs> it says powered by PC app store. We got so spywared. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try Yahoo search. Who's fucking clicking on that? All right. So it sounds like PC app store is the thing I got to delete. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Well, it's just, just three minutes later. What happens I think is, all right. So there's this thing called PC app store, right? Mm -hmm. Epic accepts money from them to include it with the installation of the Epic Game Store. No. <laughs> but, like, the Epic Game Store. I had to download the Epic Game Store. No. The client, I guess. No. Game Pass looking good right now. I know. <laughs> no, brother. <laughs> All right, so we finally cleared out a ton of shit. Bing history? Oh, you want to, like, you, chat, are you curious? You actually want to find out where I downloaded it from? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, right. We could go to my web, my uh, browser history. We could find out. Okay. Uh, give me uh, history. So, where did I download this? Where'd I get this file? Oh yeah, fuck. Installpcapp.com. <laughs> this 
the, the website is installpcapp.com. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I fucking asked for it, man. Damn. And that's your winner for worst possible moment of 2023. <sighs> yeah, that was, that's an oh, no, instead of, well, you know what? Give it the oh, yeah. We're through it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we made it. We survived the moment. That is the worst possible moment of 2023. Congrats to Kyle unwittingly downloads pop-up malware because of a deceitful Bing search. Wow. Getting over 30% in such a contested category is impressive. That's a decisive victory. It really is. Wow. No, I got all, I got, I got, I got malware bites. I got, I got, a, it's the PC has been great since that moment. That was a learning moment for us all. That was nice. Ah. <sighs> And that's Chat Stupid Choice Awards 2023. Thank you, chat. Uh, thank you to Screaming Argonaut for running the poll and also giving us that data. That data was really clutch with the percentages. Thank you to Woojack for finding so many clips. Shabello for editing some of those clips together and also finding some clips. But yeah, thank you to everybody on the Discord for all the nominations and finding clips that associate with those. Um, uh, yeah, thank you, everybody. That was so fun. Thank you, chat. Thank you to Blepasaur for that intro, of course. Yep. <laughs> Very clutch. <sighs> that was fun. Yeah, I feel like I feel like uh that was a successful experiment. We gotta do it again next year. Yeah, we gotta do it up. Huge thanks to the Clippers in chat. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like those moments, they really, they because we stream for eight hours at a time, right? The moments get forgotten. You know what I mean? And the clips is the way to preserve them. No doubt. Thank you to the Clippers. <laughs> that fucking gets me, bro. It gets me because I'm just so wrong at that one point where it's like, oh, okay. So obviously Epic accepts money from like, oh my God. Oh. <sighs> And then, um, chat, keep in mind, uh, for next year, if you're like, oh my God, that's obviously going to be a worst possible moment. You know what I mean? Keep those things in mind, but also, uh, category suggestions too will be fun throughout the year. I wouldn't mind that. That'd be fun. My ears are wide open. So yeah, that was good shit. Epic do have deals with other app stores like itch.io. Okay. So I wasn't far off. <laughs> so, so I wasn't far off. God, it was, that was such like a, and that's the thing is like, we like skipped like two hours there, right? <laughs> that was a whole fucking saga. That was a lot. There was a lot going on there. Boat time. Thanks for being a 12 month or happy new year back at you. Congrats on the year. All right. So, uh, next up is, uh, ranking 2023. Let me, uh, let me set that up too. For the most part chat, I feel like that went pretty well considering like where it was two hours ago or where it was last night. Pretty happy with that. <laughs> that was nice. Uh, all right, so right now I'm pulling up the tier maker that Screaming Argonaut made. It includes every single game we streamed this year. Every single one. And if you're like, wait, well, what about that one? It's on this fucking list. If you're like, well, it can't possibly. No, it's it's on here. Um, there's a way to go to like a uh, presentation mode, though. That doesn't have all these fucking pop ups. Do they not have that anymore? 
Yeah, tier maker, you used to be able to be like, just uh, get rid of all this shit. There it is. It's on the bottom. Perfect. Okay. We'll give that a little F11. Perfect. Banana Denaniel, thanks for being a 40 month. Or Happy New Year, Kyle. Chat, thanks for another great year. Streams, especially the art show, which got me into doing more art, which has been great fun. Looking forward to 2024. Hell yeah. Great art show this week, too. Uh, Shabello, thank you for gifting a gift sub. And then subjectively good. Thanks for being a 13 mother. Uh, and also chat. If I ever clicked on chat during any of those clips, it would like switch windows. Uh, let me just make sure I didn't miss any subs or resubs while that was happening. I couldn't see what chat was saying about all that shit. I think we're good. Ooh, I think I missed Never Too Old. Thanks for being a 22 mother. Happy New Year to chat and Kyle and chat. No, no, 2022 Schwein gehopped. We got that. Okay, we're all good. Any chance that Stratagemerald will make an appearance this year? I think I deleted Stratagemerald, to be quite honest with you. I'd rather do something else than bring back Stratagemerald, but I won't say there's no chance. Yeah, here it is. Nice. Uh, you know what? Because we're gonna have to before we're gonna have to take a break before we can actually really dig into this. Let me pull up last year's. Let me pull that up so you can see what you can see what a tier maker of a of an entire year of streaming looks like. Uh, because it gets pretty intense. So, this is what 2022 looked like. Stratagemerald, thanks for being a seven-monther. You deleting Stratagemerald is kind of cringe. Okay. Yeah, right. So, these are the tiers. Marshmallow, clover, cookies and cream, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, banana. Milkshake flavors, also the tiers of Boxbeak. All you need to know is marshmallow clover is elite. It is rare to be marshmallow clover. So just because a stream was really dang good, it still is probably not going to be in marshmallow clover. These are exemplary streams. Cookies and cream are really, really good streams. Like, oh man, I'll never forget that. That was such a, that was such a delight. That was so funny. Or that was such a good video game. That was such a good unexpected time. Those go into cookies and cream. Just so you know, this is this is basically S tier. Chocolate is good shit. Chocolate is a hey man. That was fun. We got Sonic Three and Knuckles. Dang, I probably would even put that in cookies and cream. But uh, I see. So chocolate is A tier essentially. Yeah, there's some really good stuff in chocolate tier. Let me zoom in for you, chat. Look at the kind of stuff that appears in chocolate tier. Siphon filter and trigger man. Oh my gosh. You remember these? <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing. I don't think barnyard is going to make chocolate this year. <laughs> I honestly, I think, I think barnyard is going to get demoted. Just a guess. Are they ranked in the tiers themselves? Mostly chronologically actually, but yeah, sometimes I try to rank them within the tiers themselves as well. But as you can see, there's like too many to really accurately do that. Vanilla just means a good stream. So it's not bad to be in vanilla tier. As you can see, there's, a, there's some really good stuff that just appears in vanilla where it's like, yeah, that was just good. Perhaps the rapper too, that's a fun stream. Strawberry. It's like only kind of good. <laughs> Not memorable. You know what I mean? It's just like a stream that like, ew, do I really remember us playing Hot Shots Golf? You know what I mean? Do you really remember the Rusty Sword? So like, uh, Strawberry is just like pretty good, but not too memorable. Then, unfortunately, there's Banana Tier, which is just a bad stream. <laughs> disappointing in some way, like Gene Rain, Wind Tower. Di absolutely disappointing. 
sometimes just like a bad game like Martian Panic or a truly, truly like, actually, this is definitely ranked. Gangsta Magic being last place is intentional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of these games like City Superhero, absolutely unplayable. Klonoa? Is Klonoa in here? Oh, yeah. Klonoa, uh, Klonoa almost made it out. Yeah. Klonoa, I just had a lot of uh, issues with. <laughs> and then deleted that game. Still mad about Gene Rain. Yeah. Did you like Golf Story compared to Sports Story? Oh my gosh. Was Sports Story last year? If it did, it's probably down here in Banana Tier, right? We gave up on Sports Story. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, that was rough. Uh, I actually like Golf Story way more than Sports Story. Sports Story is, I mean, you know, they know. They know they made a mess of a game. It was out of their hands. But anyway, chat, that's basically the distribution. So if you're like, man, that was a really good stream. Why did it get, why isn't it Marshmallow Clover? Why isn't it Cookies and Cream? It's because like, this is pretty much the distribution of, I mean, typically vanilla would be more than chocolate. I think 2022 just had a lot of killer streams. We'll see how 2023 does after the break, I guess. How did Bike Jump get vanilla? That's just crazy, dude. That's just crazy. Star Ocean of the Divine Force. I did not even play it after the stream. I deleted that. Are we polling this? Excellent question. No. I'm the one who puts the games in their tiers. I'll listen to you. I'll hear you out, chat. But ultimately, I'm going to decide where games go. <laughs> Divine Force was really, really bad. Yeah, it just didn't grab me. I think we played it for like one Friday. Tony Hawk's Project 8 was one of your favorite streams you watched on VODs. Where did that one end up? Yeah, I, I'm glad we came back here. It's nice to look at uh, 2022. Cookies and cream tier. This is nice. Half-Life 2 is here because that was the Strategy Emerald stream, to be clear. I don't think, I don't think Super Ultra Baseball Simulator is going to get... I think you're going to get demoted too. I think there's no chance you're Cookies and Cream this year. Obviously, we love our baseball, but it's like vanilla. You know what I mean? Our baseball is vanilla. It's just our little vanilla ice cream treat at the end of a stream. It's never the primary pull until, you know, finals. The league is chocolate. The league is strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to say, it's probably the strongest league we've ever put together. Project 8 is in chocolate. Okay, then it's probably, that's a good spot for it. Yeah, yeah, here it is. You can't, <laughs> all we have is Tony's ear, so it was hard for me to see. Yeah, 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 there's Tony Hawk. Star Ocean 2 Remaster is so good, and there's a character named Bossman in the second town with one S, B-O-S-M-A-N. <laughs> what Tony Hawk game is this year? I don't have any planned chat, so honestly, when we roll the docket, I'll be looking out for one. Um, our Tony Hawk game this year was Aggressive Inline. So uh, basically, we, we do have like a slot for a Tony Hawk game, and we could swap one game in or out. A Tony like. Yeah, there are allowed to be Tony likes. Tony Hawk ride. Hey, chat, ask for standing streams, more standing streams in 2024. Chat, we did, do, I don't know if you remember this. We did a survey, I think two years ago about like, what do you want to see more of? What do you want to see left of, less of? I might be down to do one of those again. Those are fun. But uh, anyway, let's take a quick break. When we get back, we're going to look at 2023's list of games and we're going to fill that in. It's a long list of games. It's a lot of games. Little sneak peek. It starts with Marvel's Midnight Suns. I wonder if I should make this a bit bigger. 141 games. Good God. 
Will I play the Horizon MMO? One day. Obviously, yeah. If that game comes out, free to play little Horizon game, we'll stream it once. All right. Uh, quick break chat. That was fun. This is a this is this is a killer stream so far. I appreciate this. When we get back, we're gonna do this. I bet this takes until halftime. So I bet we're done with this by 8 p.m. and then we can start the docket. Will I rank the ranking stream? Excellent question. We do not rank just chatting streams typically. However, there are slots for the game jam, I think, and there are slots for um, the music making stream. Does the game get higher on the list because of something funny that happened during the stream unrelated to game quality? Example, Raven wears malware thing. Sorry, Raven locks malware thing. No. If the funny thing is part of the game, yes. So if there's like this hilarious glitched out character that like, uh, I don't know, just kind of like inflates itself during cutscenes, Yeah, that would count. But if chat just comes up with a funny joke while we're playing a boring game, that will not enhance the game's rating. Yeah, important distinction. I'm, I'm glad we discussed that. All right, quick break chat. See you on the other side. We're back, baby. I was thinking I should keep the music playing. Um, What's happening here? What's going on here? Why is Vanilla winning? Is there some error? Dodgeball Academy underrated. I agree. Uh, the game itself gets super hard later on. Later on, it, it actually it, the the rules get silly. It became a super difficult game for me. Uh, one leg pigeon. Thanks for being a thirty three monther. If you were to categorize the games you played this year into dog breeds, what would be the most pomeranian game? 
Marvel's Midnight Suns. Absolute Pomeranian. Now, it's hard for me to make a distinction between Marvel's Midnight Suns of last year and this year. But most of the game we played this year, we basically just started it December of last year. Let's enhance that a little bit. Yeah, I like that. How's that for you, Chad? Can you see it okay now? Can you tell which each of these games are? Um, I feel like it's a safe chocolate. The initial surprise of this game being as good as it is, is I think gone in 2023. We can't quite put it in cookies and cream. Book club is 2023. Um, vanilla had gone on so long. You know what? I'm kind of with you. The game kind of dragged. At this point, Midnight Suns is one of the longest played games I've played on this Twitch channel. Pan Fried Dolphin, thanks for being a 36 month there. Congrats on three years. Yeah, and the thing is, like, uh, the Deadpool DLC was really fun. The Deadpool DLC was great. And then the, the successive DLC after that was not as fun. It might be high vanilla. We'll, th we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Because here's the thing. Parasite Eve is chocolate. Parasite Eve 2, we must have, wait, I must have been really close to the ending, right? This game has a good ending. I've, I, don't, I don't know. It's so crazy. I can't even describe the ending of this game. I don't remember it. All I remember really well is the hotel, right? You're around that hotel for so long. There was some sort of like sewer... <laughs> We had to, like, walk through sewers and shit. Oh, yeah, I lost to the final boss. We had to repeat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a shameful loss to the final boss. I was getting cranky. Yeah, I really like the Parasite Eve 2 streams. Master Glitch, thanks for being a 42-month. Or Happy New Year to you. And let me know about uh, audio levels, by the way, if the music's too loud or anything. Okay. One Piece, banana, I agree. One Piece is an actual banana tier game. I think it's gonna be high banana because it's inoffensive, but like it was straight up a boring game, which is so crazy. Remember also banana tier, like if you disappoint me, you're much more likely to go on banana. And if you surprise me, you're much more likely to go cookies and cream and chocolate. And this was a bad surprise. The game was a bummer, yeah. Uh, SSX is always chocolate. I won't hear any debate about that chat. Can't even remember what character we played in 2023, but it's a, it's chocolate. This is not a discussion. <laughs> Was it Moby? Who did we play as this year? I actually totally forget. Is it JP? I can't remember which character we played as in 2023. Damn. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. Super Baseball Simulator 2000. This year, we made our own league, which was really fun. I might give it low chocolate, chat. I think it's just like, I think it's just vanilla. Low chocolate? Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. Because it is really, the, the streams where we make our own leagues are super fun. That's a super fun cooperative thing. It was JP. All right, so we played as JP in SSX this year. That's nice. JP is from France. He speaks French the whole time. Um, Fire Emblem Engage was actually not a bad stream despite being a bad game. I'm going to put in vanilla. <laughs> yeah, the game itself is banana, but like I feel like we had like a really good momentum in that stream. I feel like it was a pretty good stream. Polishing was memorable, no doubt. The double dead kids. Oh my god, that's right. <laughs> I didn't want children in my army. <laughs> I didn't want children in my army, so we let them die. <laughs> Alright, so then I guess we played the NES Fire Emblem for me to try to prove a point. I don't know why we played this. But it's banana. 
just an annoying game to try to play. I was so excited they finally released the translation of this, right? And it's like, this is actually unplayable. Even with save states, it's so... Uh, 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 what's the word I'm thinking of? When, when you just have to like, when it's just like a task that you have to repeat over and over and over and over. Um, basically just like moving characters, like just to like fill up their inventory. Tedious. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's awful. Yeah. They got to take so many turns to just like get a character to like go get a weapon at a shop. And you can only buy one th one of one thing per turn. You showed the NES game at the beginning of the stream. You played it on your own time. Yeah. Uh, Siphon Filter 3. <laughs> Ooh, I like Laborious. Monotonous, I think, is the word I was thinking of. But I like Laborious. Um, Siphon Filter 3 is, is... I feel like high vanilla, chat. The one that's probably going to get into chocolate is the one where he, like, loses his mind and has a daughter. Yeah, and 2 is a better Siphon Filter game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Siphon Filter 3 is vanilla. This is not the one with a daughter. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the first one where you play as Leon. This one was a real mess, honestly. Siphon Filter 3 is an absolute mess. It's the one that, like, uh... It's him in court at the beginning, and he's, like, retelling his stories. Do I agree with the allies that Siphon Filter will come back in the near future? No, they're wrong about that. They're incredibly wrong about that. I did not remember we did a playthrough of this. Are you shitting me? I have no memory of it. I'm going to put it in cookies and cream. Let's not go that crazy. Okay, all right, all right, all right. High chocolate. I have no memory of doing this. Did we do a full playthrough? So clearly, clearly, if you look at what happened here, this was when um, the Game Boy games joined Switch Online. We did a full playthrough. Cool. This game's shit. Uh, you can you can hang out in Banana Tier. Game & Watch Gallery 3 is unfortunately shit. Kirby's Dream Land is good, but I don't think we even did a full playthrough of that. Gargoyles Quest. This is the uh the gnome stick. This was actually a fun playthrough. The gremlin stick, right? The gremlin stick. I think we did a full playthrough of this and it was super fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. That game is good. That game's good. Mar Wario Land 3 is actually really good too. We didn't play through the whole thing on stream. I ended up finishing this on my own, but uh pretty pretty excellent game. Excellent Game Boy Color game. This is game is shit. <laughs> this is actually... Alright, so far, this is the worst game we played of the year. Tetris. Honestly, uh, we're talking about streams, right? We're not talking about the games themselves. I don't think I had a single good Tetris moment. And we're talking strictly about Game Boy Tetris on Switch Online. Uh, I had a really hard time playing it, actually. Uh, I don't think I had any good performances or scores. So you're going to end up low strawberry on that. What made One Piece so bad? Um, it was just absolute fluff. Everything was non-canon and made no effort to be canon. So that they could be like, you're reliving the moments from the story. But in a dream world where nothing matters. Absolute snooze. Yeah. Did you already talk about the kid who broke original Tetris? I think it's NES Tetris we're talking about, right? We never talked about that. Basically, like, Pac-Man style just got to the end of the game. <laughs> what about the Super Soakers? Ooh. Was Super Soakers original Tetris or Tetris 99? That's, a, that's an important question. I'll bump it up. It was original Tetris? Stand by. Well, I guess we'll wait on this. All right. Digimon World 3. This hurts. Low Strawberry. This was my most anticipated playthrough of the year. I was so excited. I was really, really excited to play this game. 
And so I think I think the disappointment factor is strong in this one. The story was weak. The actual like Digimon progression was weak. What about all the pigs? Not enough for me. And it was long. It was an absolute drag. Yeah, so Digimon World 3, despite my love of Digimon, ended up low strawberry. <laughs> you can you can get a digital world. So loud, that's so loud. <laughs> now look out. Wanted Dead has a shot at cookies and cream. And this is because of the surprise factor. It might end up below look cookies and cream. Let's see let's see, let's see how things shake out. How much room there are in each of these categories. It still sucks. I mean like I love a game where it's obvious this game sucks. And it's obvious this game is mistreating me and this boss is poorly designed, but I'm like I'm still going to do this. <laughs> we were locked out of me easy mode. <laughs> For some reason, if you, like, finish level 1 without dying enough times, uh, you can't turn it to easy mode. So we were locked into normal mode for the entire playthrough. The game is hard as shit. And I feel like that's what makes it makes it cookies and cream. <laughs> that game's an absolute challenge. Yeah, we used the cheat and it didn't unlock it. Yeah, that was rough. Almost the final sword effect, yep. Okay, we found... This is Super Soaker's clip. Shabello's got it. Stocking up. Every time some newspaper stops by to ask... You're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. Oops. That's you, chat. You would, I guess you would probably believe that. This. You, chat, you're not going to believe this. Shit, that's still chat. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. <laughs> you're not going to you're not going to believe this. Ask me why I've been stocking up. I lie. I say I like the super soaker designs. I say incredible find Shabello. It was indeed original Tetris. We got to ramp it up. <laughs> we got to ramp it up. All right. Welcome to Middle of Vanilla. Welcome to Vidal Middle Vanilla. What a bump. <laughs> yeah, because my justification was like, we didn't have any good bits, we didn't have any good scores. But if we did have a good bit, welcome to Vanilla. Clive and Wrench chocolate. Maybe maybe mid chocolate, mem trap. Yeah, Clive and Wrench is a two D platformer inspired by like Banjo Kazooie. Surprisingly, I feel like there was not a lot of attention on it this year. Excuse me, three D platformer. If I said two D, I meant three D. I meant three D. Um, really fun level designs. I feel like it was a fun stream. Clive and Wrench is a 2023 game. Yeah. We're still early and we're still early 2023, by the way, when we're ranking these. I think we're like we're in March at this point, maybe maybe February. Um, A link to the past. Oh, the randomizer. Kiwi game, I think, was 2022. Shit. All right. This is complicated because... This was rough. The hair was the star of Link to the Past. Yeah, what was the rule? I had to dye my hair, but if I kind of liked having dyed hair, I had to play Link to the Past. But because I'm so bored with Link to the Past, we did a randomizer. 
And I just fucking hated it. <laughs> yeah, I think, Chad, I think that's strawberry. I think that's strawberry. Not even high strawberry. I think I think that's the definition of a strawberry stream. <laughs> yeah, finding the soul orb, excellent stream. <laughs> <laughs> this uh shit. I think this is the one. No, you're mistaking that for the other one. Okay, 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 okay. So this one's not the full excellence. This isn't the one with those journal entries. This isn't the one where um, it ends with a, a little stalactite falling on the enemy. Yeah, this is the one with the werewolves. Okay, okay, okay. So honestly, this that's just high strawberry. Yeah, this is not the barn sex game. That's Redress of Mira. All right, that's coming. That's coming. All right, all right, all right. Um, Mario Kart streams were really good this year because of all the DLC. I actually really liked it. We never spent too much time playing them, too. I think that was really nice. Uh, basically, it'd be like the first hour of the stream, and then we would move on. So I actually think these were pretty good. That's chocolate. The blue shell, of course. Of course. You so this is funny. SD Witchcraft, you first started watching this Twitch channel with Soul Orb. That's crazy. All right, Fortnite. There's cool shit that happened in Fortnite in 2023. We never played this for too long either. I think we found it. I feel like we found a nice balance of Fortnite where we just like we look at the season pass and we play one or two drops and then we leave. And then we did. We had Fortnite with Huber and Grumbomb, which uh, was tough because uh, of communications, right? I could never hear Grumbomb that whole time. I think vanilla's right. I like high vanilla. We had one win. We had one big win. That was nice. <laughs> and Dope Dabity, of course. Chad, if you don't know Dope Dabity, what happened was I have Fortnite in streamer mode, which means it'll never play music that'll get me flagged. However, during this event that was really hard to get into, uh, Eminem just started rapping his normal songs. <laughs> so uh, I had to mute it, but still do the beats, right? And I was rapping my recollection of Lose Yourself which ends at a certain point and then had to improvise new lyrics, including dope dabity. I started Fortnite when you checked out the latest season pass and now I'm level 70. Kind of fun game. Exactly. Kind of fun game. Legitimately kind of fun game. Fortnite is good shit. Uh, Fatum Batula is what this is. This actually turned out to be pretty fun. Uh, we didn't play it for too long, too. I feel like it didn't overstay its welcome. I'll put it. I'll put it vanilla. Yeah, this was this was good. I'm gonna put it above Siphon Filter Three. That was good shit. Exo Primal is just strawberry. It was a, it was fun to play it, but honestly, it like uh, unsold me on the game. I never wanted to play the game again after that. After that demo. Was that a crack adjacent game? Yes. The creator of the crack game also created this game. You want banana for Exo Primal? All right, I'll do low strawberry then. I'll do low strawberry. I don't know. I kind of liked uh, when we started porting in T-Rexes and just shot them and they, they would just die. They died upon spawning. That was kind of fun. But yeah, I hated learning that like your character takes on the persona of the suit, right? So like when they just wear the chameleon suit, you absolutely just become a weirdo for some reason. God, I hated that. Um, This is actually a great stream. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, the game for the Sega Genesis. Maybe one of the best docket submissions of the year. Super fun, like one and a half hour playthrough. 
and also really easy. And a good looking game too. I really liked it. That was fun. <laughs> that was really fun. I liked it. Chia, I'm probably going to put like, uh, I feel bad, but probably strawberry. Don't forget Chia has that Weezer bit. What Weezer bit? So the way we played Chia is uh, basically I just explored the island. I didn't progress much in the story. I just did a lot of island exploration, which was really fun. Yeah, I, I think low vanilla feels better for Chia. You roasted a pig alive and then it died in the ocean. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, that's right. You could play guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And chat gave me the chords to a Weezer song. Now, I remember that now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's look at that. Somebody's hiding, <coughs> crowding my ice box. Somebody's cold one is <laughs> giving me chills. <laughs> Guess I'll just close my eyes. <laughs> it keeps going, bro. Shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, enough, enough. Enough. Vanilla. The best I can do. Best I can do is vanilla. Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle? You're not gonna like this, chat. It's fucking chocolate. This shit is pure chocolate. Um, this is- if you miss any of these streams, it's like a puzzle platforming game that is also like driven by horror because basically like you d it's driven by fear you have to make decisions where you don't know what the result will be because there could be a sylvester the cat on the other side of that tube and you don't fucking know you don't fucking know they're hunters the sylvesters will hunt will hunt you down um this does not count for the art show no uh really fun streams actually the rigmarole yeah tetris 99 i think is just pretty good this year I'll put it above regular Tetris. Obviously, they're they're gonna find a a similar home. TikTok Grandpa was this year. You gotta be shitting me. That was 2023. They removed all the stakes. Mm, that's true. It did become way easier to win the tournaments. Another another thing I like is that it was usually like a half hour to 40 minutes of the stream. Oh, Plain Shane, I have a whole YouTube channel to watch all the VODs. Firstly, you can watch them all here on the on Twitch. But then, yeah, I got a whole YouTube channel. <laughs> no Patreon necessary. Um, Tetris 99 is pretty good shit, honestly. It's a good... Like, I, I understand wanting to put it in the same family of uh, Mario Kart, right? Like, new shit comes out, you just play it locked and loaded. It's going to be fun. All right. I'm cool with that. And TikTok Grandpa's pretty nice. All right. So Siphon Filter Dark Mirror is where Gabe Logan's voice changes. It's the first PSP game, but he goes fucking bonkers in this game. He really loses his damn mind. And I think that's chocolate. This is where I feel like the real persona of Gabe Logan started. This is gun hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dark mirror is gun hands. He absolutely lost his mind at the end. Who called out the reveal with the daughter? Was it Kyle or Chad? I think it's Chad, but also not this game. This is the game where he meets the woman who will mother his daughter. <laughs> But yeah, we're not there yet, right?
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think Dark Mirror is also the Gabe Logan is a father game. It's this one? Oh, shit. And in the next one is when he finds out that the mother faked her death so that she didn't have to spend time with Gabe Logan in a familiar sense. I'll put it above Gargoyles. I'll put it above SSX. I'll put it above Power Rangers. I'll put it above Clive and Wrench. And I'll put it, I'm going to stop it right there. I'll stop it right there. But you're right. There's a lot of good shit in that stream. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. I think Rhythm Heaven Fever is Cookies and Cream. One, the surprise factor. Huge surprise to me that I actually turned out liking that game, but also this game is extremely good and fun. <laughs> and also, like, yeah, it had presented a true challenge by the end. This was really nice. And we played this because the Wii U shop was shutting down. And I had to buy a bunch of games before they closed. Yeah, that was good shit. That's a really good stream. <laughs> that was nice. Do I know my pigs? Yeah, I think I only got perfect on like two levels. All other perfects I failed. Uh, The last year of dreams. Shit. So when we streamed it, we didn't know it was closing down. I think this is just uh, DreamsCon 2023, right? Which was pretty good. But honestly, we put... Oh, it was the Impies. It was the Impies we streamed. Okay. Uh... Honestly, it wasn't as surprising and fun as years prior. The Lawyer Fish, Goth Egg, I think those are all prior years. I don't remember any huge standouts from 2023. Trips Adventure was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 3D platformer Cats game. Yeah, that was really good. Nah, Swimming in My Bowl is 2022. So we're in my bowl now. So we're in my bowl now. That one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The game with the large butt? I think that was Halloween 2022. All right. Let's, uh, let's put it vanilla. Let's put it mid vanilla. I, th I feel like dreams didn't shock us in 2023 like it did in years prior, you know? Yeah, I'm going to miss Dreams too. Super Afro Boy. Crazy you're in here. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking about, like, that lighthouse level you were making, right? Like, that's just, like, probably an abandoned project at this point, right? Sony did Dreams dirty. I agree. Yeah. Gothic is 2023, but it actually debuted in 2022. Okay. Interesting, though. Um, all right. Marvel's Avengers. This is the platinum stream. I'm playing it one last time. And I think we delete it live on stream. Uh, not banana. Shut up chat. <laughs> um, it's not shut up. It's not banana. <laughs> Unfortunately, the stream did drag. Because getting the platinum was doing some monotonous tasks. Um, I'm putting it above Digimon. Mid strawberry. Yeah, I think that's where it goes. Avengers was banana last year. That's not right. That's so wrong. Because in 2022, we had the, the, uh, the raid, right? We did the Wigglers. How did it end up in banana? That's so crazy. I'm never getting the PS4 plat. I have deleted the game. I'm never going to re-download re it unless something extra special happens. But no, I'm done. Is there something below banana like rotten banana? I think we did rancid one year, but no. Banana's as low as it goes. Unless we have to create another category. We'll see. All right. Beetle Adventure Racing. Unfortunately, banana. Actually, not that good. <laughs> Overhyped. 
Beetle Adventure Racing is not as good as people say it is. Overhyped, nobody likes this game, Kyle. Okay, chat. And I think no funny bits, too. I think on top of that, like, we really didn't get into the lore or anything. There wasn't really anything to lend itself to that uh, kind of uh, storytelling. Goth Egg, 33123. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's bump it up one for the Goth Egg. Will Kyle remember the name of AFB's game? No chance. Uh... Trick something, prelude to something. This was fun. So this is a 2022 Game Jam game that for some reason halfway through this year, I said, I got to beat this. I want to go back and I got to finish that game. Oh, it's because we got a hint. <laughs> it's because we got a hint that there was more to it. Yeah, and so it's like, okay, let's discover what's actually missing in this game. So let's get the true ending. Yeah, this was a fun, this is a fun stream, bro. Above Clive and Wrench, even. And yeah, this is, we, the first time we heard the Happy Monday song, it was while I was putting a soundtrack behind this game. To which I stream next week at 22 month. Or happy New Year, Kyle, Mucho, and Chat. Hope 2024 is cookies and cream tier year. Hell yeah. Right. And so what you had to do was f swallow the flowers and then spit them back out in a correlating color. However, there was one flower bed where you could spit out all the flowers at to get a super secret ending. <laughs> yeah. I would love to go back to AFB's 2023 game. It obviously still has secrets in it. There are ghosts. There are ghosts in the world. Um, I don't think we've made a lot of progress on figuring out what the true secret of the 2023 game is. But uh, yeah, I would love to go back in there. Jackbox Party Pack 8 is very good. This is the one with uh, Drawful Animate. Honestly, it's still the best Jackbox game. It, it has not been topped by 8 and 10. Or sorry, 9 and 10. Um... So I'll just put, I mean, strong vanilla. Job Job and Drawful Anime are an eight. Yeah, it's just solid. Just solid. Ratty Boy. Now, Ratty Boy is excellent meme material. However, the game itself is kind of dry and it doesn't have a fun ending. So uh, I'll put it bottom vanilla. He doesn't blink. Yeah. Ratty Boy is a mouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, let's not kid ourselves. He's high strawberry. Mm. Felix the Toy, the vanilla version, was a super fun stream. Felix the Toy DX did not capture me. That's banana tier. Yeah, we barely played this at all. I think we played like one of the new levels or something like that. I was, I was not captured by that game at all. Vin Diesel wheel, man. I'm conflicted by a chat. I'm really conflicted by this. <laughs> Heavenly Clay Tour. Thanks for being a 26 month. -er. This was a fun playthrough, actually. It's not C and C. It's not cookies and cream. It's but Vin Diesel. Yeah, like Vin Diesel chat. So like what's crazy is when we're playing through this game, Vin Diesel is fun to make fun of, right? But after some accusations have arised recently, it's like not as fun to be like, haha, Vin Diesel. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's where I'm at right now. However, there was a lot of ha ha Vin Diesel. <laughs> you never check celeb news? It's for the best. It's for the best. Uh, so, unfortunately, you get bottom banana. Shunted off the list. Yeah, are you, are you allowed to just delete games? 
Mega Man Battle Network Blue Version 3. Now, this is going to go low because of expectations. The game is awesome vibes even without Vin. Without Vin, it'd be, yeah, it would be pretty high, honestly. Red River. Oh my god, I forgot about Red River. The gambling was fun, but I didn't click. This game didn't stick to me like I thought it would. Kyle hated the game. It's true. It's true. It did not stick to me at all. I even played it more after the stream. It didn't stick to me. <laughs> this one hurt. Yeah. So I think we got to put it like bottom strawberry or high banana. All right. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm putting it bottom strawberry. It goes with exoprimal because in both of these cases, it's not like I hated the games. You know what I mean? This is no hard feelings. Sometimes I just finish a game and it's like, no hard feelings, dude. <laughs> no hard feelings. Is this all games? I don't see Oni Road to the Mightiest Oni, which you played back in March. Damn, this is all games. I forgot we played Oni. That would be, that would be bottom tier. Um, in fact, because we're chat, we're talking about no hard feelings, right? I do have hard feelings against this game in that stream. <laughs> Strawberry is no hard feelings tier and Zelda just didn't belong there. This was a fun stream. Oh my God. I forgot about this. I bought Skylanders. <laughs> I bought a bunch of Skylanders to play Donkey Kong in Skylanders Superchargers on Wii U. Donkey Kong was exclusive to the Wii U version. Some tech issues, yeah. This took several weeks because the first week it like stopped at like the second cutscene. Um, however, despite all the effort, despite how much I wanted this stream to work, it didn't really work. I don't know if we'll ever really be back to this game ever again. Um, so I'm going to put it like just above Chia. Memorable, but the game itself did not really stick to me. <laughs> Goo Baby says, I think about Tom Brady's son's special Skylander about once a month. <laughs> yeah, that's something we talked about. Is the rarest Skylanders in the world? Uh... Tom Brady's son got like a special Skylander just for his birthday party. And that is the rarest Skylander in the world. Nobody's got a rarer one. I legit brought it up last night at my New Year's Eve party. <laughs> Chad, I'm glad to know like that this stuff doesn't, I'm not the only one who's plagued by these thoughts. You seen you can buy clone amiibo cards for very cheap on AliExpress? Wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. Um, okay. So we are missing Oni. And let's just replace Wheelman for Oni, but it would still be banana tier. Um That was a game I was really looking forward to. I think I put it up on a Friday, right? We're like, it's Friday, I'm gonna play this Oni game. It was the one Huber said was going to be bad, and he was absolutely right. Uh, yeah, I would put it like here. Hard feelings. Hard feelings on Oni. <laughs> when did we play Tropical Freeze? I think, I, okay, all right, all right. Tropical Freeze was next to... Uh, um, Skylanders, I think because I was just testing the disc, not Bungie Oni. No, 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 no. You were a little, like you were a little, uh, demon. It looked like a really cool little demon RPG. And then it turned out to be performing miserably and was not very fun at all to play, but had some interesting music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were just testing the Wii U disc. We didn't play this for very long, but hey, Strawberry is the bottom. That's the floor for Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. I think we played it for like five minutes. 
Oni was so strangely bad in a way I'm not sure how to describe. Same, Goo Baby. Yeah. <laughs> um, Amiibo Tap. Now, this is a game for Wii U. I can't believe it's on this list where you can tap your Amiibo onto it and then play a demo of the correlating Super Nintendo or Super, or sorry, regular Nintendo game that that character is from. <laughs> and I think we tapped my Donkey Kong and played Donkey Kong and NES. Um, you know, like, uh, no hard feelings. No hard feelings. But, like, how are we going to praise that? Uh, Captain Yu. This is a very rare Wii U exclusive. Unfortunately, controlled pretty poorly. I gotta put that in strawberry tier. It was really fun to play a game that is exclusive to Wii U, no doubt. You know what I mean? But like, uh, pretty rough nonetheless. I remember really liking Metroid Prime Hunters. We had fun with this. Is that just me? I remember I remember this being pretty dang good. Like surprisingly playable. <laughs> it ran like crap? Really? You were wondering to keep playing and did. Yeah. It made me want to puke. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It was still, yeah, that's right. It was still a DS game. <laughs> just uh, not even up res, just inflated onto your screen. I get it. I get it, chat. All right, all right, all right. Let's put that low vanilla. I, the surprise factor is high. I didn't think the game would hold up, and it was actually pretty fun to control. Street Fighter VI um, has a real shot at... High chocolate, I think. I'm not going to give it cookies and cream, chat. I know that like the, we made a really fun character who is iconic. But honestly, I think my disappointments in world tour mode is what keeps it from cookies and cream. I'm, I'm, it's right at the top of chocolate, no doubt. But I think it's not quite, quite cookies and cream. Vach and the peach head glitch. Great. Great clip. <laughs> Basically, we took we take off a peach head and there's another smaller peach head beneath it. <laughs> yeah, basically, if I stopped playing this game after the demo, it probably would have been cookies and cream. Yeah, it is funny that the uh uh tier maker still has the old logo. Same with Final Fantasy 16. It's so true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Final Fantasy 16 demo cookies and cream. Yeah, no doubt. What was bad about World Tour? I think just underwhelming. I played through the entirety of World Tour, not on stream. Finished it on my own. Like, it is fun to play through, but it, it's, like, not as, like, uh, much of an adventure as I thought it was. There's no weight to any of it. You know what I mean? Nothing feels like it matters. And it gets monotonous, it's true. Your character's build becomes cheap, and you actually like be get you get worse at Street Fighter 6 playing that mode. Um Dead Island 2. Not strawberry. Really? You want strawberry for that? I don't think so. This is this to me was a very surprisingly fun game. This was such a good, like uh Friday game. I might put it bottom chocolate. Very gory, no doubt, but I really liked the, the environmental details. The streamer house. I remember the streamer house distinctly, yeah. It's pretty bland to you. Chat's not feeling that stream. Okay. <laughs> I guess it does feel fucked to put it higher than Midnight Suns. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to put it here. All right. Okay, there you go. Is this just a random list of games? This is, these are all the games we streamed last year. 
Thank you for the question. It's always worth reiterating. These are all the games I streamed in 2023. Um, and we weren't ranking not necessarily the game's quality, but the stream's quality. <laughs> this fucking game. Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Whether for five minutes or a hundred hours, exactly. Um, now, here was the funny thing about this playthrough chat is we had the uh, the tongue bite protocol in place, meaning that unlike the playthrough of Link to the Past, I was unallowed to shit on this game while we played it. <laughs> Which I think is why it's going to be vanilla tier. I fucking hated this game. But I couldn't say that out loud. And so I had to just like find nice things to say about it. <laughs> we played through the whole thing. We got to the credits. Did I lose a bet? Why did we have the tongue bite scenario or uh, protocol? Why did we even have that rule? Yeah, and actually in, in having that rule in place, I think I did learn to appreciate it. Oh, it was the Mario movie bet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In 2023, at the beginning of the year, I did not think Mario movie would do well. And in fact, it was like one of the highest grossing movies of the year. I think number two to Barbie. Probably still above Oppenheimer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's fair. I deserved this. One billion dollars later, exactly. <laughs> Are we rating the streams or the games? Mostly the streams. Mostly the, like rating the stream. Like, if I could rate this game, it would be Banana Tier. This game sucks, but it was a fun stream. It was a fun stream. <laughs> we aren't rating anything. I'm taking, Chad, I'm taking your opinions into account. That's not right. All right. Jedi Survivor was one of my most anticipated games of the year, actually. I think these are really fun streams, but uh, they actually like I actually think that it was disappointing to me. I'm gonna put it like above Fortnite. High vanilla. It has moments, yeah, 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 yeah. I think um, what I think honestly, what kind of hurts it a little bit is we did a full playthrough. We got so far in the first two streams that it was like, well, we're this far, we might as well finish it, and so I think it like kind of dragged a bit. That mini game, I hate that mini game. The meat factory, the meat mystery. It was the meat mystery, right? <laughs> yeah, it was cool. The story really falls off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically, it, the story unfortunately ends exactly how you would expect it to, and that usually impacts how I think of a game. Ogdo was day one, the hardest boss fight in this entire game we did on the first stream. So yeah. I think that affected it as well. Um, Ravenlock? I think we did a full playthrough of this. <laughs> Despite the award-winning PC issues. Did you do the two Ogdo fight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we did that. The two Ogdo fight went faster than the one Ogdo fight. It's a four-hour game. Okay. Um, I actually remember kind of after, after we finished install PC after we dealt with all that, um, I think this was actually like a pretty fun, good game. Uh, we'll put it above dead Island too, right? That was a, that was a fun stream. I actually like this game. It's not going to make my top 10, but, uh, I think, it was, I think this was like a cool game. It is underrated. Yeah, I agree. Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, so this is gonna go in cookies and cream. Normally, chat, this is this is what I'm fucking talking about. This is a big change from um, previous years of streaming to this year. Typically, I would say no way, no how. This game is for me. I'm playing this by myself. And one big change in 2023 is it's like maybe just the first day of a big game we play on stream, and um. Uh, that was a really fun first day stream. Really, really fun. And then, um, we did clips. 
And clips is something we did with Elden Ring, right? So, uh, obviously, we already knew that I like to do clips, but then clips of Zelda were such fun streams, too. That's easy cookies and cream for me. I loved that stuff. <laughs> really, really fun. Easy, easy cookies. M honestly, maybe marshmallow. We'll see how that, that turns out. And bonus live gameplay during the clips. That's right. So we would do some clips, but then I would ask chat like, well, what was that dragon? What was that? And chat would be like, you got to go do this, do this. And then we would play a little bit. Yep. My first Gliok kill. Yeah, exactly. Chat told me how to finally kill those. <laughs> Reorder your CNC. I'm afraid those. that's in proper order right now. Mm. Nah, you're right, chat. Rhythm Heaven above wanted dead. You're right, you're right, you're right. Okay. Guitaru Man. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. This is cool. This is uh this is a stream anniversary, right? This is like when I play games one for me, one for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fun. So um Guitaru Man was for me. Shit. That's a, if it's not high chocolate, it's cookies and cream. Yeah. I uh, I think I think low cookies, dude. I think low cookies. <laughs> One thing I really want, I'm really thinking about is uh, going doing a hard playthrough of Guitar Man. Yeah, the thing is, it wasn't my first stream of Guitar Man. We did one back at Easy Allies not too long ago, so I think that does lower its impact a bit. Yeah, you know what? Let's put it. Let's put it there. I listened to the Guitaro Man stream while mowing the lawn and I've never heard music so good. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big difference between like Guitaro Man and Parappa the Rapper 2. This soundtrack's godlike. Guitaro Man's songs are so good. Um, Pizza Tower was actually pretty damn fun. Talking about the surprise factor. This is, this is actually a pretty fun game. Um, and the nice thing is we didn't play too much of it. I think we played like two hours. We got to um, the more, the chicken reference. Like, I really liked that. You straight up got Guitaro Man because of that stream. Nice. Yeah, maybe we put less cookies and cream in it. Let's see how that feels. All right. Uh, Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 3. We skipped two. We skipped two. This is good, but not as good as one. Uh, this actually, we like, it was an easier game to finish than the first one. So, you know, low chocolate. Um, Angie didn't quite bring it in 2023 like she did in 2022, <laughs> but still, you know what I mean? Still making an impact to this day. <laughs> Chocolate for Ben. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe, I mean, it's better than Skylanders, right? It's better than this game. Okay. All right. All right. Barnyard is right there. A, a slight demotion. Still vanilla though. What is the obligation tier? I think I think vanilla is the obligation. No, strawberry is the obligation. Strawberry is no hard feelings. Oh, milk me is one of the best quotes of the year. Oh my god. I chat. I feel like oh milk me would or sorry best quote would be really hard to remember at the end of the year, but that would be such a good chat stupid choice award. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Full creamed it. I think also twenty twenty three. Yeah. Barnyard is the median game. Everything is greater or lesser than it. So far, yeah. <laughs> so far, it's Barnyard in the middle. <laughs> All right. Um, the album stream is always easy Marshmallow Clover. This is the shit that like makes this Twitch channel special. So it makes this community special. Um, and then like there's a really fun thing at the end. Um... It lasts several months, you know, uh, as I'm like working on music and putting shit together. And then like, we have a really fun product at the end when chat does their versions of the songs. This shit's special. That's what makes you Marshmallow Clover. Ultimately memorable, ultimately super special. Bronco tier. Yep. Yeah. Good shit this year. <laughs> Gollum? Uh-oh. Mm.
Still sad your voice got wrecked. You're right. We had to delay it until I could sing again. High chocolate. High chocolate. Gollum is some good streaming. But we got to keep it real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got to keep it real. It did lag near the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Had a rough ending. We had to murder our friend. <laughs> all right, fine. All right, fine. All right, fine. All right, fine. Let's be real. Let's keep it real. Keep it real above Pizza Tower. There you go. All right. Keeping it real. Logan's Shadow. Oh, my God. Okay, so is Logan's Shadow worse than Dark Mirror? It is. It is. But still really good. I'm going to put it above Mario Kart 8. <laughs> Is this the one where he died post credits? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they straight up kill him. <laughs> yeah, this is the one where he dies at the end. <laughs> Crazy, we played three siphon filter games this year. They kept putting him out. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. It was like every two months they would put out a new siphon filter game. <laughs> yeah, it was wild. Fortunately, they're out. Even if they put the PS2 multiplayer game on the on the network, we're not going to play it. We, we're a fan of Gabe Logan, not a fan of Siphon Filter. Yeah. Logan's Shadow is such a silly game, bro. All right, Final Fantasy 16. This is one we're talking about. Like, it would have been cookies and cream if we just played the demo. Uh, we played Day 1, which took place after the demo, which was still really good shit. Um, if I recall, we got the second summon at least. We got Garuda, right? Is chat saying strawberry? No way it's strawberry. This was such a fun stream. You're watching right now. It's fun. Yeah. I think I got to put it above Dead Island too. Above Ravenlock. But honestly, not above Fire Emblem Engage. In terms of the stream. Yeah, I feel like that's good. I feel like that's alright. Like, look at Midnight. Here's the thing. Midnight Suns is an absolute gatekeeper. You know what I mean? You gotta beat Midnight Suns to get into Chocolate Tier. That's tough. That's tough. Can I up the BGM a bit? All right, just a little bit, just a little bit. It's just there to, you know, make the conversation fun. You're not, you know, you're not supposed to be listening to this chat. Midnight Suns should be in chocolate. Yeah, we might have to bump it up to chocolate. I agree with you. Uh, Nellhawk, thanks for being a 29 monther. Remember when Kyle left Anna to die? Yeah, because they turned her into a child. <laughs> Sorry about that sound. They turned Anna into a child. That was fucked up. All right, uh, Grimace's birthday. God, that was such a fun little thing to play. So they made like a pretend Game Boy game as a part to celebrate Grimace's birthday along with the Grimace shake this year. Uh, we played through the whole thing. It was actually a pretty fun Game Boy game, and I think they made it in GB Studio. It was just pretty good. Better than Ratty Boy. Better than Ratty Boy. Hashtag ad. I did not, I was not paid for that, Chad. <laughs> I have to reiterate this many times. This stream is not sponsored by McDonald's. Um, Escape Academy, Escape from the Past? Is this the second or third DLC? Sorry, first or second DLC. It's free on Epic right now. I fucking love this game. This is the second one? All right, yeah, uh, I feel like this was some kind of good stuff. 
This, uh, oh, right. This is when you, like, you were in the past of the characters, right? And you did, like, the first version of the tournament. Um, this wasn't as fun as the first DLC to me. I'll put it, you know what I mean? I'll put it, like, straight vanilla. Uh, fun stream, but, like, not as good as it was previously. So a slight disappointment factor. <laughs> Radiata is hard strawberry? Stop that, chat. I know it was long, but it's not strawberry. Radiot is tough. I feel similarly with Radiata like I do Fire Emblem and Jedi Survivor, you know what I mean? It's definitely behind Midnight Suns. Yeah, it's definitely it's upper vanilla. It's like where does it go like in relation to like Fire Emblem? I think like here. You know what? It was never fun to be in a fight in Radiata stories, and that's a huge factor. <laughs> Can we bump Jackbox a bit? If you tell me one joke you loved in Jackbox this year, yes. The Trash Man was fun. Yeah, a lot of good. There was a lot of really good shit in Radiata stories, especially. Uh, the way that the story changes halfway through the game. Yeah, you want right for that for that part, absolutely. But uh, it kind of sucks playing an RPG where you never want to fight. <laughs> Coming out of the half, Michigan is up thirteen to ten. All right. The lottery was really good. Yeah. <laughs> was Tushy Jackbox? But not this one. Tushy is back Jackbox, but Tushy is Jackbox 10, actually. Radiata's great stream, C and C for you. I don't know if we can push it up to C and C. Can't do it. Can't do it. It was C and C for you as well. Wow. Hmm. Alright, we'll uh we'll consider it more. Nothing's permanently placed. You've been looking for this song? What's it called? Common Sense by Elijah N. <laughs> Those are Radiata fans. Okay, chat. All right. Small Soldiers, I actually remember being a fun stream. I don't know why we played this. I think it was because chat was talking about it, and then it just got me excited to play the game. Um, We ended up beating it with Extreme Cheats on PC. I'm going to put it right there in vanilla. That was a fun stream. Yeah, it was a fun playthrough. But definitely more fun than Tiny Tank. Tiny Tank is not going to make vanilla, but uh, Small Soldiers was good shit. Uh, Pikmin 4 might be low tier chocolate because this is just the demo, right? I don't think we I don't think we started the campaign on stream. Remind me, chat. Did we did we play any of Pikmin 4 when it finally came out or did I play that all on my own? You did not play the full game on stream, just the demo. Yeah, the demo is really good for this. Uh let's put it like uh let's put it shit. It's still vanilla. A demo, a demo doesn't get on chocolate like that for Pikmin 4. I'm going I'm to put it right behind Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, Ochi is not better than Book Club. That's not even true. Honestly, chat, I think it's time to put Midnight Suns into chocolate. It's going to be low chocolate. It's going to be low chocolate, but it's time to, it's time to graduate you. All right. Uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. This was us playing the DLC. <laughs> this is actually a kind of fun stream. Not as fun as like a regular Super Mario Bros. 3 playthrough. But uh, we played through all of the games that you would get through scanning the cards that are connected to your Game Boy Advance. Those levels kind of sucked though. Yeah, they're not as good as regular levels. The E-Reader levels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... 
So let's go ahead and put that like high vanilla. Shoot. I think I got to move 16 because I'm having a hard time putting everything, anything above it. Let's put you above Dead Island 2. What's the S tier pick? This was the album that we made this year. The, the uh, concept album. We, we like made a whole eight tracks of music. Um, Redress of Mira. I think it was Myra. It was. They actually pronounced it Myra in the game. This looks like an entire night of uh, grab bags. I have not played Cassette Beasts yet. No. You got to show me one cool design. Chad always asks me about Cassette Beasts, actually. This is the Horny Barn game. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a pretty good... That's like... This is a definition of a really good grab bag game. I'm going to put it right there. Above Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 3. Terrible game, amazing stream. That's right. Yeah. Speed or death. <laughs> this was an unfortunate, like, uh, action racing game. Where we uh, fell through the map at the end. Still, like, still vanilla. I will sing you to a sad ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good dialogue. Sorry, we're talking about Myra still. <laughs> Potentially best grab bag game of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Potentially. We'll find out. Open world RPG. This is the one about the woman who learned that she just wanted to be a housewife. <laughs> Which chat... Which is okay, right? It's okay if you out there want to be just a housewife, right? But, like, the idea that it was so clearly written by a man made it so condescending, you know? It had multiplayer. It did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had some people buy it and link up to us to play the multiplayer mode to get the platinum trophy. Uh, Moons, bro. Thanks for being a 34-monther. I'm a metalhead, a metalhead, a metalhead. Best song recollection of 2023, perhaps? Yeah, Big Buddy. Remembering Big Buddy Metalhead was a pr pretty big moment of 2023. Um, Alright, so then like top of banana. Top of banana to you. <laughs> um, You don't talk to me as hard top tier. Oh my god. We gotta come up with a category for like remembered, remembered moments. Sorry, you don't talk to me turned out to be a movie based off of the Canadian uh, comic strip <laughs> where there was a mom trying to talk to her teenage son and she comes up with a rap shaking a, a box of cereal. Most iconic recollections would be fun. Yeah. 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 For better or for worse is the name of the comic strip. Yeah. Oh my God. That was, that was some good shit. Bob Wackett. Oh my God. Bob Wackett was 2023. That was me remembering the back of an educational magazine that had some satire. <laughs> right? But Bob Wackett was just like a different page of the same magazine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Bob Wackett was unrelated, but in the same magazine. The dinosaur in the laser maze. Oh my God. Chat, that was all 2023. Wow, that's crazy. Um, I'm guessing most people won't remember Revalia. This was like a kind of a roguelike, simple game. Had some Avengers likes mechanics, but like really like you, it was banana. I'm just being honest. It was just it was banana. Do I remember the birthdays of my immediate family? Uh, like half of them. Robot Party Jam 2023, easy, easy, cookies and cream. I'm actually going to put it above the album. Some of the games this year, bro, so good. And honestly, like uh, one thing I really loved about it was like how cohesive the entire lore came together this year. Um, Oh, sorry. I meant easy, easy, marshmallow clover. Yeah, I did say cookies and cream. Um, Probably my favorite game jam yet really good shit this year oh and we had the awards this year 
I love doing the awards at the end too. That was really fun. Every character was used for the first time. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, that's probably my favorite shit of the year so far. We'll, we'll see. We'll see where it ends up at the end. It was good, but not as beautiful as Melanie. That's That feels right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game Jam was really special for me, so seeing it up there makes me so happy. Hell yeah. EGP Noodles. I, like, I remember your game. I remember your sweet little uh, day off school Game Boy Color game. Um, Zelda Seasons. Legend of Zelda Seasons. Honestly, not that good of a stream. We had a weird quirk in our playthrough where we, like, got the kangaroo instead of where people would normally get the bear. I think I'll just put a strawberry. No hard feelings. But, like, who who even remembers anything from that? You know what I mean? Do you, chat, do you remember any part of that playthrough? Yeah, no hard feelings. The Baldur's Gate 3 is probably cookies and cream. And here's what's really cool about this is I can't fucking play this game alone. <laughs> I can't even play this game without chat. And the right nice thing about this is chat can't play this game without my bad decisions. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, right? Like, it's this, this is us playing together, right? Yeah, big surprise. Yeah, yeah, that's a the absolute big surprise of the year is how much I turned out to like Baldur's Gate 3. Iconic moments, iconic memories. Yeah, Baldur's Gate's nice. Rolling that nat one at the goblin party. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 is really good shit. Tolerating the wizard. Yeah. Ma surprises every stream. That's what's been really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we streamed this for one night and something crazy didn't happen. There was like one section that kind of dragged for me where like we were just too under leveled to really hang out there. But yeah, that's there really, really good streams. Hey, uh-uh. Oops, scrolling too far. Uh, yeah. You want those games, right? So here you go. Now, what a lot of people don't know about this game is that it has systems. This is actually a pretty fun damn stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bad boys of summer at the parking lot. <laughs> The systems with the pouring of liquids. The, uh... If you've never seen this game before, uh... It's based off of the mobile game ads, right? You see ads for mobile games that can't possibly exist. This is a game that's, like, turning them into actual games. And then some of them are actually hard to do, and then some of them are ridiculously easy. Uh... I won't quite put it in chocolate. Because I can't praise the actual game, you know what I mean? It's nice to see a lot of people are putting that in chocolate. Really? Really, chat? I yeah, It kind of has some grab bag appeal to it. I, I see it. No, no, no. We got to be real with it, though. We have to be real. We have to be realistic. It was a fun stream. I agree. Gollum too high? Where's Gollum right now? Oh, I see. Yeah, Gollum's pretty high. All right, 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 all right. Obviously, Gollum shouldn't be higher than Midnight Suns. I'll put Gollum there. The levels dragged. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Like chat. I feel. I. I feel like you're again. Like this game got rough. You've got rose tinted glasses for sixteen. We played it for two days. What are you talking about? We played this game for two days. Come on now. This game didn't work. 100 fires like it was broken on Switch. Maybe the worst game we played this year. 
the new worst. Now this is an actual shitty game, but turned out to be a pretty fun stream. <laughs> Raccoon Adventure. Uh, I'm gonna. Put, I mean, it's more memorable than Zelda Oracle of Seasons. You want it in vanilla? Did I mean to move Wheelman up? Oh yeah, Wheelman's not Wheelman. Wheelman is actually Oni. Um. I don't know if I could justify justify putting Raccoon Adventure in vanilla though, chat. Tropical Freeze is not rated low. It wasn't like a full stream. We played it for like five minutes to make sure that my Wii U could read discs. That's the only reason it's there. Um, it's it's not like that game ranks that low. It's just like you know we 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 just chest the disc. Um. This actually turned out to be a little bit of a disappointment for me. Pokemon trading card game is not as fun as the sequel. Uh, so it's going to end up in vanilla as opposed to chocolate. Um, there. I think we finally found something we put above 16. We made some fun decks. You know what I mean? Um, that That's the origin of Stinky Magmar. I learned to appreciate Stinky Magmar a lot during that stream. So yeah, maybe uh, let's swap that and that. Okay. Cool. <laughs> you streamed the beginning and end and skipped the middle. Oh, that's fun. So I played some of this game on my own. It's probably a good way to do that, actually. Uh, Tiny Tank's bad. Tiny Tank's pretty bad. Memorable, but not in a good way. Uh, you could be top of banana. I don't know what I was thinking with this one, chat. Oh, this is it. This is it. We were having a PS1 day. That's what happened there. So there's four PS1 games in a row. Um, and unfortunately, it was a case of all of them being bad. <laughs> Treasures of the Deep is banana tier. Cyberdeck is banana tier. Rage Ball is absolute banana tier. <laughs> Remember when Kyle wanted to buy the rights to Tiny Tank? I do. We talked about it on the podcast, right? I no longer want those rights. Yeah. I don't want them. Uh, okay, so then I played through four PS1 games really fast. I burned through them really fast that night because it just wasn't working. And so it's like, what are we going to do? So then we booted up the Switch and started playing games on the Virtual Console, which is what you can see all the way through here. Oh my God. This is all one stream. Maybe the most stream games we've ever played in one stream before. Okay. So Pokemon Stadium 2, we played some mini games and I think maybe like one fight. Bottom Strawberry. We betted on some mini games. So I'm going to put it above Exo Primal. We bet, I, sh I should say. Um, Flicky is a 2D arcade game on the Sega Genesis. Um, this wasn't too good. <laughs> but better than Tiny Tank. Uh, Pulse Man, unfortunately, a visual mess. This is a, a Game Freak game before Pokemon on Sega Genesis. But like, ugly. You can't stream this shit. Crusader of Senti? Oh no, what is that? <laughs> what even is that? I gotta like look up what this game is. I don't remember Crusader of Senti. Kyle was losing his mind at this game, really. Oh, the Zelda. I mean, there's a lot of Zelda likes on the Genesis actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this one was actually kind of cool. I think we spent a long time, like, in the training zone with our wooden sword, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's bottom strawberry. Actually, I'll put it above Tap Amiibo. Landstalker sucks, though. Landstalker is the one where you got the big fucking boots, right? <laughs> it's, like, isometric and you got big dumb boots. It's got a really nice intro. 
which means it's top of banana tier. But uh, I hate playing this game. Um, Alien Storm is a launch 2D beat em up. Oh shit! No, what's Alien Soldier? Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! Which one's which? Alien Storm is the launch title. Okay, so this is actually pretty good. <laughs> Ultra Mav, thanks for being a 30 monther. Mega Man: The Wily Wars. This is a remake of Mega Man One. Um, we didn't play this for too long, but obviously it's better than Flicky. Obviously it's better than that. Obviously it's better than that. Okay. We have the new gatekeeper of Banana Tier. One, two, and three. I think we only played a remake of one, though. I don't think we played this for very long at all. Half of Banana Tier came from one stream. It's true. This stream, was, this was a crazy stream. <laughs> Alien Soldier is the treasure game. So is it a shooting game? Alien Storm is the beat em up. I remember liking it. Alien Soldier, I don't remember it at all. Let me look this up. What what is Alien Soldier? This window. Oh no. Oh my god, what a Google. No, Google Genesis. 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 I mean Bing, and I mean Bing. Do not Bing Alien Soldier. I can't recommend it. Oh. Yeah, you gotta see this shit, chat. I forgot how weird this game looks. Um, you're like you're like this weird bird man. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a two D platformer, but you're a weird bird man. Okay, so let's uh, let's put you at the bottom of strawberry. You know what I mean? You're better than Tap Amiibo. <laughs> Bird Contra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bird Contra. His name is Epsilon Eagle. Holy shit. That's such a good name. <laughs> All right. Sword of Vermilion. I got to Google that too. I don't remember what that shit is. Damn it. <laughs> We really, we really plowed through a lot of games that night. What a night. There's no way we played this game for more than two seconds. Really old looking RPG. Uh, here's what this looked like, chat. I don't, I don't think we played this for like more than four minutes. Is that correct? <laughs> below Flicky? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put this shit below Flicky. And then we still get to disrespect Tiny Tank at the same time. All right. Dynamite Heady? Oh my god. This game's a fucking mess too. I think we I think we I think we played a bunch of this though. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's continue the tiny tank disrespect. Let's put you there. Dynamite Heady is a visual mess. The game's a visual mess. Hard to stream. One of the funniest stream moments this year was during Tiny Tank when you explained the problem with the lyrics to Ice Cube's You Can Do It. <laughs> Wait. You mean where he talks about the the value of hanging out with his friends and family? I do remember that. I do remember that. That has nothing to do with Tiny Tank, though. All right. Contra Hardcore, unfortunately, is the last game we played that night and is maybe the best Genesis game on the Switch. This game is fucking awesome. Um, I'm actually going to put it, like, above Wario Land 3. This game is actually really, really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, we didn't. I didn't play any of the Sonic games. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the games I've played, <laughs> how does any other Contra compete? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This that hard, I was really surprised by how cool Hardcore is. 
Really, really fun, cool, interesting game, full of ideas, full of like uh, energy, action moments, thoughtful game. I actually really like it. Um, Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. Chat, get ready, get ready for this when we're talking about my top 10 games of the year. I think it was a really fun stream too. Chat helped me out a lot um, with some of the bosses. Unfortunately, I had to uh, have an easy allies colored mech because of another bet that I lost. <laughs> I said that this game would review better than Tears of the Kingdom. It did, in fact, not. Um, but to me, it's whether this is like high chocolate or low chocolate. ALB, thanks for being a seven monther. Hey, Kyle, can't stay to watch, but dropping in to say Happy New Year. Looking forward to another great year of streams. Have a great year, bud. Back at you. Back at you. <laughs> Kyle's worst bets award category. We're not doing that. Um, All right, where does this fit? I think right there. <laughs> High mid chocolate. Fun stream, nothing revolutionary happened, but uh, I just really fucking love this game and chat helped me out a lot with that. Chat helped me like this game. And then, you know, I played the rest on my own, but you laid the foundation. You let me know how important that yellow bar was in uh, defeating bosses and shit like that. Not better than AFB's game, surely. Just slightly better. Chat, just slightly better than AFB's game. Allow me this. <laughs> that moment when you punched a boss to death? Yeah. When you run out of ammo in Armored Core 6, you just start punching. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking awesome. Yeah, that was really, really cool. Alright, so here we go. We got some data. The PS1 Genesis grab bag stream had one vanilla... Four strawberry and ten bananas. Damn. That's a rough stream. I'm glad we got through it, chat. Um, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Good stream. Shit, where do you go, dude? Above Tetris? Let's not go that far. So above Fire Emblem. Best I can do. All right. Really, really good stream. I um, fucking love this game. Really, really, I like this game. I think that uh, it's a better game than it is stream. I think I struggled with it a lot on stream, so I can't put it way high, but yeah, I really dig this. Music, very good. Hell yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, this will be controversial. I'm about to put Jet Moto in chocolate. I actually really liked this stream. We did, we did a lore run of Jet Moto. Check your mass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a lore run of Jet Moto. And it was really fun. Where it's like we tried to care about our character in the lore. The world around us. And then toward the end, like some Jet Moto speedrunners showed up in chat. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty fun. I think, uh, honestly, it's a little high. It's a little high. I'm going to put it above Pizza Tower. Yeah, those later levels were just crazy. And you know what sucked? Is like two months after we did this, they put it out on PlayStation 5 with Rewind and Trophies. Um, So I won't play two on stream. Until it's out on the on the uh, PlayStation Store. I'm, I mean, I have two. I bought the disc, but like, I can't take that chance again. Star Fox Adventures, unfortunately, massive disappointment. Everyone warned me. Everyone warned me. This game does, in fact, stink. I could put it above Grimace's birthday. Top of strawberry.
No hard feelings. <laughs> yeah. And we ended, up, we ended up bailing on it. We ended up bailing on that game. I never thought I would bail on it. I thought that was a full playthrough for sure. So honestly, the disappointment factor hurts it. I can't have this game above Alien Storm. Massive disappointment. General Scales is very funny, right? Like the game starts off hilarious and then doesn't live up to that hilarity. Yeah, this is a link to the past. That is correct. The Shape of Things. Why did we stream this? I actually really like this game. Bottom of Vanilla. Easy Bottom of Vanilla. This game is so cool. Basically, it's just a puzzle game where you're like rotating things into place. It's not excellent. It's just very cool. Yeah, like, it, I can't, like, recommend it to you, chat. Lizzie, you'll probably get bored by it, but, uh, really fun. And I think, I don't think we played it for that long. Um, this is a full playthrough of an arcade game named Kadash. Um, I fucking loved this stream. Kadash is such a crazy arcade game because it doesn't repeat itself. It's like an RPG, you level up, you get new weapons and new gear, and it's reflected onto your character. So if you get new armor, your character is wearing the new armor. If you get a new whip, your character is using the new whip. Um, fun full playthrough. Uh, we played through the entire thing. This is thank you for the important thing. After you rescue the princess, she says one last thing to you while you walk away. She says thank you for the important thing. I'm going to put it like above wanted dead. This is some of my favorite shit. Well, let's not go that far. Okay. All right. Really, really good. And then it becomes, and then it becomes a Polaroid. Yeah. A little magical Polaroid. Yeah. Chad, if you, if you missed that, this is a highly easily recommendable stream. I don't know if it's even in the stream title is a problem on the, on the uh, archive, but yeah, really, really good shit from Kadash. Thief Simulator is bottom of banana. Maybe the new worst. I think it has the kind of art you can't tell if it's um, AI or not, but was, vi was barely playable. I think that's the new worst. I forgot about that entirely. <laughs> Kadash. It is in the title. Okay. Good link in that. Thank you. It was AI. It was super dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the new worst. Joe and Mac 2 lost in the tropics. Why were we playing in this shit? Oh, we were playing this shit because of Thief Simulator. <laughs> Joe and Mac 2 unfortunately sucks, but like not worse than Flicky. Yeah. All right. There you go, Joe and Mac 2. Joe and Mac 2 is the caveman 2D platformer where you're like chucking bones. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, sure, I'll put it above Mega Man. <laughs> uh, Hybrid Heaven was a docket game. N64 Konami title where you do wrestling moves, turn-based wrestling combat. What's nice about Hybrid Heaven is that it wasn't too long. I think it's like two weeks, right? Oh, and we cheated. Yes, yes, yes. We hacked this game. <laughs> I'm willing to put it in chocolate, dude. I can't put it above Midnight Suns. Midnight Suns is a gatekeeper, no doubt. But I could absolutely put it above Gollum, no problem. <laughs> the Swearing Aliens? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hybrid Heaven is a fun stream. It had your favorite Kyle VO performances. That's funny. If you didn't cheat, it would have been impossible to watch. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were chat. We were getting one hit kills on every enemy. It was the only way to make that game work. <laughs> so that's like why it's not higher. Like the story isn't good, right? There's not even like enough story happening to truly be interested. Uh, the combat is not good, but it was fun to breeze through. No doubt. 
The president punching the imposter and then the thumbs up at the end. So funny. Really good stuff. All right. Quest for Camelot. Another Switch release. This is going to be controversial. This is actually an insanely funny stream. This game is absolute shit. All right, that's a bit much, brother. Okay, 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 okay. How about above Jackbox 8? No. Above Siphon Filter 3? You're in the right zone. Okay. All right, all right, all right. There it is. Strawberry? No. No, 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 no. You're underestimating how weird that game is. This is one of the worst games I've ever played. <laughs> yeah, I think you were looking for like a giant turnip. And like the horse kept getting hungry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The stream, like, it, it, the game's absolute shit, but it was a fun little moment. I don't think we played this for like longer than a half hour, you know? I, I, I rank those games kind of highly. All right. Pokemon Violet is weird. This is the DLC year. Pokemon Violet Vanilla ended up being Cookies and Cream, I think, of 2022. Uh, the DLC, I can't put that that high. I played it for two hours. Damn. All right. So it turns out we played K Quest for Camelot for two hours. Um, chocolate, you think? All right, all right, here's the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I feel like the first DLC with the brand new area and the festivals and the new Pokemon and getting that Ursaluna is easily like here chocolate. However, the second DLC with the Biodome and the uninteresting new Pokemon, save for Hydrapple, um, drags it down. I'm going to put it like right here, beneath Hybrid Heaven, beneath Midnight Suns, above Gollum, above Super Baseball Simulator. And what sucks, chat, is we're going to be ranking this again next year because... <laughs> Because of the epilogue coming out next week. Actually, in a couple of weeks. Um, Mortal Kombat 1? It was kind of fun. We played through the story, right? We played through the entirety of the story for Mortal Kombat 1. Unfortunately, the story let us down. Yeah. <laughs> Gum Morgue. Thanks for being a brand new subscriber. Fun stream, but the story let us down. Yeah, I think it's vanilla. I think it's, you know, like, obviously, like, it's higher than speed or death. It's higher than this and this and this and this. But, like, we're kind of getting pushback now. Yeah. I think it's low vanilla. The story fell apart. Absolutely. They had some really good characterization. Can we all at least appreciate how good uh, Shang Tsung's voice actor was? Yeah. An incredible, like, uh, facial capture, too. That character had charisma. And then, like, absolutely, like, didn't matter. You know what I mean? None of that shit mattered. It was such a bummer. They went off the rails. And I think, like, I think reading more about it afterward, it kind of sounds like uh, that was more of, like, a development issues kind of thing. The way that the uh, story slammed together. Uh... Johnny Cage started off as like a compelling character in the beginning and then it did not matter at all by the end. <laughs> he was incredible. Multiverse stuff makes nothing matter. Yeah, 100%. Bad year for third acts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bummer. I mean, this probably, this probably would have been in like top five anticipated games of like games we get to stream a full playthrough of. You know what I mean? I was really looking forward to that. And then uh, kind of turned out to be a mess. Like, it's insane that Inspector Gadget Mad Time Party is about to go higher than Mortal Kombat. But it is. It is. Best I can do. <laughs> All right. So this is a crazy game in which you have open world exploration 
where you're playing as Inspector Gadget who is trying to fix the timeline and you're just playing a bunch of like Mario Party minigames. <laughs> but it, it's so, so weird. The game itself is so, so weird in that um, the cutscenes are like strangely animated. You know what I mean? It's clearly low budget, clearly a studio who somehow just got this one license they probably should not have been granted. <laughs> But they clear, they care enough about the license to like try to like integrate some fun things into it, but like do not have the staffing to make a big budget game. And so like this game is so janky. Uh, really, really fun though. Fun stream. Aggressive inline, I'm afraid, belongs in the disappointments category. I expected more of this game. And you know what it was? is that never felt like we were in a campaign for our character. Previously in Call of, or sorry, not Call of Duty, in Tony Hawk games, it felt like we're, we care about our character's growth and we're doing a story and our character is going through a career. Um, aggressive Inline didn't really have that. It was more of like a straight up, like a Tony Hawk 3 challenger, kinda. Maybe Tony Hawk 4, right? So I'm going to put it in vanilla. Um, better than Superchargers, better than you, but not better than Mortal Kombat 1. Not better than that. And honestly, the surprise of... Okay, all right, all right. But better than Warrior Land 3. Fine, fine. Yeah, this is the Tonya game. No doubt. All right, now we got an issue. Super Baseball Simulator 1002. I think I have to put this higher than 1,000. They're actually two different games. So the first season we had in 2023 was this one. This is a sensible season. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta sync that, dude. The sensible season was actually not that good, because the sensibles kept winning. So we gotta put, we gotta put this like uh, here around Angie. Yeah, a little bit above Angie. And then you take this spot. Cool. And another ni really nice thing about the season is we have like additional lore with like uh, the undercover police officer with like the toxic status. I mean, we, we were doing more like mid season adjustments and it actually makes it more fun for me. We did not play any GBA Dragon Ball Z games in the entirety of last year. That was 2022. Sadly. <laughs> I, look at this. I don't think we played any Dragon Ball games last year. We got to make it right in 2024. All right, Sonic Frontiers is unfortunately just the DLC, which is absolute banana tier swill. Disrespected Tiny Tank, but this was shit. <laughs> I did not like that free DLC. <laughs> that was rough, man. The first bit was okay. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we first started playing that DLC, I was like, I can't believe this is free. Wow. Uh, but then there were like sections where like if you fell you lived but then you had to go drown yourself to reload the the actual platforms that had just disintegrated absolute madness absolute madness all right foam stars is high all right foam stars is the kind of situation where i expect nothing of this game and it was because the sonic was so bad because we like we were like I, I gotta move on we gotta play something else chat was like foam stars beta is happening right now we booted it up and then i actually really liked it i actually really liked the character designs and uh the progression they had you could not watch an actual match i do remember that yeah chat like there are, we had bad um Uh, uh, what word am I searching for? Uh, where you, 
take a video and you compress it. Yeah, bitrate hell. Bad compression. Bad compression. Where it's like, it was just like nasty blurry pixels. But yeah, a uh, very surprising game. Fun. I uh, like Foam Stars has a chance in 2024. Probably not. Probably not. But uh, that was a fun demo anyway. Kirby and the Amazing Mirror? We could not have played this for longer than 10 minutes. Are you kidding me? What is that doing there? It was that? Uh, okay. Uh, let's just put you in banana. <laughs> it was 20 minutes at the end of the Sonic Foam Star stream. That's so weird. I don't remember it at all. <laughs> but there it is. Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Jade Empire is weird, chat. Uh, Jade Empire is a really good fuck around game. We did a lot of bad shit in this game. I'm... Um, I think it goes right there. You think it's vanilla? Some great moments, no doubt. Currently in sale on Xbox. I can't recommend it. That's the thing is I think it's a fun stream. <laughs> Amazing mirrors because it was announced for NSO and you had some time to kill. Thanks for the context of that. Zfax, thanks for being a 27 monther. Yeah, I got to keep it in chocolate. I, I, feel, I feel like, it's just, like for me, if it's like a fun lore building stream, you know what I mean? If it's like, oh, I love streaming because of this. It kind of belongs in chocolate. And like, while I don't think Jade Empire is a good video game, I think it was some fun streaming. Any game where Kyle gets to be evil is automatically chocolate. Yeah, we got to be so evil in that game. And uh, what sucks is like the battle system is terrible but is easily cheesed. So like this was this was cheap for cheap. <laughs> yeah, Jade Empire was good. I like cheap for cheap. Where like we had to be cheap to survive. It was the only way to live. <laughs> of course it's bad combat, it's bioware. Okay, chat, stop that. <laughs> Detective Pikachu returns. Okay, 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 okay. Right there right there detective pikachu returns is such a bad stream that i will not be playing any detective games in 2024 mass effect 2 has good combat this is the reason this is the reason i never want to return to the genre for an entire year plus <laughs> pikachu you put us here yeah, this game is miserable. What a miserable game. It shouldn't exist. <laughs> Pikachu ruined it for everyone. Um, funny moments, but like this was chat. This was a locked and loaded game. You know what I mean? What an easy Friday. Easy Friday, right? I got my stream schedule figured out. Obviously, we're going to play Detective Pikachu all Friday long and maybe some Saturday too, because maybe I'll love it. I'll want to see what happens. Nope. Nope. And then I looked up how it ends. And let me just say, fuck this. <laughs> I'm about to, you know what? Fuck this. Fuck this game. All right. Okay. Um... So, because I hated this game so much... We had to figure out what to do with the rest of the stream. And it was like, there's a demo for RoboCop. And I was like, okay, I'll try, I'll play the demo chat. And then this shit turned out to be so good. We played it for the rest of that night. Um, we're talking chocolate and I'm, th I'm like, where in chocolate does RoboCop go? This is another case. I feel like if it was just the demo, it would be higher, but we did end up playing the game after the point of the demo. It did peter out. That's the thing. The demo is so, so good, 
but it's also the best part of the game. No way above Jade Empire. Okay, 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 okay. Let's put it above Hybrid Heaven then. It is, Chad, it's better than Hybrid Heaven. But yeah, um, if it was just the demo, it'd be like, it'd be like around here. It'd be like up there. But uh, in, in a way we could not have predicted it. Like the best stuff the game has to offer all happened during that demo. It's a number 10 for you? Yeah, I have a feeling when I get into my top 10, RoboCop's got a shot. I haven't finished the game yet. I'm about to go to the mall. Uh, I, go, I really want to finish this before I do my top 10 this year. Which is maybe looking like next week's stream, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I got a lot to play still. Um, This was a disappointment. Transformers Earthspark Expedition is a 3D adventure game starring Bumblebee. And it starts off so strong, I'm like, holy shit, look how big and cool this game is. And then this falls off fast. I think I got to put it in banana. That stream was so fucking boring. Okay, chat. <laughs> All right, jeez. <laughs> Give me a break, bro. <laughs> but it is true. We had to bail. We did have to bail. But what's crazy to me is like, uh, it looks like that was the, the whole stream. Is that what we played that entire day? Because it looks like Spider-Man Night is up next. Maybe we switched to like baseball or something. You played it for like four hours. That's right. So I wonder what we played for the rest of that night. We played it for too long. Yeah. Was that the one where we started looking at the action figures? Oh, I think so. That's highly possible. That was that was fun as hell. No, chat. I think I think this next stream is when we started looking at action figures. The stream vod got cut in half because of a copyright claim. All right, there's some music in this shit we couldn't use. All right, so we played this for four hours and then baseball for the rest of the night. That's so crazy. All right. Um, chat, we'll go, we'll talk about Sp classic Spider-Man night, and then unfortunately we'll have to take our break. We're already at halftime. Um, classic Spider-Man night was fun as hell. This is the Genesis game. Uh, this was just okay. So, uh, if I had to rank them, it's Maximum Carnage, then Spider-Man, then Separation Anxiety. So let's do Spider-Man and Vanilla above Fatum, above Jackbox, above Dreams, above Dead Island, above Mario 3. Okay, okay, all right, all right. There's a lot of room in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right there. Hold your horses, bro. Really? Yeah, because watch this shit. Maximum Carnage and Chocolate Tear. You're out of your fucking mind, Maximum Carnage and Chocolate Tear. I said what I said. Okay. All right. Really though? <laughs> no. See, the thing with Maximum Carnage is a game I always wanted to play. This is the red Super Nintendo cart. I've always wanted to play Maximum Carnage, but it's not actually that good. So let's put it, let's, I mean, like, let's tie them together. So these two together earn their spot in vanilla tier. Okay. And then this game is really bad. What was it called? You would just like, at the end of a level, the, like the bad guys would just catch you. <laughs> Separation anxiety all takes place in one underground base. Trap room. Yeah. And then this bad guy calls tra called trap room comes and just grabs you. <laughs> this game fucking sucks. It's, it's banana tier. It's actual banana tier. I'm glad we played it, but it's banana tier. All right, as you can see, chat, we got to, we're at the end. The end is right here. So we're really close to the end of this, uh, but we got to take our break here. So we'll come back. We'll finish this off. We'll see if we can put anything else in Marshmallow Clover. 
Anything else in cookies and cream. Looking a little empty up top. Uh, even chocolate is more sparse than 2022. But uh, yeah, we got a big old chunky vanilla right in the middle, which is how it should be. But a lot of banana. <laughs> a lot of banana. Glad we played it as strawberry. Yeah, no hard feelings as strawberry. Yeah. All right. All right, chat. Uh, we'll do all that after the break. And then, of course, once we have finished our tier list, we're moving on to 2024. I'm I'm just telling you right now, we're probably going to go overtime tonight. Probably. We'll see. Uh, we're going to have to cut off the docket at some point. But, like, I want to see a certain amount of entries before we call it a night, you know? Um, always trim the docket first. So we got to trim the docket, right? Then we got to look at 2024's releases, right? That's going to take a long time to look at all the games that are announced for 2024. And then once we've done that, then we start spinning the wheel to look at your entries. So there's a lot left to do in the stream still. So I'm, I'm guessing we're going to go overtime. We'll see. We'll vibe it out. <laughs> okay. All right. See you all soon on the other side. We're back, baby. If you're just joining us, we are in the process of ranking every game I streamed in 2023. Uh, we're almost done. We're basically, we're, we're up to like October, late October. Um, as you can see, it's trim up top. These are legendary excuse me, legendary streams. These are the extremely good exemplary streams. These are the special streams. Very, very good. This is a regular stream. You know what? Fun stream. Glad I watched. These are the streams you might regret. <laughs> Those streams are like, you know what? I probably could have watched a movie that night. <laughs> And these are the streams you do regret. These are streams where you're like, man, I really, I really should not have hung out with Kyle that night. <laughs> you know what? That was a mistake. I regret nothing. Talking to the chat always improves a stream. That's right. There's no such thing as a bad stream.
no such thing. All right, so we're up to Spider-Man 2. There's a two missing from this. Um, shit. I think this is a pretty good stream. So what we did for Spider-Man 2 is just night one. I think that's right. Maybe cookies is not cookies, but I'm trying to determine it between vanilla and chocolate, honestly. I don't really remember where we ended that night. But yeah, I don't think it I don't think this was like a We ended at Coney Island. Okay. Yeah, we got to the reveal at the roller coaster. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I think, I feel like this was not like a tearjerker. I don't think you, I don't think this stream made you sweat. You know what I mean? What am I trying to say? Like, I, I don't think this was like a, a brain blaster. One of the side quests was dry. Yeah. Yeah kind of wild. I'm actually going to put it behind Final Fantasy 16 above Pikmin 4 demo. The spoiler talk we did later? Yeah, I wonder if we should count that. Spoiler talk for Spider-Man 2 was actually really fun. We should do more of those in 2024. Uh, what night are we running down your games in 2023? Not decided yet because I still want to finish more games. As I was saying, I haven't finished RoboCop. Gotta finish that. We got I gotta see if that belongs in my top 10, you know? We went to the Cut Craven room. Yes. Yeah, that was pretty fun too. So maybe we just have like a little Spider-Man block right there. I like that. I like that, Chad. That's fine. That's all right. And then honestly... Okay. This is some weird shit you're up to now. Yep. So be it. Okay. You see there's a bug you can use to play as another character in the open world? No. But like that's the thing is like uh I haven't wanted to. I know they're adding a new game plus uh to the game at some point in 2024. And at that point I'll go back and get my platinum. But it's insane to me I don't have the platinum in Spider-Man 2. Um, Super Mario Bros. Wonder came out the same day as Spider-Man 2. So we did Spider-Man 2 Friday, Super Mario Bros. Wonder Saturday. And that was like one of my favorite weeks of streaming ever. Uh, this game did in fact deliver in spades. Uh, especially in terms of like being a stream game. This is a really good stream game. So I think it's like probably top chalk. Or no, no, absolutely cookies and cream. Mm, maybe marshmallow clover. This is good shit. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see, chat. We'll see it. We'll see what we can push into marshmallow clover. I'm, I don't know about anything right now. Yeah, that's cookies and cream. You're so right, chat. This, these are excellent streams. Clover for beating Damiani. <laughs> yeah, really fun. Honestly, just fun game. Fun throughout, dude. Does it being a Wednesday stream help or hinder? That's right. So we played it on Saturday, right? I think there was something else we had to play on Monday. Probably Jade Empire. So then I snuck this in the end of it on a Wednesday or something like that. I forget. We beat this game in three days. Um, costume quest was fun. This was, um, uh, like a Saturday leading up to Halloween. The Wi-Fi went out on Monday. That is right. Yep. 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 So I had this set up. We we're going to play on Saturday and Monday. Um, it, the, the Wi-Fi like went out like one hour into the stream on Monday. I was devastated. <laughs> 
fucking suck because all I wanted to do was play this game. So then I added a stream on Wednesday to finally finish it off. That's right. <laughs> Burrito man, thanks for being a 30 monther. Yeah, that was brutal. Truly brutal. The internet was out for maintenance for like 24 hours. All right. Um, costume quest is good, but not excellent. Uh, I feel like maybe high vanilla. There you go. There you go. It, it was fun, like, getting the Halloween mood. It was a fun, like, beat a game in one night. But, um, you know what I mean? I don't think we ever felt challenged by it. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't feel like we were ever, like, really felt surprised by it. It was just kind of like a nice vanilla game. That was fun. Can't complain. Muppet Monster Adventure is finally done. Waka waka woo, master. Now, it was not as fun as, like, previous years. So it definitely has like that year two uh, diminishment, but um, year three, bro. This was year three of this game. So let's keep it in vanilla, but like, let's put it above Inspector Gadget. Let's put it above Pikmin 4. There you go. Yeah, we went through <laughs> the gallery, the unlockable stuff. That was crazy. The credit song and the art album is really, really good. Yeah, that was fun. No doubt. Gone golfing, unfortunately. Banana tier. We gave up on this. Um, I'm going to put it... I'll put it there. We basically... We got as far into this game as you do when you realize that, like, oh, this is one of those games where, like, a thing is chasing you. It's one. This is one of those games. Oh, there's a thing that's chasing you. Oh, that's right. And it was first person mini golfing where like the camera for some reason followed the putter. Yeah, that was rough. That was rough. <laughs> Panic House, unfortunately, is a good stream. Unfortunately, Panic House is all right. Uh, this was a first person horror game made by one of those studios who only makes easy platinum games. They were dipping their toes into horror and it paid off. Okay. Yeah, every painting had a joke. This is I hate storm. I hate storm comes from this. Yeah. Why is Link's Awakening banana tier? Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. That says unlink to the past. Come on now. All right, Suica game. We played this on Halloween. Uh, leading up to Halloween because it had a Halloween mode. That's right. This was spooky game night. Um, shit, that was a really fun stream game. Uh, I'm going to say like bottom chocolate. We didn't play it for too long. We'd not play. I feel like we played it for like a couple of hours. <laughs> and this was big old grapes. Oh my God. Really good rewindable moments. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bottom chocolate. I'm cool with it there. And really like if I played it more, it would sink. But it's just nice that we just played it for a little while. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, Scooby-Doo, Night of 100 Frights. I saw a YouTuber say this game is good. <laughs> um, so a problem with this game is that this was the Halloween game. You know what I mean? This is kind of tied into the Halloween and the booby ghosts and the boobo ghost. <laughs> um... So, like, it's going to find itself in chocolate tier. This is me dressed as Wolverine. You know what I mean? We got we got the Danger Witch. So, a lot of shit's tied into Scooby-Doo. That does not necessarily have to do with the, the quality of Scooby-Doo. But, um, pretty fun stream that I got to put, like, uh, maybe, like, here. You ended up cheating to get through it. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Fun stream, bad game. Absolutely. You that, that that you can get those. You can get those. That'll happen. Mmm. 
Now, this is kind of wild. I think WarioWare Move It is indeed cookies and cream. <laughs> Here's a nice thing. It wasn't long. I, I think like we played it for like four hours and got to credits. Uh, it's nonstop silly. Uh, just a compact, tight little game. And it was very funny. Yeah. I think that's easy cookies and cream. The agenda. Yeah. All right. Seems like that was not too controversial. Jackbox Party Pack 10 was the same stream. Excuse me. I needed to sit down. <laughs> but unfortunately... Uh, they're having a hard time living up to old games. I think the one good game is uh, uh, TKO2, where you're making the t-shirts. Uh, but I think everything else is kind of weak, including the texting game, including the Tushies game. WarioWare is under two and a half hours. That's perfect. That's nice. Oh, that's right. I do like the trivia in this too. So let's, um, let's put it above like Super Mario 3. Time travel trivia is nice. Yeah, I, I like that. Actually, let's put it below dreams. Okay. Oh, shit. Like a dragon guy den, the man who erased his name. Fisher of when? Thanks for being a brand new subscriber. Yeah, I, all right, all right, all right, chat. If this was merely an action game, it would be in chocolate tier. However, this is an action poker game. <laughs> Did you finish this game? Did you blank at the iPad scene? Did I blank at the iPad scene? I don't know what you mean. I finished, I got the platinum in this game. It's done. I don't know what iPad scene you're talking about. <laughs> oh, I know exactly. Okay, thank you, chat. Yeah, I do know what you're talking about. And yes. Yeah. This being an action poker game is, is quality. But also, like, the story is good. But anyway, anyway. We're not talking about that. We, I didn't stream the iPad scene. We're talking about the, just the stream. I fucking loved streaming the poker of this game. I we, we, we went overtime by like three hours, like three weeks in a row because of how much I loved playing poker in this. Uh, Really, really fun. But also like it was fun to play like the, the first eight hours of the game too. Um, I definitely plan on doing uh, Infinite Wealth in 2024. So yeah, that's that's cookies and cream for me. Gigabash tournament. They had Ultraman DLC added to Gigabash in the year 2023. And so we had another tournament. God, I fucking love these. I love doing Gigabash tournaments. And I mean, like, it's, to me, easy chocolate. Because what do we, it's like, it's like we, we do it for like an hour and a half or two hours. You know what I mean? Like one of those things where it's just like, a, this is a fun update. Let's just stream this shit. Uh, let's put it above Gollum. Love that. Um, somebody in chat noted that Jackbox 10 is above 8. It's the newness, I think. I, I, Jackbox 8, it's a way better game than 10, but we're just talking about streams of 2023, so yeah, I think the newness adds a little bit to that. I think Jackbox 10 has no shot at, like, getting above Strawberry in 2024, you know? Have I played Shenmue on stream? Only with game trailers. I've never streamed Shenmue. That might be fun. Happy New Year back at you. All right, we're almost, we're on the final row, baby. All right, uh, Minesweeper. Why am I playing? Why is Minesweeper being played? <laughs> why, why did I play Minesweeper? I mean, I like Minesweeper. Uh, I'm just putting it at the bottom of vanilla. You are waiting for a Baldur's Gate 3 patch. 
That's funny. All right, so we've I fixed my PC. My PC used to crash constantly playing Baldur's Gate 3. So when I went away for the Game Awards, I dropped off my PC at a PC repair shop. We picked it up. I was going to stream Baldur's Gate 3 finally with a brand new PC that's functioning properly, but we had to get an update. So then I played Minesweeper for a little bit. Got it. It was pretty fun, yeah. Minesweeper is pretty fun. Bottom of vanilla is the best I can do for you, though. <laughs> Super Mario RPG. Damn. Um... More disappointing than Mortal Kombat 1. And I guess it's not disappointing, right? Underwhelming, I would say. Just okay. For a legendary game, just okay. Yeah. And I never I never even felt compelled to boot up the game again after that stream. Thousand Year Door, we're streaming. Count Thousand Year Door. Yeah, probably a full playthrough. Super Mario RPG just does not have that flavor. And you know what sucks is the stream ended with that dumb guy who's like, mm, how do you eat? Do I eat through my ear? It's like, oh my God, this just sucks. <laughs> I forget his name, but I just, I just like hated it, bro. I could, I, I could not follow the, of what was even happening. Did I play it when it was originally released? No, what's crazy is I played it in like 2009. Um, Booster, yeah, Booster. I played it in like 2009 on a Super Nintendo and loved it. I think Super Mario RPG is a top tier Super Nintendo game and a bottom tier Switch game. We really, uh, we really developed past this. Bosses are giga easy because of the tri attacks, yeah. Yeah. Alan Wake 2. Obviously, we're talking cookies and cream, but where in cookies and cream? You're going to put it past Tears of the Kingdom? No, I think we found its wall. Okay. <laughs> right there. Alan Wake 2 is a massive surprise to me. No, I didn't think I would like this game. There's no way. There's no way I thought I would like this game. And it turned out I love this game. I think uh, one of the criteria we're going to talk about when we're ranking um, games of 2023 is best moments. Anybody, anybody who doesn't have a moment from Alan Wake 2 in their best moments is lying to themselves. All right, we can swap them. We can swap them. You're right, you're right, you're right. Alan Wake 2 streams are better than Wanted Dead streams. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. You're not wrong about that. And in fact, I like Kadash better than Wanted Dead. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zelda special because of the clips. Yeah, yeah, Zelda's pretty good shit. All right. all right, all right, all right. Maybe we we'll return to that. Maybe we we'll look at that again. <laughs> Sonic Adventure Two. All right, all right, all right. This game is shit. This game doesn't hold up. This game is absolute shit. It's bottom of cookies and cream. <laughs> I'm so glad I got to play this game this year. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? It kind of felt, it felt like uh, becoming a part of something. You know what I mean? That's been part of the collective consciousness. And then like, you're finally aware of that shit. Best 3D platformer. Not close. No, no, no. One of the worst. <laughs> One of the worst 3D platformers I've ever played. But uh, such a bizarre creative vision. Bottom of cookies and cream. What a fun. And this was honestly, this was just two weeks. One for light side, one for dark side, and then there was a little extra I had to f find out about. But, um, yeah, really fun. SteamWorld build disappointment. 
I'm almost about to put you in banana, bro. But no, no, no. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. You know, I don't, I don't like, like city builders, right? But I think even this was like not even a strong city building game. And then I learned afterward <laughs> that this is a whole different development studio. That this is not even the Steam World team. <laughs> did not know that. I did not know that. So, uh, that's where you go. You thought people liked that game? It didn't review spectacularly. It's, it reviewed pretty good. You know, I think it's like that 77, 78 range. Um, all right. Dinosaurs Mission Dino Camp. This is a major disappointment. This is a grab bag night. And this is a grab bag game that is such an easy home run. I found the perfect grab bag game for you. Unfortunately, it's dry. Dry as crackers. Um, there it goes. It's banana tier. So boring. Yes, A dinosaur 3D open world map. Such a bummer. Um, Asteragos is a surprise. Not really though, because I think... Here's the thing. Normally when I start a grab bag game... People are like, what is this? What? But when we started Asteragos, there were like a few people in chat who were like, yeah, I played this game. It's good. Um, This is actually a really fun game. It's a, like a Souls-like adventure game. Um, I wasn't giving a shit about the story so much, <laughs> but uh, it had really fun combat and level design. Um, Fun bosses. I'll put it right there. Neat game. Hell yeah. Metal Gear Solid's got a shot at cookies and cream. Let's see how it feels up there. I think it's, it's either top of chocolate or cookies and cream. It's going to be cookies and cream. It's going to be here. This was a really fun playthrough. Two nights. It was a two two stream event. Um, What I loved about it is the game holds up. We have, we have like fun discussions about the game as we played through it. Uh, this was really fun shit. <laughs> Looking at the art book was fun. Yeah. The collections audio issues. That was, it was off to a rough start. No doubt. So we ended up having to play the original PS3 release of the game. Um, but, uh, that was still worth it. Mucho and the Wolverine can't count toward the game, I'm afraid. When did I play Kadash? Somebody had, so it's actually in the uh, the video title. So I think if you go to my channel and like lurch, look for the word Kadash, it'll pop up. Really fun playthrough. Um, all right. And then we got Saturday's stream, which was just games from chat. However, I can't rank this <laughs> chat. I'm not going to rank them. <laughs> I'm not because like some of these, these games are for sale. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you could go buy these games. And what happened was like, sometimes I'll get emails from people who are like, Hey, here's a steam code. Um, check out my game. Um, I can't put some higher than others. So I'll be honest with you. Drawing from memory, I think was the strongest stream game. We'll count this as all five. <laughs> so I'm saying, um, this was the stream where we played all these games. Um, so count count all of these into this, right? Um, really fun stream, though. I would probably put it high chocolate, maybe cookies and cream. Let's put it high chocolate. Let's put it top of chocolate. And then, um, yeah, just for, just for, you know. Hey, all these games are great. But I feel like, you know, streaming material, drawing from memory was strong. That was really, really fun. You'll scum Batman. Exactly. Yeah. I want to play more of this in 2024. <laughs> Robodunk, very positive surprise. Robodunk's so cool. Yeah. <sighs> We're missing the stream where you built a Gundam. Mm, I wouldn't really count that. And packing the oh, opening Digimon cards, I wouldn't count that either. Fair to bring those up, though. Um, the Gundam stream, I think, for myself, 
wasn't strong. I'd probably put it strawberry. Uh, I don't want to do more Gundam building streams in 2024. I think it was hard for me to feel comfy with my space and talking to chat, keeping everything entertaining at the same time. Um, Pentaveret was actually, okay, it took me forever to make that, but it was really fun to stream that Pentaveret podcast. I'd probably put it like low chocolate. Does BG3 have a shot at Marshmallow? Mm. Marshmallow's so tight. I feel like I should put one game in Marshmallow. I feel like one game should go in there, but it's not. Can't do it. I th I think because all these games are on like such an equal plane to me. Uh, so it looks like uh, as opposed to last year, it looks like we were more chocolate heavy in 2022, but 2023 has got some killer cookies and cream. I fucking love all of these streams and all these games. Opening Digimon cards, honestly, would probably be low-tier chocolate, too. That's, those are fun streams. It takes, like, half a stream, right? It takes, like, two or three hours. That's always fun. I don't mind those one bit. You can't do it too often, so we do it, like, once every three months. Alabama, Michigan going to overtime 2020. That's exciting. Good shit. Yeah, Gollum is low chocolate, though. What is our takeaways from this? Great question. Um, a lot of new releases and we're finding the right ways to handle new releases, right? This is one thing that I've been trying to learn as a streamer is like, how do you handle like a hot new release? Are we playing a full playthrough? What are we doing? And what we did a lot is like, let's just play this on Friday and we'll see where it goes. This is when we started on Friday, we fucking loved it, right? So I kept playing it. Uh, sometimes you play a game on a Friday and you got to bail, you got to go. Uh, you know, like Detective Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you gotta go. Sometimes that was a bad idea. You gotta eat that cost. I'm never gonna play the rest of that game. Fine. Super Mario RPG, you know what I mean? So like, I feel, I feel like that's been really healthy for us is like, yeah, we'll play it for one Friday and even maybe sometimes not even the full Friday. <laughs> oh, watching old press conferences would be potentially... Marshmallow Clove. Uh, I fucking loved that. We'll definitely do an E3 this year. We'll watch the uh, 2014s. We'll watch E3 2014. No question. Those, that's so much fun. We need to watch Sony E3 2015. We only do it 10 years at a time. Otherwise, we'll burn through all the E3s. We'll be out of them. Press A for E3. <laughs> yeah, those are fun streams. Hell yeah. I'm way down to do more of those. Uh, I almost I almost get the impression that no clip might be out. You know what I mean? I don't know if they've uploaded anything interesting to that channel in a while. Yeah, um, Pizza Tower is super high. We only played it for a little bit and uh, the stream anniversary stream was just super good vibes. I would like, this game is not going to be in my top 10, not even close, but it was a, like a really fun to stream just for a little bit. And the idea was, this was a game that chat was asking me to play for weeks and months. And I said, no, chat, it looks gross. So like, I want to do that for the stream anniversary again this year. It's like, what chat, what do you want me to play? I'll play some game I don't want to play for you. <laughs> What's the one next to Jet Moto? This is AFB's Game Jam game from 2021. <laughs> <laughs> it's a toddy type where you are uh, a long creature that like swings from your butt. <laughs> Hi-Fi Rush would be the contender. Yeah, you're so right. I can't think of a game that chat's asked me to play more than Hi-Fi Rush. You're right, it was 2022. Yep, 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 yep.
Generous butt grab. Yeah. <laughs> Bots and Kaitos? Chat, chat, I mean, like, RPGs are tough. Chat, are we good? Do you feel good? Do you, I mean, we're about to talk about 2024. Are, are we good with 2023? Are you ready to close that book? All right. Awesome ranking. We're done. Rhythm could use a bump. I thought about it. Really, really, I thought about it. I think we're good. Michigan TD in overtime. Oh, my God. Now, I don't know college rules. Does that mean that Alabama gets a shot to uh, equalize that? Clive and Wrench is suspiciously high, but whatever. We got to lock it in. Okay. All right. That's a year of streaming, dude. So crazy. So crazy. Penny's big breakaway? Um, well, hold on. Now we're gonna now we're gonna do that. Let me set that up. Let me set that up. Um, now we're gonna talk about the docket. Oh, step one of the docket though is cutting games. This hurts. Adida N64, thanks for being a 41-monther. Doc market opening, ring the bell. Happy 2024, Kyle and chat. Yeah. But snips come first. <laughs> Easy, snips. Okay. This is rough. <laughs> Kyle streaming future, the official but non-definitive list of games Kyle should play. All right, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. This means I have not updated this list in a minute. We take that and we add it to the bottom of successfully streamed games. Oh, bro, this is this document is getting long. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Killer Instinct Week is going to have to last, but I mean, we'll figure that out at some point. Like January? Maybe like the third or fourth week of January. I don't know when we're going to do that. Pokemon Violet DLC. Oh, shit. January 11th is when that comes out? <laughs> Epilogue. Cookie Cutter came out. I'm gonna. I'm willing to let it chop. Probably not heading to 2023. Tiny Terry's Turbo Trip. You're going to have to earn your way back on. Ollie Frog? Do we got a date on Ollie Frog yet? You can hang. Mean of the Hollower, you can hang. Silk Song, you can hang. Deck of Police, you are a detective game. You gotta go. Space Marine 2, you can hang. We're gonna figure out the months these games come out. <laughs> you saw Ollie Frog in a store? Bro. <laughs> Deck of Police is 2025 anyway. That's crazy. <laughs> Shit, you're right. They announced like a year plus delay. September is when, uh, is this how we do this? I forget like how we even break down these months. <laughs> Deca Police is not 2025. That was a mistranslation. Got it. No date or even window for Mina. Mina is 2025. It's happening. Count on it. I get chat. I'll delete it until they give us a year. All right. Fair enough. And Silk Song too. We got to stop doing that to ourselves. I agree. No, I agree. You're right. It's wrong to do that. Okay. So Threads of Fate. I'm going to let it live. I think this is a game we're going to pick up next Friday, uh, next Monday. I think I'm going to let it live. It's on the calendar. Okay, good to see. All right, all right. So I've already committed to that. We're already doing it. Threads of Fate begins on Monday. Quest for Glory. Ciao. Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury. No chop. Diddy Kong Racing. Chop. Get in the dumpster. 
Um, Spectrode's Origins always is just the bottom of the list. I can't do anything about it. This is where things get truly brutal. Agent A, a puzzle in disguise. Screaming Argonauts 2023 submission. Chop. Alpha Protocol. I bought this game. It's sitting on my shelf. Chop. Bugs Bunny and Taz Time Busters. I bought this game. It's on my shelf. I think this was Silent Consonants pick from last year. Chop. Gothic. Getting a remaster this year. Chop. Sayonara Wild Hearts. Chop. Frogger Adventure. Chop. Shulip. Chop. Cubics. Robots for everyone. Chop. Flower, Sun, and Moon is rumored for a remaster. Chop. Lucky Luke. 2D PlayStation 1 platformer. Chop. Jack 2. Oh my god, I actually really want to play this. Chop. Burnout 3? Get in the dumpster. Get in the dumpster. Get in the dumpster. Okay. Xenogears. Chop. All right. Now, chat, you're asking me why I chop so much. It's to make room. We got 177 new submissions, and we can't even look at any of those <laughs> unless there's room in the docket. You know what I'm saying? We got to make room. We got to make room. But what color is the meat? What color is that? There it is. Hamburger Brown. Okay, 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 okay. And now it's time to modify Tom Brady's law while we can. As a quarterback. <laughs> no, 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 no. Playing in the quarterback position. Again. All right. Could this not be more clear? <laughs> starting quarterback. <laughs> starting qu You know, honestly, though, honestly, though, though, if he's a backup QB, I'll play Toomba. <laughs> Did you see Brady said he almost unretired in May until his friends threw him a retirement party? Yeah. And, like, he's not a sports announcer yet. Honestly, I think part of his heart is still thinking he might come back in. <laughs> um, can I submit to the doc market? No, we're about to we're about to go through those. It is too late for that. Um, we did have another law. I think we did have another law where it's like, if this happens, I will definitely play this game, but I cannot remember it. I'm so sorry. We also have two bets to add to the docket as well. Um, Sakurai. What is it? Sakurai's law? Oh, that's old. No, 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 no. That's, that's any DLC characters added to Smash Bros. Is the detective ban a law? I'll just put it at the top here. <laughs> For the legacy docket, let me just let me just put a spot in here. Actually, I mean it counts for the hot docket too. All right, chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this at the end of the night, but just so you all see this here, no detective games in 2024. It's not happening. Michigan wins. Hell yeah. Huh. 
Okay. That's a funny that's a funny law. Alright, so let's get uh let's do bets. Alright. How's this phrased? If the top critic score on rotten tomatoes for the live action Zelda movie is over 60%. Kyle has to wear Zelda ears. I think I said Hylian ears <laughs> for one week. <laughs> if below the lead actor's name is banned in chat for one year. All right. And then there's one more on top of that. Oh, GTA, this one, fuck. We're gonna have to uh, pay up for this this year. If GTA 6 does not also release on the new Nintendo console. <laughs> Kyle has to watch 80 for Brady twice. Back to back. <laughs> if it does, we get a hoodie. Who is we? Kyle will stream a hoodie buying tournament. Okay. <laughs> Kyle is aware Rockstar press release says Xbox and PlayStation. He doesn't believe it as they can't announce something for a console that hasn't been announced yet. Yeah, that's exactly right. Timeline on GTA bet, launch. When GTA 6 comes out in 2025, it will also be on the new Switch. At launch. Yeah. GTA 6 does not launch on the new Nintendo console. Kyle has to buy... Yeah, there we go. Finch, thanks for being a four-monther. Can we get a bet that'll happen this year? Yeah, 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 yeah. We should, we should, we should. All right, chat. I gotta be honest. I'm chilling off on Gregory Horror Show. We gotta figure out some other Halloween games to play. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 for Christmas is absolutely happening. Uh, let's review the Never List one more time. Anything from Boom Hits. Uh, this is not a well-known studio, but they, I got addicted to their games last year, 2022. And uh, I had to cut it myself off. I had to stop playing those games. <laughs> is there a road to return for Diddy Kong Racing? Oh my God. If I If we spin the wheel and it comes up, sure. Lord Beard, the guy, thanks for being a four month there. Half of my hours on Twitch were spent on two channels. And yours got a photo finish for the most. That's probably worth a sub. Hell yeah, thank you, Lord. Lord Beard, the guy. Happy to beat that other streamer. Motion to remove Mischief Makers from the Never List. Unfortunately, I can't do that. We only remove a game from the Never List during the stream anniversary streams we can only add <laughs> it's bolded yeah actually it would and it would take two it would take one to remove the bold and then another year to finally remove it uh, brave fencer musashi is a never viva pinata is a never dj hero a never mischief maker is a double never Mr. Mosquito is a never. Monster Han Rancher games, holy shit. All Monster Rancher games are nevered because I had such a bad time playing that other one. Okay. Fair enough. All of them. I had such a bad time. Why is Viva Pinata a never again? 
It's because um, you have to like uh, mash your pinatas with a shovel to like get new pinatas. For like some pinatas, it's like you. The only way to make it digivolve is for it to eat the remains of another pinata. <laughs> and I fucking hate the like red goblins who come and fuck up your garden. Uh, DJ Hero, I don't like the turntable. Uh, it's too mushy, and also like we can't, <laughs> we can't stream that music. All right, that's pretty much it, Chad. I think we're ready to add new games. I did QA on that. Yeah, it's. I think it's the only game I'm in the credits for. All the others, like uh, the Transformers games, didn't make the credits. Uh, Band Hero didn't make the credits. But I think DJ Hero is like the only one that they actually put me in the credits for. For the proper N, Alt-164. Excellent. I was going to ask. Let's get that in there. Great. Proper pinata formatting. All right. Let me... Uh, oh. Okay. I think we're ready to go. Was your DJ hero credit listed as Dark Prince of Nerd QA? Honestly, I think we are, our group is listed in a weird way. Oh, weird. We still got like the start bar on the bottom. Let me fix that. Um, Slanta, thanks for being a six monther. What would it take for you to start gotcha games? I feel like a bossman gotcha arc would be very interesting. Um, you know what? Zenless Zone Zero has got a shot. You can maybe talk me into uh, Zenless Zone Zero. Um, I think we're like, we're like credited. Like I was in like a small QA team on DJ hero where it's like, they were like testing for difficulty and they were like trying to get a gauge of like what the high, high skill players are like. And like the low high skill players are like, and like, what is too easy? Was that too easy for you? Did you fail out of that one? I was on the low end of that group, no doubt. But, uh, yeah, I forget. I forget what we're, we're credited as. I did play Marvel Snap. Had to quit. Had to quit. Okay. Um, I played a Momodora game on the Switch, and I actually kind of liked it. I, I, is this a sequel to that? <laughs> I like I like Metroidvania games, Chad. They get me in there. But so far, nothing to add to the docket. I think we're clear to play Pokemon on the 11th. Um, Gungrave Gore Ultimate Enhanced Edition was on the docket before, right? How did I let this game slip three times? I don't think I'm playing it again. <laughs> it's just bad? Okay, good to know. All right, all right, all right. I think we should stream this. I don't, I'm 50-50 on it, chat. I kind of hate streaming Ubisoft games. <laughs> like maybe the Star Wars game, but probably not this one. You need reviews? Yeah. DJ Heroes credits timestamped. Am I in there? Uh, here's the thing is I think that would be a really good week for... Uh, Killer Instinct week. It'd be so nice to get it out of the way in January. You already got, you already got music I can't play here. Oh yeah, right there. 
So no, it's not a special credit. But yeah, these are the only credits I'm in. DJ Hero. Right there, near the bottom. Clearly not in alphabetical order. <laughs> Shit, dude. <laughs> why'd you put why'd you put me on the bottom? <laughs> okay. Alright. When is that anime shooter you game you wrote for? I think there's still I think we're still waiting on the demo for that game. Atomic Picnic is the title of that game. I think we're still waiting on that. <laughs> Halloween stream Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday. I will never play that game again. No, thank you. If you didn't know it, we did stream that at Easy Allies. Very good stream. <laughs> you played the demo? They were waiting. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. They told me not to play that demo, but like the next demo. It will enter early access in 2024. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm done. I'll, we'll stream. The, we'll stream it. We'll stream the good version of it. I think the current demo is like outdated, and they were like, "Please don't stream that. Please don't stream that." Guitar Hero Van Halen too. I don't think I'm in the credits for that. I definitely, uh, according to Moby Games, you're listed in the credits for Guitar Hero Van Halen and Band Hero. No way. Really? I didn't think I made the cut. Huh. All right. Cool. All right, chat. I'm thinking this week, instead of Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, instead of another code recollection, instead of Last of Us Part 2 Remastered, I think this might be Killer Instinct week. I think that would be a good time for that. We'll see. I'm not committing to it, but like I, I would easily pass on this and this to get a uh, KI week out of the way. <laughs> And Toxically stuff is that week, too. Yep, that's right. 15th, 19th, 20th. We're t potentially talking about a stream every day that week. How much for an autographed copy of Band Hero? Okay, Chad, stop that. <laughs> Maybe just check out the Lost Levels in Last of Us 2 Remastered. Yeah, we'll see. That, that Honestly, that does sound really fun. Um, but I don't really want to play, like, the roguelike mode or anything. <laughs> we'll see. Animal Well is early 2024 and extremely positive reviews. Previews. If it's not on this wiki, I'm not adding it. You know, we add games as they come. This is this is generally just like a nice resource to have, you know? Um, okay, so I don't think there's a must add until right here, January 26th. Tekken 8 and Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth coming out the same day. And honestly, if you asked me before the man who erased his name, I probably would say Tekken 8. That's Tekken 8's day. but it's like a dragon's day. I was just giving you a heads up. Copy that. Um, Maybe we could do a Spider-Man Mario situation where one day is Friday and one day is Saturday. What's the closest uh, Friday? Like what, what, uh, what day does the 26th fall upon? The 26th is a Friday. Okay, so I kind of feel like Tekken 8 story playthrough Friday, uh, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth Saturday? Or maybe flop that. Yeah, that story mode won't be eight hours. Okay, 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 okay. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth Friday, Tekken 8 Saturday, do the story mode, and then probably play more poker in Infinite Wealth. Okay, cool. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, back up here. Hot docket. Okay. Like a dragon 
infinite wealth. Uh, that is Jan 28th. Uh, Tekken 8. Also Jan 28th. Excuse me, 26th? Yeah, it's the 26th. Uh, but we're going to be playing on the 27th. Uh, keep it street dates. Okay, 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 okay. For simplicity's sake, Chad, I always, I just always put like when the game comes out. Like this will actually be streaming on the twelfth, I think. Um, but I think that's our plan. Infinite Wealth Friday, played all day, get our eight hours in. Tekken Eight Saturday, just play through the story mode. No online matches. I'm not doing it. Maybe we'll play some Tekken Ball. Otherwise, we'll probably go back to Infinite Wealth for the end of that Saturday stream. Yogurt Sapien, thanks for being a four monther. Can I get an Oya for playing through the entire Like a Dragon Yakuza series this year in time to play Infinite Wealth on release? Oh my god. That's a crazy year. Oh yeah. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. We have uh we got the guitar over Van Halen credits. Let's see this. Now, hold on a damn minute. There's a name I recognize extremely close to mine. Matt Blair also did QA on Guitar Hero Van Halen. I think he told me that before. Matt Blair worked at Game Trailers. I think he told me that before. We were just not on the same team at all. Because here's the thing. This is like all platforms. I did... Guitario Van Halen on PS3. There was a 360 team. I think there was a PS2 team as well. Uh, and I think a Wii team as well. So I, even though I never saw Matt Blair, I think, yeah, I think I think we both worked on Van Halen at one point. That is so crazy. And then obviously, yes, Bibiani is a funny last name. <laughs> Get it out of your systems, chat. <laughs> Huh, that's cool. I did not know I was credited for that game. Huh. All right, cool. I'm glad we settled that. We know what we're doing that weekend. That's a big weekend. That's a big weekend. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. I think I would rather play more like a dragon than start a playthrough of this game. Bloodborne cart is January 31st. I don't think I'll stream it, chat. I actually I actually don't think we'll be streaming that. Because basically, uh, we'll have some other game running on Mondays. Maybe we'll, we'll probably be done with Threads of Fate at that point. But we'll have some other games happening on Mondays. So the 31st, next thing coming around. Maybe we played on like the Saturday after that. Oh my god. You're right. What? Chad, are you kidding me? What do you think we're playing on this Friday? What do you think we're oh, this might this might be a two-dayer. What uh shit. So I need to I need to pull up a calendar as well. Uh is this a Friday or a Saturday, the second? Because honestly, I would really love to play Helldivers too as well. So this is a Friday. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I think I think there's no room in my heart for Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, which is crazy. Because it looks like a full-on next-gen RPG. Dude, it comes out PlayStation 4. Okay. You know what? Forget that game. Fine. All right. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. February 2nd. You're on there. We'll figure out what to do that Saturday. The very week after that, Helldivers 2. February 8th. So sick. 
That I might put a lot of time into, too. It's all about the perspective to me. You know what I mean? That's got that third-person perspective. That's a huge difference between a top-down Helldivers game and one that you uh, feel like you're in the world of. <laughs> Do I think Suicide Squad will fill the Marvel void? Honestly, I don't like any of the characters, and I don't expect to. <laughs> I think that... uh. It might be rough trying to like get invested in that game, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Saturday is more Suicide Squad? It is not. This game is built for Fridays. Drone, thanks for being a 21 monther. Chat, Fridays are typically like uh, playing a new game of the week. Any interest in getting other people to play Helldivers with you? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know who you're watching, right? What if it gets delayed again? Um, it won't happen, chat. That's, that game is coming out. Helldivers is best co-op. No, I don't believe that. Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden. Bless, bless your heart. <laughs> uh, yes! Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered, starring Lara Croft, February 14th. Hell yeah. Happy Valentine's Day to me. <laughs> okay. Easy yes. <laughs> I wonder, I feel like that's like a, is that a Friday? I feel like that's such a, like a good, like, uh, We'll like we'll play one. I mean, like I don't know. I don't know how much we'll play that game. That's a Wednesday. Okay, so we'll stream it. We'll stream it Friday. Bio mutant on Switch. No chance. No chance. What if Elden Ring DLC comes out in February? Oh my God, chat. That'd be sick. I don't think it's coming out that soon. Um. I hear these games are kind of shitty. We'll definitely skip those. Uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Easy skip. Happy to skip it. Um, Skull and Bones. Easy skip. Do I think Elden Ring DLC is a Tears of the Kingdom situation becomes a full new game? No, because um, I think Bandai Namco has been telling investors that it's coming out this year. Is anyone excited for Mario vs. Donkey Kong? I wonder. It looks like we got a couple of people in chat who are excited for it, but like, honestly, it's like worse than uh, Super Mario RPG as a remake. It's like, I don't know, dude. What's the point of this? <laughs> the toys are back in town. Yeah. Can we do a Skull and Bones group stream? It would be, I mean, it would, it would make more sense to do, um... Uh, Sea of Thieves than Skull and Bones. I really don't, I don't think there's going to be much really to play here. Check out Slave Zero X. It's a sequel to a Dreamcast game. I'm going to need a link. There's nothing, there's actually no Wikipedia article for that. Hold on, is it a shoot 'em up? Is this shmuppy? It sounds shmuppy. Action. Oh my god, this is a sequel to a Dreamcast game? I've seen videos of this shit. I thought it was Metroidvania. Hmm. Talk to me more about this, chat. It does seem like a li honestly, frankly, quite frankly, it seems higher than my skill level. All right, all right, all right. Quit this shit. Here we go. I feel like I'll be absolute trash at this game. Throwback prequel. I love the look of this game. It's like a strider. But your character is huge. All right, can I like, just quit this shit? Just show the game. You had momentum trailer and then he stopped it. 
Come on, man. Beat him up like it's 1999. Cute. Wow, this looks sick. Okay, 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 okay. Chat, be realistic with me. <laughs> Can we play that game? Download the demo. I did see it. That was right there on Steam. Yeah, maybe Slave Zero X. I'll, I'll put it on the docket. I'm not guaranteeing we'll stream it, but it might be like, it might be like a good Saturday game. It looks so cool. Uh, the maybe bucket is for chats games. Uh, it's not for the hot docket because basically every game on the hot docket is already maybe. I think we streamed like 70% of the hot docket games and then a bunch of them we let slip. You know what I mean? Uh, this is not a promise. I'll play this game. What is King Arthur Knight's Tale, dude? Oh no. Hell no. Look how serious that looks. Get out of here. What is Pacific Drive? Oh, no. 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 Scary. This is a scary first-person driving game. No way. <laughs> mm -mm. Probably not coming out in the U.S. at that time. Got it. I feel like we should stream it. I actually I actually think this would be a good stream. Indeed CA Brown says, uh, thanks for being a 38 month there. Please don't skip a Zet February 14th? What do you what is a Zet? Our Zet, the jewel of Faramore? What is it? I need screenshots. Mellow fellow, thanks for being a 43 monther. Hard out for Pal World has a January 2024 release. Is the Pokemon game with guns? I think it's like early access in January, and I really don't want to do early access Pal World now. <laughs> Low interest. Oh, yeah. I know what game you're talking about now, and I am happy to add this to the docket. Chat, watch this game for three seconds. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent, excellent suggestion, chat. I can't believe I almost slept on this. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Say no more. No, no, no. I don't I don't need to see another second, bro. Genius. Inspired. Uh RZ the Jewel of Faramore. So that's basically our weekend is Tomb Raider will be Friday. RZ will be Saturday. Maybe we'll swap them. That's good though. A double date. <laughs> All right, where were we? Uh, Sons of the Forest. Had, oh, we're, I was thinking about maybe adding Pacific Drive chat. Here's the thing is I do think the Alan Wake streams were good. I think it's okay to stream scary games. So let's, uh, maybe that's like a late night Saturday. Yeah, I mean like roguelike games, I think make good for good streams too. Tomb Raider is British, but there's no humor, so no worries there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chad, I didn't tell you. I love British drama. Nobody does drama like the Brits. Um, all right, I'm seeing uh, nothing pops out. I don't know what Promenade is. Sheeran the Wanderer, no way. 
No, 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 no. You can eat dirt, bro. Sympathy kiss? Wrath? Aeon of Ruin? Hell no. Uh, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons remake? No. No, no, no. We all know how that ends. <laughs> Star Wars Dark Forces remaster? Mm-mm. I know, hey, chat. I see Euphoria too. The idea of making a sequel to Euphoria is awesome. But looky here. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, February 29th. Uh, this might be a Friday, Saturday. It's definitely a Friday. We'll, we'll play it for a full Friday, but it might be a Friday, Saturday. Maybe it'd be fun to do Killer Instinct Week in the lead up to Rebirth. Wait, why? What does Killer Instinct have to do with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Rebirth is for sure getting delayed calling it now. Yeah, right. Because of the bet. Oh, that's right. The bet was about whether or not PlayStation 1 Cloud would show up in Final Fantasy VII. Fair enough, but no. Fair, fair enough, but no. I'd rather play Sympathy Kiss than uh, delay Killer Instinct week that long. All right, so seven rebirth. Maybe we, maybe it's just one Friday. We'll see. I am interested in Euphoria, so I'm going to add it in there. Also February 29th. That's just silly, bro. I spelled it wrong? <laughs> I said unphoria. I'm so sorry. I did not mean I did not mean that. Okay. All right. What is Tokyo Revengers, dude? That looks cool as shit. I think we're good to move on from February. It's a bad manga? Sick anime. Yankee Squat the game. Fitness boxing would be a standing up game. All right. Well, I got I still have standards for standing up games. No. Chat, no. No. I'm okay with doing spooky stuff, but no. Uh-uh. No. No, 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 no. It's also on mobile. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Yeah, we could easy skip. Easy skip. With Huber? No. 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 Maybe with Huber. God, that'd be a funny stream. Did Kyle skip Ultros? What is Ultros? That's the name of a game? I guess so. It's out on PC already. This is Outlast Trials is out. I'm, all I'll say is maybe with Huber. Ultros comes out February 14th. It's not on the list. It's on Game Informers though. It's a Metroidvania. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at it. Is it the one with crazy colors? It is. Chat. Uh, it's a pass for me because of the colors. This one. Here's the thing. I appreciate them going out of their way to have a distinct visual style. I won't knock you for that, but uh, it's not for me. It would hurt the bit rate. We can't allow any games that hurt the bit rate. Homeworld 3 in your dreams? Unicorn Overlord. 
I think it's got a shot. It's pretty open here in early March. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. March 8th, Unicorn Overlord. I'm cool with that. This is fun. What is Ib? The titular character from a top-down perspective in an Eldritch art museum. Okay, enjoy yourself. Uh, Alone in the Dark, easy skip. Honestly, chat, no, I won't even say it. I won't even, that's, that's bad vibes, that's bad vibes. But like, when we do have our Toxic League, I'm not gonna say what games you should look out for. Uh, why you, why you? Thanks for being a five monther. Hope your new year was good, Kyle. Mine was, mine was. Now that Michigan has won, hell yeah. <laughs> um. All right, chat. I thought we'd have a debate between Dragon's Dogma Two and Rise of the Ronin. But the true game I'm actually most interested in is sandwiched between these two bad boys. Princess Peach Showtime. Oh my god, what a day. So I think we got another Friday, Saturday here. Am I correct that like this, the 22nd would be Friday? And then maybe Dragon's Dogma Saturday? No, you don't start Dragon's Dogma, bro. That's a Thursday. Okay, so it'd be the 23rd we play Princess Peach. And then maybe the Saturday we start Rise of the Ronin. Unless it reviews poorly and then we'll... Like, here's the thing. We can't make significant progress in Dragon's Dogma 2. All right, it is a Friday. Okay, copy that. Ooh, that's a good that's a good idea. We could possibly just play the demo for Dragon's Dogma 2 in the weeks leading up to it. That's a really good thought. I'd be happy with that. That works out for a lot of games. We just play the demo, have a really good time, and then don't play the game when it comes out. All right, so Princess Peach Showtime is March 22nd. That's an easy ad. Showtime. And then, yeah, between Dragon's Dogma 2 and Rise of the Ronin, I'm feeling this one, dudes. I'm way more vibing with this game. I don't, I, I don't feel like Dragon's Dogma 2 has potential for hijinks. It seems like such a straightforward fantasy game to me. Whereas like, yeah, there's no, there's absolutely no hijinks in Rise of the Ronin. You might as well go to a museum. <laughs> but I feel like it might be more of a special game. All right, I'm adding Rise of the Ronin. And no, I don't know how to do that. Oh, hopefully this works. Hey, hey. If you didn't click with Dragon's Dogma 1, I don't see you clicking with 2. And yeah, I don't think... I did. I have never clicked with Dragon's Dogma 1. Can I get an Oya for beating Pride and Joy Prototype in the Yuffie DLC for FF7 Rebirth? Remake. Now to go through hard mode with two Goddard Demarungs. I don't remember Pride and Joy Prototype, but sure. Oh, yeah. Was that a robot? <laughs> That's what I did. I, I did control shift V for that one. Splatoon 3 side order. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good looking out. We're playing that. That's the uh, single player DLC for Splatoon 3. Cool. All right. 
Make a great progress, chat. It's the secret top boss. Chat, you might have to show me a picture of that. I don't even, I, I don't even, I didn't get to that. I didn't know that game has a secret top boss. The regular boss kicked my fanny. What is Mars 2120, dude? It's a Metroidvania. I bet this game is sick. Look out for this game. Elden Ring DLC is rumored for February. I don't buy those rumors, chat. I don't buy it. Plucky Squire and Skate Story, still without dates. Yeah, we'll wait on them. We'll wait. It's in early access right now? Okay, let's look at this Mars game. Was I right or wrong? Oh, no. Well, I'll let you make your judgment. Make your own judgment here. <laughs> See, this looks great. I'm in. Yeah. That looks like a blinking person. Uh-huh. I'm going to stream this game. <laughs> you will know I'm streaming this game. We all know at this point. Why even doubt it, chat? Why Why is nothing happening? Come on, trailer. Come oh, there was nothing happening in the whole trailer. Gameplay trailer. I should have started with this. Okay. All right, trailers. Get to your shit already. All right, so I actually think it's cool. I think there's no way I'm streaming it, but I actually think it's cool. No hard feelings. Kind of looks like Metroid Dread, yeah. Oh, we have a pinned oh no. Can my roommate Jojo get an oh no for leaving a sparkling cider at the in the freezer too long and it bursting open, leaving slushy and glass shards galore? We just finished cleaning up. I don't know. I kind of feel like you're telling on your roommate. <laughs> I think that's an easy mistake to make. And I get a, I mean, you know what? I'm giving Jojo a break. No, no, no. No, oh, no for JoJo. It's New Year's. Let's cut JoJo some slack. <laughs> Can JoJo get a big buddy? Yeah, let's give a big buddy to JoJo. Is there something you should tell me, big buddy? Metroid Prime 4 or Metroid 6, which will release 4. Prime 4 releases this year with the release of the new Switch. All right, so I think it's going to get much harder to find actual new games coming out. Uh, is this game cool? I don't know, dude. I think we might actually be set. Skip. We're playing it September 9th. I'll add it. But I don't know. I don't I think there's actual new games to add. Ollie Frog, let's get a date on you. Let's get a date on you. And then these are the games that are like announced for 2024. We'll add them as they get dates. I think that's a big mistake I made uh, last year is we just had a lot of games cluttering the list that were like not did not even come out. My roommate says thanks, y'all. <laughs> if Prime 4 is a scan visor, does that make it a detective game? No. Come on now. Beyond Good and Evil Remaster when it comes out this year? Eh, maybe. But I got it. September 9th. We got it. I, I kind of just want to look at this list. I think I think none of this is getting added. We're going to play this whenever it comes out. We're playing Galuga. But, uh... 
not till you get a date. Beat em up G.I. Joe? Oh, I watched the trailer for that. Yeah, 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 I remember this now. Maybe we would stream that game as it comes out. That might be fun. Lollipop Chainsaw? Probably not. Are you done 100 Heroes? Probably not. Probably not. Shout I've never played uh, Sui Koden. You know what I mean? It feels wrong. What about Beastie Ball? It's a monster collecting volleyball game by the Chicory Devs. Oh. oh. Probably not, actually. Probably not. Braid Anniversary Edition. Absolutely not. Nope. <laughs> No interest. Zero interest. That game is goofballs only. Dome King Cabbage. I have no idea what that is. Any chance you check out Mameda no Bakaru if it gets localized? It was featured in Japanese directs and came out recently. Made by the team. You'd have to show me. I've never seen this. Looks like Goemon. Oh, I know exactly what you're game you're talking about then, actually. Um, I don't know. The character's too small. I don't know. Dome King Cabbage looks like a, a visual novel to me. Like, what do you expect to play from this game, chat? I love the style. Hey, I'm not saying I don't, I'm not saying I don't like the style. Looks great. Oh, did you see what I saw? Look at the bottom right of this thing. It's got it's got visual novel shit. It's got like fast forward shit. Look at that. Q save, Q load, auto skip. Uh uh. I'm gonna auto skip you, bro. Love your style. We're not streaming that. Auto skip. You checked out Baby Steps. Oh, we'll be streaming Baby Steps. No date on that still, but we'll be, we'll be streaming that. Uh, are we reopening the docket after the usual Nintendo Direct in February? Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I didn't realize I didn't realize 2024 looks so light after March. We got nothing. Luigi's Mansion 2? I don't think so. I love Luigi's Mansion 2. I don't really want to play it again. UFO 50? God, I remember like... Uh, I feel like I'm still at game trailers. When we covered UFO 50. <laughs> Are we in the COVID slump? Nah, we're getting out of that COVID slump. We're not in that anymore. Mugenics? No way. Mm -mm. Metaphor, maybe? Let's see how it let's see how it turns out. Oh baby. Multiverse is coming back? You know I'll be there. You know I will be there. Happy to be. Pac-Man Mega Tunnel Battle. A Battle Royale maze game. Ah, eh, no. No, no, no. Yes. Full playthrough, yes. Count on it. Yep, lock it in. Well, okay. I'm so sorry. Don't lock in the full playthrough. You never know. You never know. But yeah, feeling really good about this. Absolutely, we'll be playing that. Penny's Big Breakaway, probably playing that. That's the game from the uh, Sonic Mania team. This looks really fun to play. Pepper Grinder, I don't remember. Action adventure video game. Follows Pepper, a seafaring soul with a passion of prospecting. Is this kind of like um, Drill Dozer? Is that that one? I think this was on the docket at one point. It has a chance. 
Yeah, the drill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a drill platformer. Yep. Yeah, that one's got a real chance. That'd be a fun, like, Saturday game. Plucky Squire is an easy yes. Easy, easy. Senua's Saga Hellblade 2? Maybe, but probably too heavy. Probably bad vibes for a stream. Skate story? I don't know anymore. I also I also feel like skate story seems like a, a visually beautiful game that like I don't think is gonna be like a super great stream. South Park Snow Day. Absolutely not. <laughs> Big no. This is what we're talking about. We're talking about maybe playing this this uh spy on you. Operation Memories, but only if I'm caught up with the anime. Only then, chat. Ouch. And then maybe Star Wars Outlaws. If I can get over my Ubisoft hate in time. <laughs> maybe we could play Star Wars Outlaws. Did I watch more free run? No, no, Chad. I mean, last time we talked, like, it was, there was just New Year's in between now and then. I'm not even caught up on the curse. You don't think Outlaws comes out this year? I really do. I think it'll. I think it'll make it. I think it'll make it. Stellar Blade. I don't, Chad. I don't think Stellar Blade is gonna work out. I, I think this is a poor investment from Sony Interactive Entertainment. I don't I don't I don't think things are gonna work out for Stellar Blade. Sympathy kiss? You have my interest. <laughs> Hold on. What is hey, hey, easy, 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 easy. What is Tales of the Shire? What is that? <laughs> Chat, I got a, I got a feeling. We, we will be streaming that game. Whatever gets a release date, I think I think that's, that's an easy stream. It says unknown. Hey, easy, bro. What are you doing? No simpy kiss. It's Valheim with Cross the Lord of the Rings. Hmm. All right. So if it's like a survival game, probably not. But if it's got like a silly adventure style, yeah. Yeah, uh, Weta Workshop's crazy. Not only did they design props and prosthetics for the Lord of the Rings films, they designed the Game Awards trophy. That's pretty weird. Untitled Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hey, right when I stopped touching you, you're ridiculous. It is a nice trophy. Um, that's probably going to be sick. I'm probably down for that. They are the reason the trophy has a butt crack. Does it? <laughs> they actually... Shit. They actually sent me one. Uh, For like the COVID era pre-show, right? And then we didn't end up doing it. We did not end up doing a COVID era pre-show. But like, so I had to send it back. But I don't think I actually like took it out of the box. That was the closest I've come to like having, like holding the uh, Game Awards trophy. But yeah, they are heavy. They are indeed heavy. Kyle had to return. I had to send it back. Okay, anyway, um, turtles are, oh my god. When are we streaming this shit? I think it's out, but they're still patching it. I would really like to someday stream Tintin Report of Cigars of the Pharaoh. It's on my wish list. Uncle Chop's Rocket Shop sounds good. Urban Myth Dissolution Center also sounds good. 
Isn't Tintin kind of a detective? He's an adventurer, no. Is Indiana Jones a detective? What are you doing with that paw? <laughs> okay, I think we're good. And then chat? Maybe. Maybe he's endless zone zero. I might give it a shot. That's a maybe. I gotta let you down. There you go. Visions of mana. Oh my god. Yeah. This is gonna be such an easy Friday game. Probably I'll play the first eight hours on stream, play the rest of my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really looking forward to that game. This looks insanely nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry I missed that. Yeah, it's a good looking game. Uh, Knuckles, the Paramount Plus series. Yeah, we'll be talking about this every week. Make sure you do your homework, chat. <laughs> we'll be discussing this. Sonic the Hedgehog 3, December 20th, 2024. It's going to be here before you know it. Knuckles podcast. <laughs> that would be, chat, that would be fun. I would love to do a Knuckles podcast. All right, uh, chat, we're going to now open the docket. We're going to spin the wheel and all that shit. I do need to take a quick break before we set that all up. So we'll do a quick break, but here's a, I mean, shit. This is the only progress we made on the docket. This is what we're looking at right here. So we'll definitely, the real, the real time we add new games is at halftime. It's uh, after E3, we come back and open the docket for new games. And we add a lot of stuff on that stream. But what we need to focus on for the rest of this stream is the legacy docket. Adding old games to the docket. Right now I only have three. Threads of Fate, Dragon Ball Z, Booze Fury, and Spectrobe's Origins. I'll even, I mean, let's just put that under currently streaming. We'll play them on Monday. Um, Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury, we'll figure out where in the order it goes, but we're definitely streaming that in 2024. I can't believe I let a whole year go by without streaming any Dragon Ball games. That's messed up. And Spectrobe's Origins, unfortunately, always is at the bottom. <laughs> any chance that BG3 is returning? I really, we got to figure that out. I think no. I think like if it's like, uh, we streamed a PC game and there's extra time at the end of the night, then yeah, it's super easy to go back to BG3. But I don't think it's like a kind of like a, this Saturday we're playing BG3 all day. That kind of thing. The game slipped. The game slipped. Xenogears got slapped out. Yeah. It didn't even, it didn't even go in the dumpster. <laughs> Xenogears got slapped into oblivion. And honestly, chat. Why would Paper Mario 64 be here if Thousand Year Door is coming out? Chop. Okay. All right. <laughs> Nasty chop. Maybe if we have a specific task or quest line to tackle in BG3. True. Uh, rescuing uh, Minthara was an important quest and task for me, right? I don't even know what we're supposed to do in the game next. All I cared about was rescuing Minthara. <laughs> I don't mean, I don't even know what, what I'm supposed to do next. <laughs> All right, that'll do it. No, that will not do it. That will not do it. That will not do it. We got to take a quick break, but when we come back, the wheel spinning begins. I got to set that up and that up, but then, uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 goodbye. No, no, goodbye. No, goodbye. No, goodbye. Chat, honestly, I just I just need a bio break right now. No, 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 no. No, goodbye. <laughs> Important task, doing evil deeds to impress Minthara. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> all right, see you all soon. See you on the other side. When we're back. We're going to set up the wheel. We're going to start spinning. We're going to open the damn docket. All right. See y'all soon.
never knew love would come and find me, find me one day. Oh, I never knew that you would be the one headed my way. Yeah. Oh, you caught me off guard and you took me back, took me by surprise. this track. This is nice. That's good vibes. We're back. Welcome back. Let me show you the wheel. Let me show you what this freaking thing looks like. Uh, 177 wedges. Shuffle works. I practiced shuffling on a pre-stream. I made, I made, I practiced it like 30. I was, it was like 35 long. I'd practiced a shuffle and then it worked four times in a row. So I was like, I feel okay with shuffling. Maybe that was like a short-term bug. I'm not sure what that was. Crunch Vinyl looks to be a 12-monther. Congrats on the year. Happy New Year to you. Did I add the snowman? Uh, I picked the snowman color scheme, yes. I didn't like the default color scheme. <laughs> there is supposed to be no one because in the actual spreadsheet, which I cannot show you, um, the first line is just, um, a row that names each column. So there is supposed to be no one. The header row. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no evil laugh. Getting picked by this wheel is a good thing. Now there is one rule. Sorry, Chad, if you're, just if you're just tuning in, here's what we're doing today. We're working on the docket. We're trying to figure out what games I'm going to stream in 2024. What are, you, what are we even streaming? What are we even streaming? To do this, I take... Sorry, this is one of my favorite tracks. Sorry to stop dead in my tracks there. If you thought you weren't made that way Ooh, that song is sassy, bro That's Teach Your Robot How to Dance Okay, uh <laughs> I go to chat submissions What did they submit? A title of a game? How long to beat? A screenshot? And a brief description of why they think it will make a good stream um, so to do that, we randomly, there were 177 submissions. Obviously we can't go through them all. So to pick properly, randomly, we go to the wheel and the wheel picks for us, which, uh, submission we should pick, uh, at a time. Um, and just to be clear, uh, this is a goofy process to be clear to you, as you've seen many times. I don't know which game makes a good stream myself. I have no idea. It's still a coin toss. <laughs> it's still a roll of a D20. You never know. You never actually know. Um, so I will reject some games outright, and I will add some games that are probably bad choices. Please don't feel personally offended by any of these things. 
Uh, for instance, we have a rule that says like no detective games, right? Chat, please don't like, please don't police this shit. <laughs> it's one thing I'm asking of you. Please don't police it. Please don't be like, ah, ah. One moment, please. That's a detective game. It should not be allowed. Please don't do that. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, if it is a game I've streamed before, I, like, you know, don't be, don't be mean to the person who submitted that. <laughs> Please. That's all I ask. Who's in here? Anonymous Ifrit is, like, in this document editing it. How do you, this is not an editable document. Get out of here, Anonymous Ifrit. Get out of here. This is a, a stop that. Only I can edit this document. Is that you on another device? Most likely, yes. You can't edit it, but it still shows other people's cursors. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Stop this. <laughs> I see. I see. I see. That's funny. Hey, come on now. <laughs> Add custom robo? Uh, let's see, let's see what happens. Okay, so there is one caveat. I said the wheel is random. However, the mods get one gift a year. And that one gift is to force the wheel upon one selection. So right now, I'm going to pluck three games to look at. Not to confirm. Wait, is this back to back? What's happening right now? Oh, that's just the very end of the track. Damn. I see, I see, I see. Uh, but to look at, look at. One one forced look at this list. So, let's take a look uh, at these three submissions. So what I'll do is I'll close that. I'll go to the docket submission form, which you can't look at because it would be spoilers, and you could you could see a little you could see a game here, like oh I hope that gets it, and then you would be disappointed never and that I never look at it. So let me pull three games right now. Wow. Okay. Okay. And then one more. So I even have the wheel? Because this is only three things! <laughs> I'm only choosing three! <laughs> From the mods. Um, let me actually, let me full screen here on the wheel. So we have something to look at. Nope. That's the music. That's the wheel. <laughs> Nuclear life. Thanks for being a 31 monther. No, not every mod was forced to uh, force to force the wheel. All right, so let's talk about option one. By the way, mods, do you want do you want me, do you want me to announce who picked which thing? Well, let's see. Their their names might be associated with the picks anyway. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, first pick. Stand by. Max Res the game six big forty two monther. Same number of docket submissions as the recruitable members from Radiata Stories. Coincidence? Uh, I will say, unfortunately, there actually are only one hundred and seventy six submissions because that first row is actually a header row. <laughs> Our first pick comes from Silent Consonant. The game is Control. Game length is 15 to 20 hours. This is a uh, main game plus extra. So that would be probably three or four streams. Here's why it would make a good stream. Short fun shooter. Way less spooky than Alan Wake. Fun mechanics. 
Alan Wake characters and parallels. And are you ready for the screenshot? Now this is the thing, you gotta remember your audience. I feel manipulated here. <laughs> Delays caused by house shifts do not count towards overtime. And then apologies, I do think that I kind of spoiled a couple of uh, other picks by what you see on the top of your tabs. Chat, control's a tough one. We have to consider it. So let's put that at the top of the maybe bucket. We have to consider control. Alan Wake 2, one of my favorite games we streamed of all of 2023. Control is like an action shooting version of that game. Um, sorry, you weren't looking at that. Here's uh, here's the maybe bucket. Control needs the DLC. It doesn't need the DLC. Maybe we play it on easy mode to get through it faster, and then we play the DLC. Give it some breathing room from Alan Wake, though. I kind of agree with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we would put it a little deeper. We wouldn't play it right after Alan Wake 2. But I think Control is like a super strong contender. Yeah, that was a good pick. I didn't expect to be stuck so early. You almost put Final Fantasy 13 again? I would not have added it. <laughs> if you did FF13 again, I would not add it, no. Especially on the same year with 7 uh, Rebirth. No chance. All right, yeah. Control's up there, man. Uh, okay, next submission. Number 74. This comes from Screaming Argonaut. The game is Escape from Mistwood Mansion. I do feel like somebody asked me about this a couple of weeks ago. This is nice. Three hour game length. I like hearing that. Why will this make a good stream? Back again with another escape room game. I'll repeat my statement from last year. Okay. <laughs> I'll repeat my statement from last year that it's always fun having Kyle and chat working together. And this time I picked one with first person movement. Now that is a plus. That is a plus. Here's the screenshot. Uh, I think this might be an easy ad because of that game length. What I see here that is already like drawing me in is this fucking puzzle right here where it looks like you drag these things onto these boxes to make 284 to, I guess, obviously open probably that lock over there or something. I'm kind of into it. I'm kind of into it. I think that's such an easy ad. Chad, I'm looking for shit like this. A three hour game? That's nice. This looks nice. I'm in. Uh, We could go here. What's it called? Escape from Wist Mistwood Mansion? Three hour game means plenty of baseball room afterward. Yeah, it's an absolute Saturday game. We love shorties. Yeah. 
Um, you know what somebody suggested last year? Let's just do this while we're making the docket. This doesn't need to be a part of the document. It's kind of nice to have that. You know what I mean? Just as we're kind of like planning out, like we don't want to chat. Here's my number one fear is overloading with, overloading with RPGs. Okay. Final mod pick. From Cats, Please. The case of the Golden Idol. Looking at six hours. Why will this make a good stream? Let's be frank. This is not a detective game with multiple answers to a puzzle. There is only one solution to the puzzle. It's also streamable in the sense that chat can chime in with clues, but the puzzle and mechanics aren't so engrossing that you aren't able to interact with chat. However, this is the screenshot? This is what this game looks like? No way. Game's great. Chat? It's sort of ugly on purpose. I know there are games that are ugly on purpose. There's no chat? I No. No. It is very, very good. This is crazy because wasn't it wasn't um wasn't a sequel announced recently? It didn't look like this. Neil Druckmann loves it. Schreier loves it. I can't love it. It looks better in motion. I can't love a game that looks like this. Look at that cool skull guy. This one. This one I can I can vibe with this. And then I would probably like click on this. I mean, there's some sort of connection here, chat. We got this, we got this, and we got this. Like I'm ready to, I'm ready to deduce that. <laughs> I'm ready to click on this and see whatever story is being told on these four panels. I'm ready to do those things. However, I cannot add this game to the docket. I can't do it. No good. I can't do it. Did I like Oberdin? Hate Oberdin. You know I hate Oberdin. Hitting the hits right now. Okay, so which three? Uh, 95 we cut. 95 is gone. You see, you see the, the frame rate stutter of the wheel when I cut one? I'm scared of this thing falling apart. And then 177 is gone. Okay. The wheel is pure again. Uh, shall we? Those three I just cut were from the mods. Stand by, chant. I want to be able to see the wheel and you at the same time, and right now I can't. Music's a bit loud. Copy that. Impressive mod. Thanks for being a 33 mod there. Can we get a 3D print of the wheel? Yeah, you could. I won't stop you. 
You could do that. All right. Back to the wheel. I'm not going to I'm not going to shuffle it this first time. First spin is natural. In order. Here we go. Boo's Fury main plus extra is 12 and a half hours. Great. That's an easy two streams. Spectrobe's Origins is 44 and a half. Holy shit. All right, I got this game. We will never be played. <laughs> this poor fucking game. All right. Anyway, here we go. Oh, it's a snowball. I was like, what are these noises, bro? All right, 89. What does that correlate to? I got I think I got to change those out of I don't like the splat either chat. I don't I don't like it either. Now this isn't chat. I'm not going to show you the sheet. No, no, no. You can't see the sheet. You can't see the sheet. Oh, I see. You can kind of see the sheet. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Stand by. All right. <laughs> chat says I can. I can see the sheet. Uh, reason I don't chat. I don't want. I don't want you to look ahead. Almost leaked the sheet. All right. From confused shy guy. Divinity, original sin two. Platform PC. Game length. One hundred. In parentheses, hear me out. Why this will make a good stream. Here we go. For $13.49 in Steam until January 4th. Another Choose the Dark Side game we love to see you play. Create your character as an undead from different races, including lizard folk. Isometric camera hate? No problem. Third person camera view mod is available. Here's the screenshot. No. Chat. No. No, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. I think confused guy, confused shy guy knew there was no chance, but sometimes you have to shoot your shot. Yeah, shoot for your dreams. Absolutely. No harm in taking the chance. But, uh, no way. Because here's the thing. Yeah, you can mod to, for the third person camera, right? But even like, look at the details at this point. To me, this game will be historically inferior to BG3. Chess says the combat is better. That's interesting. But uh, yeah, I feel like Divi Divinity Original Sin 2 uh, is basically antiquated. Like, how, how could we start this before finishing BG3? You know what I mean? How could we ever? It is cool you could be a skeleton. And if I could pick that in BG3, I gladly would have. But there's... Chat, we can't start... We cannot start a 100-hour playthrough of this game. <laughs> we simply can't. We can't do it. All right. Excellent submission. As chat says, shoot your shot. Take the chance. Shoot for your dreams. Uh, let, hold on. Let me change the sound effects of the wheel really quick. What is it normally? Oh my gosh. I don't even know what it normally is. Uh... 
Okay. Back to the wheel. Here we go. It was, it was, the sound was called relaxed piano. It was called relaxed piano. So I thought, here's what I expected. It was like, you know, that's what I expected. That's what I expected. Anxiety piano. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot to shuffle. I'll get it next time. I'll get it next time. So anyway, result 51. We'll see what that is. All right, from Bengal Party. We're talking about Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits. This is a PS2 game available on PlayStation Plus. That, that is nice. How long to beat? 48 hours. This is what the chat, this is the number one thing I'm trying to be cautious about. 48 hour playthrough. Why will this make a good stream? Widely considered the best title in the Ark of the Lad series. One of Damiani's all time favorite RPGs, not a plus. Cool cast of party members. Fun tactical gameplay. Here's the screenshot. It's a little tiny. I've... I need more from the screenshot. Here's the thing. I like this pink creature who seems to have a tail coming out from between the two shoulder blades. I like that. But I'm looking at two characters' backs as they stare at a stack of rocks. I think this is a case of the screenshot not making the case. If we're to put a 48 hour game on the docket chat, it's got to amaze us with the screenshot. As it stands, I simply can't allow this on the docket. You're kind of curious about that. It is. There's, I guess there's something enticing about the two backs. RPGs are low priority. That's right. Like basically we'll allow one or two RPGs on the docket tonight. I think we have to make a responsible chop here. That's a chop. The faces are spoilers. I wish, Chad. Come on now. That's a chop. Now, here's what sucks is when I click back in here. Shit. <laughs> We'll just have to remember. So basically when I click back into this window, it thinks that I don't want to remove the number. So unfortunately uh, it's still there, but hey, if, it, if we double down, we'll remember. We will remember. Okay, shuffle it up. I said shuffle? Oh shit, I think shuffle's broken again. All right. Oh shit, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I forgot about the, I forgot about the piano. <laughs> That piano is so loud. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's not a bit. I'm sorry. I will change it. I will change it. All right, you're right. We can just remove it here. Remove 118. Okay. Uh. I'll let you watch this part with me. All right, relax. Piano relaxed beat is what that was called. Um, how about soft ticker? That sounds nice. Okay, apply the settings. Great. All right, 118 it was, right? 
I'm not doing retro crime fighter. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> All right, 118. Here we go. From Generous Respawn. Escape from Mistwood Mansion. Platform, Steam. Game length, three hours. Why will this make a good stream? Escape rooms are always a good stream. This one has multiple rooms, straightforward puzzles, and the game lets you pick up and move way too many objects. Let's look at that screenshot. I have decided that Escape from Mistwood Mansion may remain on the docket. Now here's the thing. Remove 51. Okay, I will. Here's the thing, chat. Is like, if I see a dupe, I'm not going to say like that's a dupe, right? Maybe somebody makes a case against the game accidentally. Maybe they showed me a screenshot I didn't want to see. In which case we can absolutely cut something from the docket. It could happen. You know what I mean? There's a lot of things you can see in a screenshot. <laughs> Kyle is cruel. Chat, if you're running a docket, you have to be cruel. Tough but fair. Exactly. All right. Uh, 51 is the other one we got to delete. What the hell? <laughs> so when I shuffled it, it like... It just <laughs> When I clicked shuffle, it like barely shuffled. <laughs> you stupid wheel. <laughs> All right. Good shuffle wheel. All right, here we go. One thirty. All right, what is one thirty? Slicey McSlicer, thanks for being a forty-one month. They're all hail the wheels wisdom. I don't like that sound effect either. We gotta change that again. Um. Okay, one thirty. Here we go. From Ickety Ackety Oop. No straight roads encore edition. This is available on PS4 and Steam. Seven and a half hour playthrough. Let me click that screenshot. Why this would make a good stream. Great art, great music, great vibes, hokey dialogue, potentially glitchy antics, has a brother versus brother grudge, which is hashed out in a multi-part rap battle rhythm game between levels in a back alley. And then here's the screenshot. I almost played this game when it was new. This looked like a Guitar Man kind of game. And it's an excellent screenshot. That's true. This is my kind of shit. I didn't know it had explorable environments like this. I enjoyed it. Quick playthrough. It looks like it, it probably would take like a stream and a half, which is which is nice. This is so much like a maybe bucket to me, though. I think I think we put this in the maybe bucket. This is this is what the maybe bucket is made for. Uh, why is it? I think the submission said like, uh. Definitive edition? What what did they change about it? <laughs> Encore edition, it's called. Yeah, what's uh, what's new about the Encore edition? 
And how long to beat was that? That was seven and a half hours. Enhanced version of the original music action adventure that features the rocktastic base game plus new content. Okay. Quality of life improvements. Sure. Um, I put it beneath control in the maybe bucket. I think that's fair, right? DMCA check. I assume it's original music in that game. There's no way it's licensed music, right? <laughs> okay, chat confirms. Original music. All right, back to the wheel. Unfortunately, I will not be able to click remove 130 because when I do this, yep, shit. All right, 130, where are you? There you go. And then let's change that sound effect again. I don't like soft ticker. Couldn't hurt. All right, here we go. Kind of sounds. It kind of sounds like an RPG battle song. One thirty-seven. Okay. 137. Fuck. <sighs> 137 comes from snug mode. The submission is... Baldur's Gate 3. Platform PC. Game length... Main 59, main plus extra 108. Some of the best... Here, why, why this will make a good stream? Some of the best streams. Kyle needs to see Act 3. Gordius needs to finish the fight. Rest in peace, Stormbringer. <laughs> you want to see the screenshot? I think it's the right thing to do. I think it's the right thing to do. I think what we do is it would be a Monday game and it would probably would be two more months chat. It would probably be two more months of Mondays, but I feel like it's the right thing to do. So like we're going to we're going to be playing Threads of Fate, right? Like that's going to take forever already. So I want I would want to put some space between Threads of Fate and whenever we start Baldur's Gate 3. But I do agree like it makes sense to actually play Baldur's Gate 3 on Mondays. Threads of Fate is short. Right, and it might be only and it might be just like two Mondays. We'll see. But yeah, yeah, you made a good case. You made a good case. You know what I mean? Like, eh. there's so many chat. There's so many like off the beat, like weird games that I want to stream that I'll never be able to stream. You know what I mean? But like also like Baldur's Gate 3, we got a following. We got a character we care about. You know what I mean? Like it makes sense to play that on some Mondays. It makes sense to play through that game. It's such a killer to the rest of the docket. And hyphen, I agree. I think that's a problem too, is that like, if we play Baldur's Gate 3, there's almost no shot at other future RPGs getting added. So uh, that is an issue. So I wonder about that. For now, it's on the docket. 
let's see if any other RPG can kick it off. This is basically where we're at. You gotta beat Baldur's Gate 3 now, essentially. We'll see. We'll see who can pull it off. Back to the wheel. Who can beat Baldur's Gate 3? Why 200 hours? I'm just being realistic, chat. <laughs> Thanks, Keanu Reeve. Um, <laughs> I forgot to change it. I forgot to change it. 129. I think we got to shuffle again. 130 and 129 got picked? Uh-uh. That's not right. That's not right. Obviously, I'll pick it. 129? You're coming up. Hammer on the shuffle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. Oh. Wow. No, I've been thinking about this one. I'll let you know. I'll let you know ahead of time. I've been thinking about this one. From Sora Link 2619. Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Platform Xbox One. Here's where I pause. Game length. 24 hours. Why this will make a good stream? We need proof. Tears of the Kingdom is worse. Uh, jolly vibes, strong, funny frustration, good surprise factor. Very few have played it. Throw Banjo a bone. Did Banjo deserve to die because of this game? chat let me just tell you this is not how you build a case let me just tell you this is this is not how you build a case no 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 No, 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 no.
Deal? Do we have a deal? Kyle believes that the reveal of a new Banjo-Kazooie game... Excuse me, laughing at. Excuse me, yes, 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 laughing at. Will not be up to snuff. Similar to crossing your arms and saying, and here's Battletoads. Talking about that. Talk about that. Not up to snuff. Not up to expectations. Not up to what a new Banjo-Kazooie should be. If the reveal is up to snuff, Kyle must play Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. If it is not up to snuff, every art piece for the next art show must depict Sonic the Hedgehog laughing at Banjo. If it doesn't have that, I will delete it. It wants not something I'll, I'll like, I'll put in a little folder. I will delete that email. <laughs> Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to be clear, must stream. It's the same, same as, uh, same as Toomba. Somebody pulled up the definition of up to snuff. Hold on, what, where was that? Where was that? Of sufficient quality, meeting an applicable standard, up to snuff. Yeah, if it looks like the reveal of Battletoads, I win that bet. <laughs> there it is. I'm telling you, there's no other way I'm playing nuts and bolts. So, I mean, like, you, you like, it's nice. You got, you got kind of added to the docket. But that's as close as it's going to get. Is the game on the docket worse? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way worse. <laughs> time frame? No time frame. This is the reveal. This is the reveal. Whenever a new Banjo-Kazooie game is revealed, we check in on this bet. No time frame. But we're strictly talking about the reveal. If it has a bad reveal and eventually is a good game, doesn't matter. Talk about the reveal. Back to the wheel. All right, here we go. Let's get some shuffles in. Shuffle this up for me, would you? I said shuffle it up. Shuffle it up. Shuffle it up. <laughs> I swear it's shuffling two numbers at a time. I said shuffle it up. I said shuffle it up. Oh my God. All right, fine. The sounds, I'm so sorry about the sounds. <laughs> Look at that, submission 40. <laughs> submission 40. <laughs> Don't change the music. I'm changing the music. I'm changing it. Just remind me, please. Well, this is interesting. From Christoffers. Shinobi non grata. Switch PS4 and Steam. Game length. Are you ready? One and a half hours. Love that. All right, why will this make a good stream? It's an exciting 2D action game from 2023. It's not very long, tightly packed with reasonably challenging and varied boss fights. Now, I have to say, that could describe a lot of games. So a lot is riding on this screenshot. That description didn't do much to say what makes this game different and special. Huh. Okay, check out the screenshot, chat. Sorry, that's my mouse. I'm kind of into it too. I'm kind of into it too. 
If it's super short, why not? I'm kind of in the same spot with that. So I think this wouldn't be like, we wouldn't put this as a headliner. But this is so easy to put in on, on a Saturday. This is a fun suggestion. And this was on Steam. What's the Metacritic? We don't talk about the Metacritics. <laughs> that is not a component in our decision making. We don't talk about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of into it. I think I'm going to put it in the maybe bucket, right? Because obviously, like, we're not ultra passionate about it. Um, but, uh, it, it is like a, it, I think this is an easy slot in and it looks really cool. So let's put it in like the top of the maybe. Um, what was the name of this game again? What did I say out loud? <laughs> here's, here's where, here's where it is. We'll start with the, that. Shinobi? Non grata. What a funny name. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Well, like, honestly, I think we should put it in the main bucket and then kick it to the maybe if something else tosses it. How about that? Kind of like that. All right, back to the wheel. Nice try, Chad. I remember this time. We're done with that. Rolling dice? I mean, obviously. How'd I let that slip? Here we go. <laughs> it just plays once. This fucking wheel loves the 130s. You fucking wheel. All right, 138. Nat 138. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I've seen this game get very good reviews. This comes from Jake Monkey. The game title is... Not for broadcast. Platform PC, game length 10 hours. Why this will make a good stream? Hilarious, tragic, witty, dark, British comedy. Gameplay is intimidating at first, smooths out once you get into the groove. Always adding new mechanics. Great acting and a well-designed world. You can influence society by controlling the news feed. Oh, I do like that. <laughs> now that is compelling to me. The screenshot is not doing much for me. That's the screenshot. That's just, that's just, that's just what the, the game's cover looks like. Yeah, I messed that up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cause here's the thing. Here's the thing is that like, I, uh, I wonder if this works as a stream or I wonder if you're just kind of like at the mercy of the game. You know what I mean? I've always wondered about not for broadcast, but I feel like uh, it would be a really funny stream. Really, chat? <laughs> Feels fun to experiment at least, I guess. Do you have any live editing experience IRL? Uh, only back from college. During my college days, we did some live edits. Fun shit, honestly. 
I think I cannot allow not for broadcast on the docket. I need more. I need more. Not for docket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not for docket. I'm intrigued. It's new to me. Interesting. Yeah, it seems like it seems like a strong case was made for chat at the very least. But here's the thing, chat. I don't like I don't like streaming games that I gotta like uh, react to too much. You know what I mean? Where it's like this is the funny scene. Watch and react to this. New roll sound? I kind of like the dice. Let's give the dice a few more rolls. <laughs> 166. Okay. From Beard and Pipe. The game is called Lisa, the Painful Definitive Edition. It's on Steam, PS5, Switch, and Xbox. Game length, 13 hours. Lisa is a game about choices. Choices that lead to an unforgettable story. It's a game about friendship, loss, pain, and perverts. Unforgettable characters. Music and set pieces made this kicks. Music and set pieces make this kicks. And then a URL to a Bandcamp link, which obviously, Chad, I can't click. At that point, you know what I mean? Like we can't we can't play music. That that'd be against the rules. Not allowed. Strictly forbidden. Here's the screenshot. Your left arm for his life. Cut it off. I don't care about him. Neither. I'll kill you. Now, yeah, obviously I like those options. But I don't like these creatures. We're back in Golden Idolville. You know what I mean? Look at these masks. I can't allow this on the dock. This creeps me out. Kyle is hard to read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we have the wheel. <laughs> why not? They are happy. I don't know. Mm -mm. No, no, no. That's the thing is the masks aren't happy. They're smiling, but they're not happy. The game is pretty dark. Interesting. It's called Lisa? Huh. No, I have, I have no familiarity with this game. But I cannot allow it on the docket. Back to the wheel. Kind of hard to see on mobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should do that more. It would be easy to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, here, here. Here, 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 here. Here, here. Change spin length? You want it longer? Oh, I get that. I, I get that idea. So maybe we're thinking that the length of the spin is why we keep running into the same spots. All right. I like that. I like that. Let's do an uneven number 17 seconds. Okay. Here we go. Wolfric Bearlord, I will, if you sent to a page with screenshots, I'll just pick one. 85 is up next. 85. Nice mid number. That number is mid. From Zeth07. 
game title. The Messenger. Platforms, PC, Switch, PS4 and 5, Xbox One, etc. Game length, 14 and a half hours. Why will this make a good stream? Has great gameplay, music, and pixel art. I think Kyle would enjoy the humor in some of the dialogue. It has interesting gameplay twists and relatively short at 14 hours. It could likely be finished in two and a half streams. Tie in with Sea of Stars later. Here's the screenshot. Wait, let me enhance it a bunch for chat before we even look at it. Okay. More. Okay. People are on mobile. Okay, I got it. I got it. Now, Chad, I'm not unaware of uh, the messenger. You know what I mean? To me, it looks like a like an ultra hardcore 2D platforming game. Yeah, I know about the swip swapping between 8 bit and 16 bit. Well, let's say graphically upgrading. Chess is not that hard. It's not hardcore. I think I, didn't I watch, didn't we play Messenger at one of the Easy Allies, uh, uh, Easy Living Weekends? It was the DLC, copy that, copy that. Um, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like, uh, I feel like there's so many other games that I'd rather like play in this one's spot. You know what I mean? This game I feel like s serves like a very particular like type of game and there's like other games that I'd rather put in front of it. I don't think I could put this on the docket. Because I think, I think like my playthrough of this game would just be trash. The cruelty of 2024 sets in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to get on the docket this year. I'm trying to make it really hard. That's the thing. I put too many games on the docket last year. It's easier than most of the Mario Wonder levels. Okay. All right, I'm passing on it. It wasn't an easy pass. It was not an easy pass, but I'm passing on it. That's a good suggestion. It's not one where I'm like easy chop. It's not an easy chop. Game insults you in a really annoying way every time you die. <laughs> Chai, you shouldn't say shit like that. That's rude. You just buried somebody's game. Can we try popcorn? Okay, let's try popcorn. That's rude. You can't say shit like that. <laughs> Ew, I don't like popcorn. Ew, I don't like this. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, whoa. Okay, what is happening here? From Goob Luck. Game title. Porsche Challenge. Platform PS1. Game length, seven hours. All right, so immediately you think no way. You think why and you think no way. This is what this is what I love about this stuff. 
Why will this make a good stream? Six characters with distinct personalities and assigned color for their Porsche and preset rivals fight for supremacy on tracks with shortcuts and obstacles in a game ripe for SSX style stream lore. There's even a mysterious seventh character to unlock. That's why I like this shit. That is pretty enticing. The screenshot is not enticing! <laughs> That's the screenshot! <laughs> Quiet, thanks for being a 14-monther. I got baited, I got baited. Trying to sell the personalities. Yeah, that was already sold on that. Obviously, I gotta see what the game looks like. You just insulted somebody's screenshot. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Chad, I gotta see what the game looks like in the screenshots. To put it on the docket to say we're gonna stream it. You know what I mean? Shit. J. Jonah Jameson mode activated. Very true. Google it real quick. I don't feel like that would be right. I tell everybody who submitted to the docket, you, you can only include one screenshot. Shit. Seven hours ain't bad. No, 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 no. Well, here's the thing. I wonder if to get that seventh character, we'd have to do multiple playthroughs. I love the idea of a mysterious seventh character. The screenshot has game trailers vibes. I can't explain it. <laughs> it's from 97. This game is from 97. <laughs> this will live in the back of Kyle's head. He'll buy it on his own in a year or two. Yeah, all right. All right. I can already tell you who I would play as. This guy. <laughs> Easy pick. Yeah, afraid I, afraid I have to deny it from the wheel. You almost had me. I will say, you almost had me. Oh, shit. You're right. Uh, for some reason, like chat, random is random, right? But when you see 73 and 74 are gone. Oh, never mind. We removed 74 from the mods. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Um, no more popcorn. That was gross. Give me more, like, ticks. Give me more hi-hat, hi-hat, hi-hat. Okay, here we go. I'm not doing pensive. Shit, they love the 130s. What did I expect? I expected... Not... You know what I mean? 131. The 130s are popular. All right, what do we got here? Oh, baby, this will be contentious. This will be contentious. We have to, we have to seriously consider this one. From Turbo Chicken Man. The Legend of Zelda. Majora's Mask. Platform Nintendo Switch Online plus expansion pack. We got that. Game length, 31 hours. Why will this make a good stream? By the way, I do not appreciate this bending of the rules. 
So I'm going to read it as it was written. Best atmosphere. NPC personalities. Underwater swimming. In all Zeta. Prob best Dungan. Ace soundtrack. Not just best of OOT. Satisfying details at every turn. Least empty feeling at 3D Zeta. Basic task prioritizing. Slow time plus time skip songs. Equals what timer? Two or three tough quests. Restore points. So Turbo Chicken Man, in trying to fit as much as possible into these 250 characters, basically made something that doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't understand what I just read. Oh, this is rude. This is rude as shit though. Wait till you see the screenshot. That's rude. We got to talk about Majora's Mask, chat. I love playing Zelda games. As you can see, Tears of the Kingdom ended up as one of my favorite streams of 2023. However, many Zelda games have not worked out that way. Not even good ones. Skyward Sword was absolutely a bummer of a stream. Um, Oracle of Seasons didn't really register, you know what I mean? Link to the Past wasn't there. And so Majora's is out there, you know what I mean? Like, I would love to play through Majora's Mask. I've never finished it. Can I get an Oya for the Tennessee Vols winning 35-0 in their bowl, bowl game? I don't even know what that team is. I don't know who the Vols are. No Oyas for sports. They're the Volunteers. Cool. That's actually a cool team name. I'll give them an Oya for having a cool team name. Oya. Um... Yeah, I don't think it's time yet. Chat? I would really like to play Majora's Mask some point. I don't think it's time yet. When did I first play Majora's Mask? Get this. I played it first on 3DS. Yeah, I would almost rather stream o Ocarina of Time first. I agree with that. I agree with that. I don't think this is our next Zelda. 3DS version blows. Okay, chat. Okay. All right. You didn't see my bomber's notebook. I don't think this is it. I don't think this is the Zelda. I don't think this is the one. Not an easy call, though. An easy discussion to be had. All right. I'll change the time again for you, chat. Trying to trick. We're trying to trick this uh, computer. Oh, I forgot to change the sound effect. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Okay. <laughs> 105. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. From Smills. Game title. Oh yeah, remove. We can do that right now. Good looking out. Disco Elysium. The final cut. This is on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox. Game length 32.5 hours. 
Why will this make a good stream? Ready? I know what you're thinking. Okay. All right, I'm listening. You already know what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. Tiny people, quasi detective premise. But after the success of the Baldur's Gate 3 streams and the news surrounding Zaum, the studio behind DE, this one of a kind CRPG is more than worthy of a stream or two. Let's look at the screenshot. Mm -mm. Now here's the thing. This is an easy no because we're playing Baldur's Gate 3. It's on the docket right now at least. You know what I mean? And also, when I tried to stream this game, it went miserably. I have a really hard time vibing with this game. What's happening in the lower right of the screen? There was some sort of ad there for a second. Literally one of the best games of all time, but I see it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all, this is, it is like, it's, it's an absolute, like, you gotta vibe with this game. You gotta vibe with it. 100% that kind of game. Can I tell you what's played out? It's a reference. A lot of people wouldn't recognize this, but this pattern is actually a reference. No, we've seen it. We've fucking seen it. You have to be kind of a film freak to get this reference. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, The Shining Carpet. It's The Shining Carpet, chat. Everybody fucking loves to reference The Shining Carpet for some reason. All right. Drum roll? Here we go. Twenty-two! Twenty-two is next up. By the way, I kind of like drum roll. Chat's excited we got a low number. From SD Witchcraft. The game is called... Orcs must die. This comes out on PC and Steam. Game length, 13 hours. Why will this make a good stream? This game believes it is very funny. What it actually is, is fun. Now, why would you tell me that? <laughs> now, why would you tell me this game believes it is very funny? Do we do Goaty today? No, Goaty will be next week or the week after. I'm not ready for Goaty yet. The screenshot. No, I gotta say, I gotta say, you gotta do more. You gotta do more to pull me into a game like Orcs Must Die. You know what I mean? If it's a game where like, I was like, oh dude, I was always thinking about this game. I've always wanted to play this game. Then you could do a short little description. Like you already, Kyle, you already know. For Orcs Must Die? I need to hear more than this is actually a very good game. You know what I mean? To me, this is an easy chop. It's Orcs Must Die 1 and not 3, correct? Easy chop. Easy chop. We gotta have some easy chops too. It's tower defense, and you know I hate tower defense. Back to the wheel. I do like that it was a German screenshot. <laughs> 97! Okay. Right. <laughs> Isn't it weird that there's like, there's some shuffled numbers in there? <laughs> 
So I think every time you click shuffle, it just switches like two numbers. All right, 97. Ooh. Okay. All right. 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 Remove it. Copy that. You got it, chat. Removed. From Grandstand. 421. Game title Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Platform PS1 Dreamcast. However, this was just released on PS5. Game length six and a half hours. Why will this make a good stream? Ready for this? Every screenshot I can find of this game makes it look like Barnyard with Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Let's see. Let's find out together, shall we? Every screenshot I find of this game Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. There's no way. There's no way this is actually Barnyard-esque because it's a PS1 game. It does, chat. No, it does look Barnyardy. It does look Barnyardy. <laughs> this is not a Barnyard screenshot. This is the Buzz Lightyear game. Now, somebody said it has tight time limits. Where I don't even see on this UI where there would be a time limit. I see, like, jetpack, probably health, shots of your blaster, some other symbol in the bottom left, obstructed by the IGN logo, and then, like, a, a compass in the upper left. It only pops up when you're at the end of it. <laughs> Every level is a foot race with a villain. Having to beat them in the end before... Sorry. Uh, before... I can't read the rest of that. Uh, before fighting game? Definitely not a game to take a knee. Got it, got it, got it, got it. That's the problem with me. That's the problem for me. Is like, barnyard works because we can chill in the barnyard. Remember the IGN logo on the Okami Wii box art? Yeah. Cool cash mechanics for all the power-ups. I'm willing to let it slip. And believe me, I already I was already considering this game. I was already I was already looking at that game like, damn, would that be a good stream? I'm willing to let it slip. Here we go. Spinning the wheel. One forty seven. From Louis P. Game title. Evo. The Search for Eden. It's a Super Nintendo game. Game length, nine and a half hours, which I don't believe, by the way. Why this will make a good stream? It's a really good NX side-scrolling RPG with 2001 A Space Odyssey vibes. Environmental themes and freeform evolution character progression with a sink from a single cell organism through to advanced mammals what and freeform evolution character progression from a single cell organism through to advanced mammals that is not what i thought this game was let's look at the screenshot holy shit
is also rare and expensive. How expensive are we talking? How expensive are we talking? Because, I mean, what I see here looks fun as shit. 200, 275, 180. Okay. All right. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Damn it. You will need rewind? We'll have it, man. We'll, uh, we'd obviously, we'd be, uh, emulating this. Zoom and enhance for mobile. Well, the more I do, the more, uh, imager takes over. Watch this. <laughs> no. Get out of there. And if I do it again, chat, stop this. Then it's then it's like I mean, like you know what I mean. We're doing what we can here. I know how to press Control Plus. <laughs> right click, open a new tab. All right. Anyway, chat. Uh, obviously, that price is a factor, but. I'll put it in the maybe bucket. You know what I mean? If we're not going to end up buying that many games, yeah, maybe I can, you know, scrape together a few bucks to buy Evo. But, like, uh, one of my favorite streams was um, Terranigma. Another, you know, forgotten Enix published classic on a Super Nintendo. Like, uh, I feel like this is like you're, like, accessing... Like, video game history when you're playing a game like that, you know? Um, so that's, like, something that's really appealing to me. Think of the savings Baldur's Gate 3 will give. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the maybe. I'm putting it in the maybe. I love playing weird old Super Nintendo games I had no awareness of. What's it called? Evo? Something something? And that was 10 hour playthrough? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. But all right. The search for Eden. It's got a shot. It's got a shot. It could also, it could also get chopped the second you find another Super Nintendo RPG for me. You know what I mean? Sorry, it's not the Evo search for Eden. Copy that. Okay. It's got weird shit in it. It looks like it's got weird shit in it. I love weird shit. It is the okay, fine. Um, let's uh spin the wheel again though. Maybe there's another Super Nintendo RPG in here that can uh, topple that one. You're not going back to the 130s. You're not going back to the 130s. <laughs> 130 submitters got very lucky is all, all we got to say. <laughs> it's a weighted wheel. <laughs> Sorry, Chad, I already forgot. It's one, it was 134 is what it landed on, right? Yep. All right. From Tim Zaptor. Game title. Pokemon Emerald. Platform. GBA. Game length. 66 hours. With 2024 being the five-year anniversary of Silver Squad. Shoot me. Is it not time to continue the journey with chat? Although we won't have Jones there catching and grinding, it's sure to be a hit. How long to beat says 66 hours because of Battle Tower? It's much shorter. That I do buy. That I do buy, actually. <laughs> this fucking screenshot. You gotta be kidding me with this. Alright, let me tell you this. Let me tell you something. Uh, this is an easy skip. This is an easy chop. Because... Of the charity stream happening in early February. Um, 
my friend Dan from Canada is going to come down from the icy mountains to uh, help out with a charity stream. We're co-oping. We are not yet announcing the title of the game that we'll be streaming for the charity stream this year. But I feel like if you were interested in me playing an older Pokemon game, you will not leave that stream disappointed. Now, there was there is one problem with that, is that even like if it's like a 12 hour charity stream or whatever, we're not we're not gonna finish the Pokemon game. So like there is the thing about like would it be something that's picked up the next year or would it be a different game the next year? So there is that kind of factor to it. But um It would be overkill to uh, do the, a Pokemon Emerald playthrough on top of uh, what we're doing in February. It'd be overkill. So, uh, yeah. Easy chop. Great suggestion. Though, I think it was rude to uh, bring Jones. You know what I mean? Like, It's not like, hey, we don't need Jonesy. Obviously, you need Jonesy. <laughs> Obviously, there's no replacement for Brandon Jones. At least we saw Rayquaza. Yeah. Now I know how to pronounce that thing. <laughs> You're right. I could just buy a fake Pokemon Emerald, right? <laughs> Would that still be following the streamer's code? It, chat it would be breaking it would be breaking the code to knowingly buy a reproduction that's not the point <laughs> smart ski thanks for being a 43 monther did i see jones's top 10 on min max no show it to me jones got a top 10 like that guy even played 10 games yeah right yeah right okay back to the wheel BG3 was number one. Yeah, right, Jones. <laughs> Chat, promise me Brandon Jones is out, out of Act 1. If the money doesn't go to the developers, is it worth to uphold the code? I, it's honestly, Goo Baby, I have no idea anymore. Like, we buy games from defunct studios, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't even know the purpose of the code anymore. But, uh... We still, we still abide by it. <laughs> Scrap the code, says chat. I'm not scrapping the code. All right, let's see Jonesy's top 10. What a nice gif. Ben Hansen. The guy's got his shit together, you know what I mean? Look at that gif. Well, now I'm kind of mad I didn't have my um, top 10 together in time. This is a cool post. Look at this shit. I could have had my own gif. Learn why she doesn't have a top 10 by checking out her video here. You almost got me, Jenna. That's enticing. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, guess no. So some guests get gifts. Dan Riker put WarioWare Move It on your top ten. You gotta respect that. Gosh, you gotta just you gotta respect that. Even Mortal Kombat One. Ooh, what a list. That's nice. Lego Fortnite? I'm rolling my eyes. <laughs> there it is. Oh my gosh, Jones. You gotta be shitting me. Look at this, man. <laughs> I 
All right. Brandon Jones, author of Whirly World, former editor-in-chief of Easy Allies and Game Trailers, appeared on the Minimax show in 2023. All right, Baldur's Gate 3 is Jonesy's number one. Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, number two. Alan Wake 2, number three, bullshit. <laughs> Super Mario's Wonder, number four. Resident Evil 4, number five. Marvel Spider-Man, number two. Seven Starfield, bullshit. Octopath Traveler 2, I believe it. Dave the Diver, bullshit. Power Wash Simulator VR. Jones? I believe it. I believe it. It's the, it's the only one I believe. It's the only time I like, you know what? He probably did slap on a VR headset and play this at one moment. Just want to shout out in an oh yeah for how nice Ben Hansen is. Had a very nice exchange with him after joining the Patreon for the first time this week. If you think that man is nice, you're getting the wool pulled over your eyes. Uh, Tuttle, thanks for being a 14-monther. Thank you, Kyle, and you stupid chat. Happy New Year. Um, yeah, Ben Hansen's like best in the biz. Oh, yeah. Absolute oh, yeah. That's one thing. I mean, I am not good with my Patreon interactions. I'm not good with, I guess, any interactions, right? Um, but yeah, that's so essential. Like, here's the thing. I thought I know Brandon Jones. I thought I knew this man. What is this top 10? Jonesy? What am I, what am I supposed to grasp here? Starfield, number seven? <laughs> Why number seven, Jones? It is, you know what? It is a fairly obvious Jones pick. I'd believe it if it was number three. But he's got Alan Wake 2 at number 3. Is Jonesy really an Alan Wake 2 person? Has he changed that much? Has it been five years? <laughs> since since uh, Silver Squad? It's been five years. This man's been evolving. He's a writer now. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, chat. Okay. All right, back to the wheel. Thank you for showing that to me. One oh nine. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. This is what this is like. This is one of those things where it's like a good suggestion, and I can already tell you there's almost no way. But let's hear them out from KC eighty seven. The game title is Spec Ops The Line. PC on Steam, Xbox backwards compatible, game length seven and a half hours. This is very funny. Why will this make a good stream? Ready for this? This is a cozy game where you don't have to think too much. It is also very toothless. So no danger of chat disrupting your chill with opinions. It was supposed to be called Spec Ops The Schwein, but they feared the title was too serious. Look at that screenshot. Let's just take a peek at that. Chat, is this submission art? It says the US military does not condone the killing of unarmed combatants, but this isn't real, so why should you care? All right, easy cut. You had your fun, Casey. <laughs> easy chop. <laughs> Speaking of Minmax, didn't you have to mime Spec Ops the line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did charades. We did we did charades with game titles. And I got Spec Ops the line. From Hansen, by the way. He submitted that to me. Can I get an oh yeah for finally beating my husband in chat, Mr. Matinet Matati. Matati. In our fantasy games league. 
It came down to only five points, and we both had 23 games released and one unreleased. Super fun year. Yeah, you can know, yeah, for winning uh, Fantasy League. Oh, yeah. I know what it's like to come down to such a small margin. I know what that feels like. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Next up. From. Everybody adores sticks. Game title. Anodyne two. Platform PC game length ten and a half hours. Why will this make a good stream? Well, it's an obscure offbeat throwback 3D platformer. It just seems like a Kyle game. Sorry, it just seems like a game that Kyle would like. Let's look at that screenshot. Now this is unfortunate to the submitter. I have played this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have played this game. So it's an easy chop. What, what sucked is I got pretty deep in and basically um, progress locked myself out. I could basic I could progress, but I was it would like take me hours of grinding to progress. Basically, I think this is it, right? There's like a sand tower. Maybe it's in one of these buildings around here. Uh, but it, like it was basically like an annoying thing where if you progress in the story, it like depletes your sand tower and then you can you put your sand in it like that. But like, if you didn't progress in the story in time, you basically have to start all over filling your sand tower. It was something like that. Anyway, that's a chop for me because I have played this game already. Anodyne Rescue Mission. I mean, that would be basically what it would be like, right? It would be like me catching up to where I was when I left it. Um, Hydro Shutterbug, thanks for being a 43 monther. Bummed I missed the deadline. Golden Sun 2, we'll have to wait until next year. Ooh, that would have been a good submission. Yeah, this game is cool. By the way, I think it is unlikely for a regular player to get progress locked the way I did. I think it was like basically it was punishing me for doing the thing where I like to like do everything I can before progressing the story when I should have just done the main story quest and then uh, see what else was out there. But yeah, I love how this looks. And then um, you shrink, you shrink and it becomes like a 2D, a top down like Zelda like. Progress lock is only for premium players. That's right. The next, uh, this team's next game is a top down action adventure style that plays like Zelda with more movement mechanics. Yeah, I'm in for it. I'm in for that kind of thing. Did I play over this dev's next game, Stephanie? No, I've never heard of Stephanie actually. I liked this game to be clear. I was into it up until I got into that nasty uh, pickup, I should say, because it's not an actual uh, progress block. All right, here we go. Spin that wheel. Right, went right back to the 90s. Okay. All right. So you love the 90s. That don't impress me much. All right. 90s submitters feeling good about themselves. Going to 91. <laughs> Only 90s chat will understand. Fuck. Now, chat, I told you. I told you. I told you. If there is a game on the docket that you're scared of getting cut, submit it, resubmit it. From, from my Lord Roger, game title, Diddy Kong Racing. Platform N64, game length 15 hours. Why will this make a good stream? It's Mario Kart 64. 
but with a hub world. Better music, composer David Wise. Vehicle options, cart, hovercraft, airplane. Semi-challenging boss races. Exciting environments to keep gameplay fresh. Tactical jo choices with power-ups. No blue shell. Let's take a look at that screenshot. Funny pick. Hero submission. Yeah, I said, man. I said no game is safe. If you're scared of a game getting chopped, resubmit that game. I don't know. I think it's a really good I think it's a really good like in-betweener between like RPGs. To finally play Diddy Kong Racing. I've not played this game. And I do like that it has a story mode. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Get back on there, Diddy. Get back on there. Fifteen hours is three streams, though. That's three weeks. Can we get a big buddy? Fine. Is there something you should tell me, big buddy? Three good weeks. All right, we'll see. We'll see, Chad. No promises. No promises. I don't love it, but I'm adding it. <laughs> I'm chat. I'm trying to be really tight with the with the docket this year. I'm trying to be. You wish, chat. It's not happening. It's 68. <laughs> the wheel knows what you wanted. The wheel knows. 68. Excellent. That was, honestly, that was a good play. Putting putting Diddy Kong Racing in there. That was a good play. That was a good play. Slicey, thanks for those bits. From Sten2310. Game title Apocalypse Starring Bruce Willis Platform PS1 Game length 7 hours 11 minutes Why will this make a good stream? Over the top PS1 action game With the PS1 likeness and voice Of Bruce Willis Fighting the ultimate evil A.K.A. Satan A.K.A. the President Of the United States Screenshot, unfortunately. Oh, no, we got one. We got one. We got one. That's a screenshot. The player is fighting a tank. The display in the top right shows that the player is using the rocket launcher, and the blue bar coming down from it indicates how much ammunition is left. Um, That's good. That's good. Click more details, please. No, chat. No. Uh, this is a game. This is a game they used to make fun of in gaming magazines. You know what I mean? This would. This game was a punchline. I think we'd have to cheat. I think we'd have to emulate this game and cheat the same way we did with um. Uh, small soldiers. Neversoft made this the original Tony Hawk Pro Skater developer. And I think this, I feel, I feel like this would be, um, you remember this game having a more elevated camera. 
Are you saying this is a misleading screenshot? <laughs> now, hold on a minute. Is this screenshot misleading? <laughs> Plus, you can get it for like 12 bucks. Chat, I, I don't want to give you the impression that um, the game cost is a huge factor. When it gets when it gets super up there, it, it is kind of a factor. But like, I don't I don't want to I don't want you to be like, oh, this. We gotta just get cheap games for Kyle. The game has normal cheat codes. Oh, okay, that's something too, actually. I'm kind of into it. I'm kind of really into it. I feel like this serves this like a uh, uh, cheesy action game. I like that it's PS1. Obviously, I always like to try to get some PS1 games on the docket. I feel like uh, until it gets bumped, it's going to fill in this role. I like it. <laughs> Apocalypse. I'm going to put it on top of the... Well, shit. Above control? Not above control. And that was... 11 hours? Shit, I honestly forgot. Hold on, stand by. Can't let you see that. Seven hours, 11 minutes. Way shorter. Okay, okay, okay. That's ba I mean, basically, one stream. At the end of the stream, uh, any interest in acknowledging the games that didn't make it, but you thought were good picks? I've not seen this document yet. I see this for the first time the same time you do. Here we go. Oh, I thought 176 was really going to get in there. 57! Shout out to Screaming Argonaut for getting it all together. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you, Screaming Argonaut, for making this document. Okay. All right, all right, all right. From Nimbus, game title, Floppy Knights. K-N-I-G-H-T-S, but still. This is on Steam, Switch, Xbox One. Game length, 16 hours. Why will this make a good stream? Well, it's a very fun deck building tactics RPG. Think Midnight Suns mixed with Advanced Wars. It has cute artwork and very goofy characters. I think it fits our community's sense of humor. That is compelling. It's light on action, so it's an easy game to play while chatting. All right, this screenshot's gonna say a lot. When you hear a title, Floppy Nights, you're not encouraged. Huh. All right, well, here's the screenshot, chat. It's not as bad as I thought. When you hear floppy nights, obviously you assume the worst. How's the campaign of this? How does this game work? What does floppy bring to your mind? I thought they'd be like fucking rabbits. I thought they'd be like fucking half rabbit people, especially when you say cute. When you say cute and floppy, I, but I also thought they would be ugly. I was thinking about like ugly rabbit people. <laughs> you earn currency and buy cards. Yeah, I'm talking about, I'm talking about like, um, does it have like a story that we like get invested in?
I think because I'll tell you right now, I'm thinking about chopping it. There's a light story. Okay, not a not an easy chop, but I'm thinking about chopping that. I think I cannot add it to the docket. Better start closing some tabs. Okay, chat. I'll close some tabs for you. So demanding. And also, we got to get music back, huh? You better start closing some tabs, said my chat. You know what I'm still hurt by? Is that Porsche game? I'm still thinking about it. You were right, chat. I'm never going to stop thinking about that Porsche game. Um, we got to get back to the start of the playlist. That was actually the end of it. You talk about the girl or the car? Porsche who is what I'm asking. All right, chat. Talk about the Rossi? All right, here we go. Ah, uh, you know what? I think I'm done with the drum roll. I'm not doing disco stew. You're wrong about that. I don't want music. I don't want William Tell. I want ticker blip. There you are. Okay, here we go. Change speed. I'll change speed for you too. There we go. That feels right. One. Ooh, ooh, 10, it's still 10, it's still 10. Music a bit loud, copy that. Stand by. Okay. Alrighty. Let me bring this back up and let me check out 110. Let me check out 110. Yeah, you know what? I love people not knowing their number. I think that's important too. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. This, uh, this is a Hail Mary. <laughs> From Patrick Star 07. 07. Game title. Final. Fantasy. Eight. Platform, of course, the PlayStation remasters on all current gen. Game length, 53 and a half hours. Now here's here's what hurts it. Here's what hurts it. Why will this make a good stream? Triple triad, that is all. Now this is one thing I was talking to you about, right? Like if it's a game I'm already familiar with and already have been wanting to play, you can kind of like, you know, play around with the what why it will be a good stream but that's not a ton of effort obviously the screenshot is this now i think i think the submission is a bit too much of a slick willy Come on now. <laughs> That's a bit too much of a slick willy. Now here's the thing. I would I would like to play Final Fantasy VIII. I really would. I would like to stream that game. But this is seven's year. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. This year, this year belongs to Final Fantasy VII. So I'm afraid that's a fairly easy chop. Legit one of your favorite games of all time? Yeah. Oh, you didn't even say one of. You said legit my favorite game of all time. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I would love to play it and I would love for chat to tell me how easy it actually is. Eight is the only game where I ever maxed out my party's levels because I did not understand that the enemies were scaling to my growth. It didn't make sense. I was not picking up on that. <laughs> I 
So I think it would be really fun to just have chat come in here and like help you out. You know what I'm saying? Like Kyle, if you junction right now, you could get this spell that junctions with that junction. And then you could absolutely junction your way to victory. You can kill this boss in two hits. I would be listening. Seventh Vice, thank you for gifting 10 gift subs. Hell yeah, thank you. How long are we spinning tonight? Oh my gosh. Um, I realize it is almost midnight. I'm not done spinning yet. I feel like um we should cap it off at some point. We should do like, we're doing 10 more or we're doing 20 more. We should do that kind of thing. Add seven games. I, oh, that's kind of interesting. It's just saying we have to add games. Not necessarily spins of the wheel, but additions to the list. Jones's top 10 took some time. Okay, chat. <laughs> no, here's the thing though. Here's the thing. I actually didn't check. I should have asked and we should have checked. How many games from the docket did we play in 2023? Because I feel like it was five or six. You know what I mean? And so I'm trying, I'm not, I'm not trying to add a ridiculous amount of games to the list this year. I'm trying to keep it pretty tight. I'm trying. So we already, we already have like eight games on the docket. You know what I mean? We're still not going to get to Spectrobes already. But the long RPGs did that. That is correct. Yeah, a couple and a few of the games that we've added already are like half of a Saturday. No doubt. This year is going to be dry. This year, this year is 2024 is not going to be a dry year. Absolutely not. 13 legacy docket games last year. Whoa. Whoa. All right, we got to get adding. We got to get adding. So we'll take a break at midnight. I guess uh, I can't tell you. I can't tell you when we will stop. But I really love doing this. Diddy Kong Racing is there twice in the docket. It's also on the butcher list. I'll remove it from the butcher list, chat. I'll let you watch. There you go. <laughs> We're pulling it out of the butcher shop dumpster. <laughs> It's back in. It's back in. All right. Back to the wheel. <laughs> hose it down. We got to hose it down. Okay. All right, 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 all right. From early butter. Game title. Spider-Man and the X-Men in Arcade's Revenge. Super Nintendo, two hours. Why this will make a good stream? Play as Spidey, Wolverine, Storm, Gambit, and I guess Cyclops. Each character has their own unique stages. Excellent soundtrack. Tense platforming. Wolvie can actually use his healing factor. You will die a lot, but that makes victory so much sweeter. I don't die. Now, I do feel like this is cheating a bit. I feel like some... 
submitters will feel cheated by this because it's the back of the box. However, I, I guess that it's probably hard to find screenshots of this game. But look at Spidey swinging at the top. Look at him f flip right over Shocker's Blast. I um I like blue and white Cyclops costume. I think that's nice. It's funny he's got it like uh here and here right, but on the box art it's still like uh ninety Cyclops. All right, I feel like this is an easy ad. Um, we got uh probably Spider Man DLC coming out this year. It might be fun to have a another Spidey night. I feel like that's an easy ad. <laughs> Arcade's Revenge. And you said two hours. I don't believe you, but all right. I don't believe it, but I'll take it. Easy ad. You'll save state? It'll still take me six hours. Spidey Knight plus look at Toy Biz X-Men figures. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be looking at toys all night long during that stream. 72. Get out of here. All right. Uh-oh. Okay. This is a discussion. From Bitter Batter Dog. Game title. Shadow the Hedgehog. It's available on Nintendo GameCube, PlayStation 2, and Xbox. Game length, 12 and a half hours. You are free to try any number of endings. I will stick with one. Why will this make a good stream? Do you want to be a little naughty this 2024? No. Shadow the Hedgehog allows you to, or allows you to, or be nice if you want to rebel against chat. You are Shadow and you have a gun. Is he angry or is he depressed? Does he romance Knuckles or Sonic? You find out. What's funny about this screenshot is that it looks like a bull shot from back in the day. <laughs> this screenshot looks so fake. I think this would be good. Yeah, so the, the uh, Sonic 3 is about Shadow the Hedgehog. I can confirm there is no romancing in Shadow the Hedgehog. Okay, so we were slightly misled. I'm kind of into it. Chad, until it gets replaced, until this is supplanted by something else. I think I'm adding Shadow the Hedgehog to the docket. Are we just a Sonic meme stream now? Yeah, yes. No, Zio, I know that image before you've clicked on it. 
The Shadow the Hedgehog pointing the gun and you kneel in front of the gun. I know that image. I know iconic internet imagery. Yeah, okay. I'm okay with adding Shadow. I'm okay with adding it. Now, here's the thing. I'm putting in the maybe bucket. So, basically, if we get some other 3D platformer, I'm happy to cut sh Shadow. I'm happy to cut it. But if we don't get anything that fulfills that need. Forget about it. I'll, I'll put it right in. Kyle, I strongly suggest playing Sonic Heroes first. Is that your docket submission? Because what you're seeing is the docket. We have rules. All right. Spin in that wheel. Twenty nine. <laughs> Solid number. Shout out, I just arrived. Has Banjo Tooie come up? I've streamed Banjo Tooie. I've streamed it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Now, chat, remember, I told you I'm going to read every entry. I told you if you're scared of a game getting cut, resubmit it. From Thor's or Thorez. Game title Threads of Fate. Platform, PS1, PS1 Classics on PS3, game length 23 hours. Why will this make a good stream? You can transform into any non-boss enemy in the game and use their abilities. This includes cool monster designs, but also plenty of weirdos and freaks. Now, I also said this. A submission could potentially knock a game off of the docket. This is why we're looking at the screenshots. Now, the current plan is to start Threads of Fate on Monday, one week from now. Let's take a look. The game remains on the docket. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The game remains on the docket. I am successfully enticed. Put it on again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're playing it. We're playing this. Okay. Chat, we got to take a break. It is midnight. I mean, chat, I could I could spin this so many more times. I fucking love this. The submissions are great. Um. All right, so we'll take a break now. <laughs> I'll figure out how many more spins to do. We can't go all night. That's the nature of the wheel. You can't go all night. You got to cut it off at some point. And I was 10 minutes late. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> We've only done 32 so far. Okay, all right, all right. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. It's not right to do 32 of 177. Remove high playtime games and keep spinning? No, that's not right. That's not right. No, 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 no. Every submission is valid. I don't like that at all. Every submission is valid. You got to consider them all. All right. Uh, we'll take a quick break chat and we'll be back on the other side. See you soon.
We're back, baby. Oh, you're watching me lower the volume. Apologies for that. Back to the wheel. <sighs> What's our vote right now? What are we voting on? Oh, come on now. That's, this is in poor taste. That's the poll? <laughs> Kamui, thanks for being a 42 month or happy new year back at you. Now, here's the thing. 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 Cats are great. But, like, uh, dogs are great. <laughs> it's midnight. I'm not at my best. Got it. Understood. 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 If we go overtime, this is the kind of poll you're going to get, chat. <laughs> All right. Under I get it. You know what? I get it. Close poll. No doubt. I literally spent a fourth of my marbles for cats. <laughs> and if you didn't, here's the crazy thing. If you did not do that, dogs would have won. That's how wild this is. All right, let's spin that wheel. If you're just joining us, we're spinning the wheel to determine what gets added to the docket for 2023. Sorry, 2024. There are simply too many video games in this world, in this life, for me to stream them all. And believe me, I would. So, to make the selection more manageable, I randomly select uh, propositions from chat. It's the only way we can. It's the only right way to do this. So I think, chat, if we have only done 32 spins, I think we should do 15 more. Locking it in. We're doing 15 more spins. And at that point, we're locking the docket until we crack it open again in the summertime after e3 only 15 yeah that's how rough this is <laughs> and then even after e3 that's adding new games to the docket and not old games so yeah basically that will be locking it in for the year chat you know what e3 is you know what it is with all due respect to mr keely we all know what e3 is One forty two. You're being rude, chat. You all know what E three is. This game. Okay, 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 okay. From third rate minion, game title, Smooshy Come Home. This is available on Nintendo Switch and PC, game length four hours. Smooshy Come Home is comfy, stars a cute mushroom, and it has silly dialogue. Like in Lil Gator Game. By the way, Lil, Ga Lil Gator Game is not silly. Those, there are some platforming challenges and Wind Waker's Deku Leaf mechanics. Also, capybaras. It can be easily played in one to two streams, too. You said it's four hours. What do you mean by one or two streams? All right, let's look at the screenshot. Now, this is the game that was on the docket last year. It got cut for time. We had too much else going on. Looks better than The Witcher. Thanks for being a 24 month there. Congrats on two years. Before stream ends, just wanted to say Happy New Year, Chad and Kyle. Hell yeah, back at you. All right, let's look at the screenshot chat. Let me enhance for the mobile users. 
Yeah, I mean, this is basically, we, we watched the trailer after E3. And I was really into this. Cats, please, thank you for subscribing at Tier 2 for six months in advance and for being a 43-monther. I'm pretty into this shit. At the same time, a bit of smooshy wears off as the months go by. A bit of the allure, to be honest with you. Is this game just okay? Wouldn't it be on a lot of top tens if this game is great? Little Gator game was on many top 10s. It was on my top 10. All right. All right, all right. I do think it fulfills a need. I'm putting it in the maybe bucket. And it's going to be like at basically the bottom of the maybe bucket. Same appeal as Tinykin. Not the same. Not the same. Close, but not the same. Uh, Tinykin, I was Gaga for, you know what I mean? I was like, we are definitely playing Tinykin. This one, this one's like, yeah, I'd love to play that. All right. I'm putting, I'm, put, I'm putting in the maybe. Maybe bucket. Smooshy. Smooshy go home. Smooshy comes home. Four hours. Maybe babies. If you watched a video, it would get added. I've already watched a video. It was it was on the docket. <laughs> I already I watched that video. I know what that game looks like. All right. We're not talking about Death to Smoochie. Starring Robin Williams and Edward Norton. Different thing. Chat's stoked to see such a low number. Chat's stoked. We're pulling number three. Chat's excited. Here we go. Who was the second submission? Who got in there in the second? Remember, there is no number one. So this is actually the second person to submit. From Charlie Con Game title SNK versus Capcom Card Fighters Clash. This is available on Switch. Game length 15 hours. Main game. Main plus extra was not listed. Why this will make a good stream? Classic CCG that not enough have played. Come for the Capcom favorites, stay for the SNK weirdos. Outstanding pixel art on each card. Different character card synergies are based on game lore or themes. Look at the screenshot. It's a tough ad chat. This is a tough ad chat. Now this is, I think this is what they're talking about. Like the in-game lore, uh, leading to like synergy between cards. Backup is Andy. Of course they're brothers. The Bogards. 
Terry Rush. Keeps character out of freeze phase even if this character attacks. B rarity. Yeah, the art is solid. The character art is very solid. Terry Rush looks like he pilots a Gundam. To be clear, <laughs> to be clear, uh, this character's name is Terry Bogard. Terry Rush is the name of his ability. <laughs> but I could understand the confusion. Um, <laughs> Charlie Khan, thanks for being an 11 monther. It's a pretty breezy game. Oh, you cannot make extra cases for, even in even in a resub message. <laughs> I think no. 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 You know what's hurting it? Uh, was Pokemon trading card game. And so... I feel like for me to be super compelled to play a handheld trading card game, you know what I mean? It would, we'd have to like... The actual card mechanics would have to be faster. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you want to maybe at least. Ah! I think it, I think not. I think not. I, th I think this is an okay easy no. Pokemon always ruining things. Detective Pikachu and Pokemon TCG. Yeah. There's no gamble in this. No, I don't think so. Though I do wonder how you get new cards. Great pixel biceps. Nobody's doubting that. Can legacy dockets be single streams? Absolutely. There's been a lot of single games actually on the, uh, there's been like, we got some two hour games on the legacy docket right now. All right. I'm making the choice. I'm chopping it. Back to the wheel. Is that one spin or two spins? I think that's been two spins. No, I think that's only been one spin. Oh my God. Chat, we got to pick it up. I got to be more decisive. That's the problem is I just got to be more decisive. Thirty nine. There's music playing. <laughs> Chat, I, I bet a, I've had a tough time with music uh, balance tonight. I keep I keep getting like too loud, too quiet, too loud, too quiet. Okay, 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 okay. This is a good example. Hey, I'm going to read it out. I'm going to look at the screenshot. But this is a great example of, hey, this all this game already has a slot. What do we do with it? From Play the Dough, game title, Sonic Adventure 1, platform Xbox, game length 9 hours. Why this will make a good stream? I just think Kyle would have a fun time. Everything good about Sonic Adventure 2 is here, but in this game, there's multiple fully explorable hub worlds. The whole game has such a charming, weird energy. It's a one or two stream game 2. Here's the screenshot. I gotta say, that is a nice fucking screenshot. No mention of romance options. Now, chat. Obviously, I'm not putting Sonic Adventure and Shadow the Hedgehog on the same docket. I gotta make a call. And it's Shadow. It's Shadow. Shadow wins. I choose shadow. <laughs> I 
The novelty of Shadow wears off very fast. Sonic Adventure is funnier. I choose Shadow. I'm trying to be more decisive, chat. I choose... Look, chat, this is my kind of game. If this game was called, like, Bucky's Buck Truck, right? And if this was a different character, it would Bucky would get in there. Unfortunately, this character is Sonic the Hedgehog, and I can't have Sonic Adventure and Shadow the Hedgehog on the same list. <laughs> I clearly said Buck Truck and not Butt Truck. <laughs> Stupid chat. Okay, I'm ch I'm chopping it. I'm chopping it. But keep this in mind, man. This looks awesome. It looks like Sonic Unleashed. Frankly, it looks like Sonic Unleashed. All right, that's two spins. 13 to go. The 160s. 162 gets picked. All right, here we go. What is 162? 162 is a late submission is what that means. Somebody took their time or heard about the docket late. <laughs> 162 we're going to. This is tough, chat. This is tough. This is tough. This is tough. We'll talk about it. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Let's have a discussion. Open the debate. From Bacon Cruiser. Game title. Sui Code N2. Platform PS1. Game length 34 hours. Why this will make a good stream? One word. Variety. You're making a great case. Build your party based on a huge roster of characters, freaks and all. Large scale RTS battles. Great mini games. Gorgeous pixel and character artwork designs. Top tier soundtrack. Not very difficult, quite breezy to play through. This is a debate. This is tough, man. Fucking chat. God damn it. <laughs> it's a screenshot. <laughs> um, when are the remakes happening? Yeah, they did announce they did announce the remakes not too long ago. When are those coming? It has to be soon, right? Sometime this year. Delayed to unknown date, but I bet I bet it's absolutely 2024. That makes it a that makes it a much easier ad, doesn't it? Philium, thanks for being a 29 monther. Point. We have reached the conclusion that despite the very, our very, excuse me, I can't really read it. Uh, despite the very best efforts of our dedicated development staff to release the remasters in 2023, additional time is needed to ensure the quality performance and gameplay experience our users deserve. The entire Suikoden team is renewing our efforts to bring Suikoden 1 and 2 8 remaster to release as soon as possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stable, thanks for being a seven month or also oink, okay. Um, yeah, I feel like, uh, let's play the remaster when that comes out, at least for one Friday. I like that. That's good for me. All right. Easy ad, easy ad. So, uh, let's, um... I mean, chat, we don't have to we don't have to explicitly add that to the docket because we don't have the date for it, and I'm trying not to add anything without a date. But uh 
Yeah, I feel like when we get a date on that, we're not going to play one. We'll just skip to two and that'll be that. Play it for at least one Friday. We'll see if we like it. And then if we got to do a playthrough, we got to do a playthrough. That'll be it. Cool. Nice suggestion. Two is the way. Copy that. Back to the wheel. 12 more. One fifty three. All right. From Mayor McFromples. I'll tell you straight out. No, I won't tell you anything. Okay. Game title. Pineapple on pizza. Platform PC, game length 30 minutes? Why will this make a good stream game? This is a quick game of exploring a little island filled with happy dancing villagers. What's fun about this game is that after you beat it, it's fun to play again to seek out all the little details. Don't look up anything about this game. It's free. I'm going to look at the screenshot. Ooh. All right, I do also, I chat, I honestly, I feel like this is cheating. I said screenshot, not gif. <laughs> but I feel like that's such an easy ad. You know what I mean? What are you asking of me? You're asking me for 30 minutes? And actually, I did not win it. When I heard, I think somebody asked about pineapple pizza in chat. They're like, Kyle, you play that? And somebody else is like, it's only a half hour. Like, I, th I feel like there was a discussion in chat about this game. When I hear that title and it's like a goofy half hour game that you shouldn't look up, this is not what I imagine. Uh, this first person perspective is nice. I'll take it. I'll take it. You got it. We can put it near the top. That's an easy ad, dude. You can add that to any Saturday. <laughs> easy ad. Not tough. 11 more spins. All right, chat. Don't say bada bing when your game gets added to the docket. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> All right, 54. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. From Subterranean Losers, the game's title is Sonic Adventure. Platform Dreamcast. It's never had a better port to anything else. Game length, 13 and a half hours. Why will this make a good stream? Similar to Sonic Adventure 2, but no mech levels. Great music. Perfect Dreamcast era vibes. Chow Garden lore. Let's look at the screenshot. I'll tell you. My faith in shadow is wavering. When you look at that screenshot. It's a nice fucking screenshot. I won't promise you I play the Dreamcast version. Um, cause this is a whole separate thing where like, I, I still gotta do a, like a Dreamcast repair stream. I wouldn't promise that I would do it, but it would be so fun to play Sonic Adventure on my HD Dreamcast. That would be so sick. 
I know that they added some stuff in Sonic Adventure DX, but a, a lot of people don't even recommend it. Sonic Adventure 1 in the summer, Shadow in the winter. Honestly, that's too much Sonic. <laughs> Meta Monk, thanks for being a 41 monther. It's never too late to dream. Honestly, that, that's a bit too much Sonic. I have limits, chat. You just need to replace the power supply, which is easy, but DX is not that bad. All right, chat, DX or vanilla? I guess we'll have to decide when we get there. I'm seeing a lot of vanilla. I'm seeing a lot of vanilla. Okay. All right. Shadow, you're about to get bumped, bro. Sonic Adventure. Wow. And I think you said this was less than 12 hours, but uh, what was it? It was like 10? It's tough. It's tough. The wheel's tough. It was 13.5. Copy that. It absolutely was good memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it was, Casey. Um. All right. Back to the wheel. Oh, let me check for you. Somebody asked uh, what the current song is. Lost and Found by I'm In. A favorite. I'm In is good shit. Lost and Found by I'm In. I apostrophe M I N. Ten more spins, chat. Ooh, the teases, chat. This is this is why it's so good. You don't know what your number is. Oh my god, can you imagine being 46? 46 got cheated. Yeah, that's the thing. Honestly, if Shadow comes up again, I could easily drop Sonic Adventure just that, just as easily. All right. 45. This is an interesting one from Jack's Beam Katana. Game title Sky Odyssey. It's a PlayStation 2 title. Game length four hours. Why would this make a good stream? Missions swing between relaxing and intense challenge. Unique control scheme. Good design talking point. Good escalation of challenge. Game world itself has minimal narrative, but opportunities to riff on lore. Chat can discuss plain parts and strategy. Now, that's actually a great description. That's actually really good. Unfortunately, this is one of my childhood games I don't talk about too much. I've played this game. I had this on my PS2. Actually, kind of a bad memory. Because my friend came over and I was like, check out this game. And then he fucking beat it right in front of me. <laughs> Never handed the controller back. <laughs> can you fucking imagine? Can you fucking imagine the nerve? <laughs> now it's your turn to play. And then there was a stream uh, back at Game Trailers. Brandon Jones loves this game. This is actually on Jones's top 10. Um, I did watch Brandon Jones stream this at Game Trailers. I wonder if that's archived. Uh, I probably told this story during that stream too. So I actually think this is a very interesting game. I feel like I'm ready to play it. Not yet. I feel like this would be a really interesting game to come back to in a minute. Um, not this year, though. This game is very weird. It's very unique. It looks like a strategy flight game. And it actually is. 
Like when you're talking about like the plane parts matter, they absolutely do. I love that you mentioned that it's interesting to talk about from a design standpoint. Nobody else is really bringing that shit up. Um, and this game does in fact get weird. Uh, but uh, I'm going to chop it. This is not the year. This is not the year for Sky Odyssey. It would be really, honestly, there would be a little element of like uh, Baby Kyle's Revenge to coming back and beating the game that uh, I had to watch my friend beat before my eyes. I was so bitter about it. Like, are you, you're doing the last level, bro? Like, I'm right here. I just bought, this is the thing. Games were so fucking expensive. <laughs> like, I, I fucking owned this. You know what I mean? I wasn't renting it for the weekend. Like, you just, you just, like, this, you just beat this game. <laughs> So brutal. All right. Back to the wheel. Nine more spins. Your friend did that with Rayman too. That's funny. What a strange thing to have a memory of, right? Sixty-three. So close to sixty-four. Almost. Almost. Remember what I said. I said, if you're scared a game would get cut from the docket, go ahead and resubmit it. From the Golden Triforce. Game title. Xenogears. Platform PlayStation. Game length. 65 and a half hours. Why this will make a good stream? It has mechs. The story has a ton of weird surprises that I think would be great for the stream all throughout the game. It has multiple tournaments. And it doesn't have Pyra and Mithra, so it will be far less embarrassing than Torna was. I don't know. I got to bring that up. I don't think they were the embarrassing parts about Torna, to be frank with you. This is a nice fucking screenshot. Look at this shit. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. There is no way we're not playing Xenogears. This looks cool as hell. This looks so cool. That's false advertising. Why? Is this not the, what the, the the combat looks like? What if we called it Bucky's Buck Truck? Okay, chat. It's not the main combat. Right, 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 right. I think I've seen combat screens from the from main combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way, chat. We can't get to it. We can't get to it. What you said? You said 85 and a half hours? My God. That would make it one of the longest streams we've ever had on the channel. You know what I mean? It was 65, excuse me. Which would mean 85 for us. Barnyard would still be longer. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. Trade it for Spectrobes. Nah, Spectrobes is a survivor. Chad, I cut it for a reason. I cut it for a reason. I think we I think I think we can't even have the false hope of Xeno Gears on the docket. I would love to play this. I think this would be so fun. but I think it's not happening. We got to chop it. We got to be responsible. Chat, go play Xeno Gears though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I want to, man. I would like to play that game. Not an easy chop. 
All right. Eight more spins. for Brady <laughs> back to back <laughs> all right I haven't heard of this from moons bro the game title is small saga platform is steam game length eight and a half only took me seven for a hundred percent why this one like a good stream it's a short concise well-paced RPG no random battles no grinding small character in a normal sized world PC controller support that won't make you rip your hair out. <laughs> Has a unique, fully playable Game Boy game hidden inside of it. Ooh. Okay. Let's look at this. This screenshot is going to say a lot, right? I don't even... I can't even imagine what this game looks like. I feel cheated. You did not say at any point that I'd have to be a mouse wearing clothes. <laughs> now I've seen screenshots of this. The screenshots I've seen of this is um, a mouse holding a knife fighting a giant cat. A regular sized cat. Same game, right? It's incredible pixel art. I don't doubt that. Shit, and you made such a good case for it. But like... I hate this shit. <laughs> I'm conflicted. I hate this shit. I hate like a mouse wearing a cape. Yeah, I, I hate a squirrel driving a car. Oh man, you didn't say mouse. You did not say mouse in that description. And I feel like you left that on on purpose. I'm looking at the Wolverine claws. I see them too. Are Wolverine claws that strange on a rodent? I can't add it. Small Saga was the name of the game. That's right. That's right. God, and like, here's the thing. I fucking love this shit. Do you see like the texture on this probably repeating thing? Like, this is probably like, this, like a moving fight, right? Zero Vandal. Thanks for being a 42 monther. I love that shit, but I can't do it. I can't add it. I can't play the mouse game. <laughs> I can't do it, chat. I can't do it. Kyle is so unpredictable. It's true. It's true. You were doubting Alan Wake at one point too. Yeah, that's, hey, extremely true. The reason we ended up streaming Alan Wake 2 was it was the Goaty homework stream. I was like, gosh, if this is nominated for game of the year, I got to play it. That's what happened with Alan Wake 2. Why can't we play the mouse game? <laughs> so he says, hey, I just got here. Why can't we play the mouse game? I don't like chat. I don't I don't like like I don't like uh, like like half human half mice things i don't like that shit <laughs> because like because like the weird thing is that like moss i can kind of deal with
because it's still mouse-like. You know what I mean? It still has like it still has like tiny mouse limbs. <laughs> This is very tiny. This is extremely specific. <laughs> Do you hate American Tale? Secret of Nim? Okay, 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 okay. This is going to sound insane. American Tale, good. Secret of Nim, bad. <laughs> There's a giant difference between those two for me. Didn't like Fantastic, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Um, no, not terribly, no. Mina? In for Mina, in for Mina. Mina the Hollow are good. <laughs> I don't know what the difference is. I can't tell you what the difference is. I don't know. I don't know. There's like it's a it's a it's a thin blurry line chat. Great mouse detective? Yeah, that guy's pretty tall. However, like um the two mice that go to Australia properly proportioned. Rescue Rangers? The rescuers or rescuers are what they're called. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can flushed away be on the list? No, afraid that can't be. That can't be. <laughs> you already know I don't like Stuart Little. I don't like him. <laughs> this is not up for debate, chat. <laughs> One important Pokemon number. That number is important to Pokemon fans. I'll explain it to you later. All right, removing it. Here we go. Who is 151? Isn't it sad? I would probably love that RPG if the mouse just had smaller limbs. <laughs> All right, I like this one. I like this. I like this. From Run Forward. Chat, keep your mind open, like me. The game title, Mass Effect Andromeda. Platform PlayStation 4, game length, 63 hours. Keep your mind open. Why will this make a good stream? Main story is actually only 18 and a half hours. Stupid Bioware dialogues. You said that you wanted to stream this game because you can date the cow from Undertale. <laughs> that, does, that does sound like something I've said. <laughs> <laughs> I can't prove you wrong. <laughs> All right, let's see the chat. Let's see the screenshot. This screenshot has a lot of heavy lifting to do. <laughs> the cow from... Okay, this is the cow from Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, chat, that, I mean, honestly, it's only funny because it kind of does look like the cow from Undertale. Oh my god. Um, truth, chat, truth be told, I do have residual interest in Mass Effect Andromeda. Like, I, for some reason, that's still a part of me. There's still some kernels of it at the bottom of my popcorn bag. Uh, 63 hours makes it untenable. We can't do it. We can't, we not, we cannot possibly do that to this Twitch channel. You know what I mean?
It's aggressively mid. I think that's the case. I think that's the case. It, it feels so bad. It feels so bad to say that. They could have done so much right with this game and they dropped it so hard. The Bioware isn't good anymore. And Bioware isn't good anymore, so I'm worried about the next ME game. Yeah, I got it. Like, okay, so here's the thing. Here's what I love about streaming, right? Is like when the next Mass Effect game comes out, we'll play it. You know what I mean? We'll play that week one. So uh, I feel like it's just so hard to come back to games like this. Even if we could have a cow romance. <laughs> A space cow romance. I feel like uh, we got to say no. Will we? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she has a name. <laughs> All right, where are we at? I think, uh, shit, six more. Six more spins. Can someone find when Kyle said he wanted to date the Undertale cow? <laughs> Chad, if that, I mean, if I ever said that, don't find it. Don't find me saying that. Let it be lost media. <laughs> Ooh, look at 56 sneaking in here. That's filthy. 56 was one of these shuffled numbers and it actually got picked. Very, very sneaky. 56 is revenge. Okay. All right. Very sneaky. Ooh. Okay. All right. From Hexagon Heat. Game title. Dragon, Warrior, Monsters, 2, Kobe's Journey, Platform, Game Boy Color, Game Length, 27 and a half hours. Why this will make a good stream. Assemble a team of monsters to lead you through multiple worlds and dungeons, take on other monster tamers in the arena, and slowly explore more of your hub world. GBC vibes are unmatched IMO. I do like GBC vibes. This is tough, chat. We got to discuss this. This is an open discussion. Because I'm 50-50 on the screenshot. I do love GBC vibes. Love them to death. I think this looks slightly rough. Need to see a battle screen. Uh, I get it. I get why you would do overworld instead of you get one screenshot, right? I feel I understand why you would pick this one. Actually, good colors for GBC, no doubt. I th I think I'm asking a lot of the audience. So to me, this it's kind of like in the same spot as the uh, the card game. The Neo Geo Pocket car card game. Where it's like, you're asking your audience a lot to come here every week to look at that. You know what I mean? You ever play Azure Dreams? Actually, never heard of that. No. How many RPGs are on the docket so far? Honestly, not too many. I've been very stingy about RPGs. Uh... I think I'm not adding this. I think I'm not adding this. I need, I need, I think I need a hook. You know what I mean? I need more of a hook. And that's the thing is you made such a good case for this. Going to the arena, winning battles and stuff. Shit. Watch the trailer. Wouldn't it be right. No, no, no. That's not what we do here. What's the harm in maybe? Okay, what's the harm in maybe? I like that.
What was it? Kobe's Journey? And that was 65 and a half hours? That's the harm, bro. That's the harm. No, it was 37. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. No, 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 no. It was 37. It was 37. So it was 37 something? 27 something. Okay. God, I remember that way wrong. Sorry about that. All right, what RPGs do we have so far? Baldur's Gate 3 is going to be Mondays. Um, Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury is going to be Mondays. Holy shit. Yeah, remember, we're going to move maybe buckets up. Like, Control's got a real shot. So does Apocalypse. And no, okay, 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 okay. Fair enough. So, yeah, I mean, we are lacking in RPGs in, in such a way that Dragon Quest Monsters 2 Kobe's Journey could get added. Here's what I'm trying to avoid, though. The doldrums of Digimon World 3. And I can see Dragon Quest Monsters 2 taking that kind of long dive, you know? <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, 200 hours. That's just, for, that's just for fun. That's just a good joke. I'll make it 100 for you, chat. Digi three felt like sixty hours. Yeah, Digimon three was long, and so I, I you know what I mean. I, I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to do that again. That's why I'm so apprehensive. That's why I'm where I'm at with that. But we'll see. We'll see about Kobe. We'll see about Kobe. Two hundred hours is funnier than one hundred hours. You know what? I agree with you. <laughs> you know what? I don't disagree. Adjust the spin timer. Okay, as we're getting down to the final five. I don't hate the idea. Okay, I think that was excessive considering we only have so many minutes left in the stream. <laughs> I made it too long. No, no, no. I admit to that. I admit to that. I made it too long. That's my responsibility. I fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, early butter. I'm not opposed. You know what I mean? We still have this document. Uh, I can actually save this wheel. I'm not opposed to like, hey, at halftime, halfway through the summer, maybe spinning the wheel a few more times. Jones top 10 really messed us up. It messed me up, man. Oh my gosh. Is it going to be 175? No, it's still spinning, bro. It's going way past 175. Nineteen. That's a, that's a sneaky, sneaky swap too. Damn. Okay. Nineteen. Okay. All right. I don't know if I've heard of this game before. From Rockman Bionics. Evil Zone. Platform PlayStation 1 game length six and a half hours. I'm so sorry, chat. I'm so sorry. This is on me. I'm reading the wrong entry. I'm going to read them both. I'm going to read them both. I'm accidentally reading number 20. I'm getting the post midnight oopsies too. So I'm going to read, I'm going to, here's the thing. I'm still going to spin the wheel. <laughs> and all the times I promise I'm going to read 20 and then 19. <laughs> read them all. Okay. 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 So anyway, uh, evil zone, PlayStation one, six and a half hours. Two button fighting game where each character has their story mode presented as an anime show with them as the protagonist. All story is voiced, so its silliness can be enjoyed comfortably by streamer and their audience. MGS Colonel VA does a character. Oh my god, what is Evil Zone? Oh shit. I've never seen this. Look at this shit. 
I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. That's a pretty easy ad for me. Too bad you can't add this one. This is technically disobeying the wheel. I think the wheel will forgive us. What'd you say? You said six and a half hours? How long to beat? I want to play this soon, dude. Uh, we shouldn't do two PS1 games back to back. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Not honoring the code. Yeah, but the thing is, like, it would be too, too rude to start reading somebody's game and then being like, oopsies. So the person who submitted Evil Zone absolutely gets shafted. That wouldn't be right. This counts as one wheel spin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the actual 19 comes from Dancing Flower. The game title is Siphon Filter The Omega Strain. This is on the PlayStation 2, game length 15 hours. Why would this one make a good stream game? Now, here's the thing here's the thing, chat. A lot of people have something going up against them when they submit a game. I did in fact say earlier on in the stream, I'm done with Siphon Filter. I'm not going to play anymore. <laughs> so that is what is up against this game as we read the summary and click on the screenshot. This is the only Siphon Filter game that has not been played on stream. And the adventures of Gabe Logan are always a good time. Now I was under the understanding that Gabe Logan has nothing to do with Omega Strain. Here's our screenshot. Under the impression is what you say. Got it. I was under the impression that there's no Gabe in this game. I thought we're done with Gabe Logan's lore. No Gabe, no buy. This is here's the thing. This is an excellent screenshot. <laughs> Objective complete. Data successfully uploaded 100%. It's such a funny screenshot, bro. <laughs> Gabe is in it. You don't play as him. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, the fight's finished. Uh-uh. Omega Strain is multiplayer focused. Some objectives are locked behind co-op. So unless you exploit glitches, you can't 100% it. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I think it was a wise submission, no doubt. We cannot add that to the docket. Chat, four spins left. Four spins left. Let's do, let's, you know, let's do 33. Oh my God, are we gonna get 175? Are we getting two? Are we getting four? <laughs> Stop saying numbers, okay. <laughs> this is fun. All right, so number two is actually the first submission. This is actually the very first submission. That's pretty cool. Let's check it out. From EGP Noodles. The game's title is Galarians. This is a PS1 game, six and a half hours long. 
It's a survival horror game featuring psychic abilities. Released in 2000, it's a game about psychic children, copious amounts of taking drugs, bizarre cutscenes and voice acting, and wild game design. Late, late PlayStation 1 game. Here's the screenshot. <laughs> uh, I get Parasite Eve vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Parasite Eve. Galarians is the name of this game. That's tough, bro. That's tough. It's crazy this game isn't long. We see HP, we see level one. Obviously this game would be longer than um, six and a half hours. It does look interesting. Look at the fucking huge mini map. That's wild. That gives me like Resident Evil vibes. We're back to Parasite Eve, you know? It's on three discs. That's crazy. Can you buy this game? This game is wild. That is appealing. We like wild shit. You know what uh, we do not have is Halloween shit. We're, we're lacking in Halloween shit. I think this would be a fun October game. You know what I mean? Kind of like how we played Costume Quest on an October Saturday. Like, this is a really good October Saturday game. All right, yeah, we're, we are lacking, we're lacking on the holodocket. Big time. I'm into it. $80 for US version? Yeah, that's good. That's good. That works for me. We can make it work. Galarians for Halloween. All right. That's a f that's a fun weird pick, chat. That's a that's a PS1 game I have no familiarity with. All right. 3 spins left. Did I remove 20 from the wheel? No, why should I have? 20 still there? Why, why, why would I remove it? You're making me nervous. You read 20? Oh, that's true. 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 Good thinking. Okay. Rockman Bionics, thanks for being a 36 monther. Congrats on three years. I used both submissions last year for Evil Zone. Lucking into it getting red and picked this year is too funny. Won't submit another game again. And wishing the rest of chat my luck. Well, hold on. No, don't say you'll never submit a game again. <laughs> Dang, Rockman Bionics, you wanted Evil Zone that bad? You're like, this is the only game I ever want to see streamed? Dang. They got what they wanted. Zio, thanks for being a 43 monther. Hold on, hold. Hold that thought. This is too tense. It's going pink. It's going pink. It went pink. I just want the rest of the chat to have a bigger chance. Oh, I get what you're saying. 
you got one in. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Or maybe, but like also like, you know, we're just having fun out here. All right, 92. Remove it. New Year's reminder that trans rights are human rights. Fuck transphobia. Also justice for mischief makers. Now, I can't agree with all of that message. <laughs> Thanks for being a 43 monther. Mischief Makers is never in bold, chat. Please specify. I'm not playing Mischief Makers. <laughs> I don't like how that game looks. It's like, chat, it's like mice with long limbs. You don't understand. All right, what? <laughs> shit. What? What number was it? Was it 91 or 92? Cancelled either way. <laughs> it's 92. Okay. All right. Oh, shit. This is a discussion. This is a discussion. From Dark Lord Ty. The game title is Custom Robo. This is one of, this is one of those games where it's like, I've always wanted to play that game. GameCube, 15 hours. Why this would be a good stream. Great customizing. Story reminds you of the cool Saturday morning cartoons from the 90s. Worth it. Post story unlockable parts. Look at that screenshot. I mean, that's, that's fucking awesome. Shit. It is pricey. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do know this is a pricey game. But look how cool that shit looks. Uh, let's take a look at where the docket is right now, actually. Let's take a look. Is there room for a 15-hour custom robo game? Here's the thing, is I actually think that's, a, that's like a pretty appealing, like, uh... Did you hear, did you hear? Kyle's playing custom robo. <laughs> you know what I mean? A lot of people haven't played that game, but the game has a reputation. It looks cool as hell. Not that expensive. Good to hear. You can get it for around 50 bucks. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I think that's really good. It has been on the docket before, right? I totally feel like we've had Custom Robo on the docket before. Is it Chibi Robo that's expensive? Yeah, stupid Chibi Robo. It's not worth a tenth of the price right now. Gotcha Force is very expensive. I think Gotcha Force has been on the docket before too. All right, let's put it on here. Let's put it on here. <laughs> What'd you say, give it its due? Give Custom Robo its due. Gotcha Force is one of the most valuable games in your collection. Cool. Gotcha Force is like $500. Damn. Wow. Uh, Custom Robo, First, fam my first familiarity with it was, um, I think uh, the N64 version has a statue in Smash Bros. Melee. And it's so cool, like, seeing shit like that. I was like, oh, this game looks cool. What is this? It's, like, only available in Japan. Got it. Okay. Two more spins. <laughs> you love Gotcha Force? It's magical? I mean, eventually, I think someday we'll get to a chat. Someday we'll be there. Did you submit it? Let 
Wow, the earlies are getting in here at the end of the stream. The earlies are getting in finally. You felt bad. I was honestly, I was feeling bad for the earlies, but it's nice to see they got in here too. That's nice. That's nice. Lucky number seven. From Hunter Jawa. The game is titled. Chad, I have no poker face, huh? <laughs> the game is titled. Custom Robo. For the Nintendo GameCube. Game length, 15 hours. Why this will make a good stream? All the fun of AC6 without nerdy stuff like weight or energy limit. Very charming visuals. The robo designs rule. The different parts are extremely fun to experiment with and unlock. Fun world where everyone is extremely bought in on dumb robo game, on a dumb robo game. Holy shit, really good screenshot too. I'm more in than I was before. This is good shit. <laughs> I'm even more in. Adel does, thanks for being a six, uh, excuse me, 17 mother. Merry New Year, Kyle and stupid chat. Has Mucho shared with you his New Year's resolutions? No. He told me he explicitly only just wants to get bigger. I said, what do you want to do this year? And he just says, I want to get bigger. Um... Yeah, chat, we'll do two more. We'll do two more. Normally that would count as a spin, but if we're in this top five, you gotta, like, we'll do two more. We'll do two more. Okay, here we go. Dos mas. How are you gonna put justice for mischief makers at the end of a sincere message like that? <laughs> How are you gonna say something serious and important and then say justice for mischief makers? Oh my gosh. The earlies, bro. Fat back ribs. Thanks for being a 26 monther. Honk back at you. Honk back at you. Yeah, I don't feel bad for the earlies anymore. I officially don't feel bad. Earlies are cleaning up now. Okay, number 10. Oops, wrong thing. Here we go. From AFB. Game title. Airblade. This is a PS2 game. Game length, 38 minutes. Only has a main story entry. No extras are logged. Oh. Okay. Remember what I said. Remember what I said. We need a Tony Hawk competitor. We need a we need something in the Tony Hawk slot. Why will this make a good stream game? It's an ambitious title that aimed to compete with the Tony Hawk franchise. The main attraction will be the story mode that has a fast pace and some early PS2 charm with its cutscenes and general vibe. No wheels brush against the road, flowing even higher. No wheels brush against the road, flowing even higher. I gotta see this screenshot. That's an easy ad. <laughs> Read the poem. <laughs> no wheels brush against the road, flowing even higher. 
Yeah, I think this is good. Obviously, this game is not 38 minutes long. That, 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 that's like how long to beat not having enough data. Yeah, I'm comfy with adding Airblade. <laughs> I'm good with adding that. Completionist is two hours. I can't imagine that. There's no way. Speedrunners ruining the curve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no possible way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy ad. I like it. He said it's got cutscenes. The only possible issue I can imagine this game having is uh, um, music you can't turn off. That would be an issue for us, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if that ever hop, pops up. Epic open world. Thanks for being a three monther. So many games I've never heard of and excited to see. Same. I love when a game I have never heard of pops up. Game FAQ says 21 hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get realistic here. Chat. Last spin. Reminds me of that Razor Scooter game. Have you played that, Kyle? Uh, yeah. On Halloween streams, we play clips of those children dying. <laughs> I streamed it, right? And for some reason, when a kid falls off a ledge, their scream is horrifying in this otherwise cute Razor Scooter scooter game. And so we use those clips on Halloween so we don't forget. Last spin in the night, chat. This is serious. Good luck to everyone. Thank you to everyone who submitted. The randomness is what makes this so valuable to me. What could it be, man? What could it be now? Yeah, I could imagine this being a bit rate killer. Oh my god. Chad, it could be any game. You predict a Konami game? Okay. What could it be now? The Breath of Fire game I want to play really bad, actually, is the GameCube one. Someday I'm going to force that onto the docket. Because I had such a good time playing Command Mission. Apparently it's the same, uh, same engine. <laughs> PS2, excuse me. Yeah, PS2. Dragon Quarter. Yeah. Final spin should be an ad no matter what. Never. No, no, no. We got to be realistic. Is the wheel broken? No, we did a two minute spin. Two minute spin is serious. Probably not even 37. It's probably going to keep moving. Oh, it is 37. Wow. Okay. Neo451. Thank you for gifting 10 gift subs. For number 37. From Flint Paper 577. The game's title is Airfix Dogfighter. This is a PC game. 16 and a half hours. 
actually good toys to life game based on old school British model airplanes. Shoot up your mum's ornaments to upgrade your weapons to absurd power levels. Now that's a good sell. I do like the appeal of shooting up my mum's ornaments. It looks better than I thought it would. I gotta be honest with you, chat. Even even like, you know, like early description, when I see dog fighting, I don't like dog fighting games. Nah, this is not Toy Commander. <laughs> we played that. Yeah, the new map is rooms in the house. Um, I don't like dog fighting games because I don't like um I don't I don't like like fighting like it's just so annoying to like try to like maneuver around and try to get behind somebody. As they're trying to maneuver and get behind you. But I do like small things in a regular sized world if I don't have to be a mouse with long limbs. Let's see where, I mean, I think no. I think no. I think this is a really good submission. I think this is a really good submission, but I don't like dog fighting games. <laughs> For some reason, Chad is really hung up on where that bed is. Why? Oh, I think I think your problem is because there's a door frame here, yeah? Can we see a screenshot of the mom's ornaments? No. No, only one screenshot allowed. Jake Monkey. <laughs> Thank you for gifting 10 gift subs. I think having a bed in the middle of a room is actually a classy move. The desk is in front of a door too. Oh yeah, I do see that now. So obviously, chat, obviously the humans have arranged their house in a fun manner, knowing that they're gonna have cool little airplane battles. You know what I mean? What I'm saying is that the humans are not unaware of what's happening in their household. Let's look at our docket here. Well, let's look at the maybe bucket and let's look at our legacy docket. See, legacy docket is pretty much stuffed right now. However, we do have many shorties. We got a lot of shorties. So I think control gets in. I think control is an almost necessary stream. Um, I'd rather play it sooner than later because I feel like it'll get cooled off a bit, especially if there's like Alan Wake 2 DLC or something. I definitely want to play Custom Robo more though. Um, Baldur's Gate 3, like, basically like ignore these two. We could sit th fit these in like a Saturday easily, right? We're talking about the major playthroughs. Um, so I do think it'd be good. Custom Robo GameCube, Evil Zone, PlayStation 1. It'd be nice to get control of more modern game in between those two, right? Um, Sonic Adventure is going to be late. If we, this is like an if we can get to it. Also, it would be fun to do Sonic Adventure close to the release of Sonic 3, which is December. So that being near the bottom of the dock, it's cool. Um, I think that's good. I think that's good. Uh, the maybe bucket, I'm actually going to keep on the docket, which I didn't think I would do. Um, but uh, there, there is a chance that we actually like burn through the docket pretty quickly. So just in case, I'm going to keep the maybe bucket around. But everything that's, that's on here, I'm kind of more stoked to play than the stuff in the maybe bucket.
you know what I'm thinking about? Xenoblade. You, Kyle, you gotta cut Xenoblade. I'm just telling you I'm thinking about it. No, 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 no. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Excuse me. I'm not. I'm. I'm not thinking about Xenoblade. I promise you. I'm thinking about Xeno Gears. <laughs> Off-screen gaming photo log you did for Tears of the Kingdom was a lot of fun. Is there a docket section for that? Uh, I think it's likely to happen for certain games like uh, Infinite Wealth, long games that I'll, I'll probably play on my own offside of chat. You know. Maybe FF7 Rebirth, you know what I mean? So we'll, those kind of just pop up naturally. Excuse me. Xeno Gears. I'm not thinking about Xenoblade, I promise you. <laughs> what is Killer Instinct week? I want to get in in January. We're thinking um some point in January. I'll figure that out. I, I don't even know what we're playing Friday, honestly. So I got a lot to figure out still. Yeah, maybe bucket and back pocket are the same thing. So let's get rid of back pocket. I think we played one game out of our back pocket last year. Honestly, stuff like... So the point of back pocket was like, it's not going to be a massive full playthrough. So this typically would have been a back pocket thing, but I don't, I don't mind this looking like how it does. Have Friday be some short dockets? Yeah, I mean, I guess we could get to it already. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually I'm actually wondering if Killer Instinct is going to be a stream every day week. I think that makes it a kind of fun event. Yeah, I think it will be. But like, so the thing is though, like some days will only be like two hours. We're just going to play Killer Instinct for two hours. I got other stuff to do today. <laughs> but uh, I really think Killer Instinct week being like a stream all week kind of thing would be fun. And also excruciating. Am I going to save the submissions wheel? Yeah. What's cool about uh, that is I can save it and it will have memorized how many things we have taken off. Saving it right now. Confirm save. Boom. There we go. Easy. Galarians didn't make it? Check this out. Halloween time. Galarians. Okay, so I said Halloween time because of how much it bothers me to say Christmas time. I'm just gonna, you know, let's, like, let's just do that. There we go. <laughs> Didn't you have to practice Killer Instinct for a while? Yeah, so the phrasing is I have to spend one week getting good with one character. And, uh... Tom Brady's law because it chat I mean like until he's until he's like out of shape I can't say for sure whether or not this man is done playing football or not you know what I mean <laughs> what was the game the bet locked out the banjo kazooie um Kyle believes that the reveal of a new banjo kazooie game will not be up to snuff if the reveal is up to snuff he must stream banjo kazooie nuts and bolts if it is not up to snuff, every art piece for the next art show must depict Sonic the Hedgehog laughing at Banjo. <laughs> will Jones rate the snuff this level? No, I don't trust Jones on this. I will determine whether it is up to snuff or not. No Zelda really hurts? Honestly, like we've, uh, I think part of the reason like Typically, I'd be like, hell yeah, we gotta stream um, uh, Majora's Mask, right? I feel like Zelda's burned me a bunch. And so I think that, like, I'm honestly nervous to stream another Zelda game. What if Tom Brady comes back in a different position? That would suck. If Tom Brady, as a kicker, makes it to a Super Bowl, it wouldn't qualify. A side-scrolling banjo game would not be up to snuff. I think I think so. However, like if it's of like tropical freeze quality, I would give it up to snuff. I would say it's up to snuff. Did I finish Oracle of Seasons? I actually did finish it, but I never started ages. Not in the mood.
He does not have to be starting quarterback. We did settle that. He could be backup quarterback, and that would still be fine. That would count. We'd be playing Tumba. You think Microsoft can make something like Tropical Freeze? No, but I didn't think, you know, I didn't think Retro could make something like Tropical Freeze, and they did. Who knows? Anybody could make anything. Could you make it the next art show after it was announced so that any current week submissions wouldn't be affected by a midweek reveal? That's very thoughtful of you. Okay, we could do that. <laughs> That's true. That's right. Because if somebody made a game on a Tuesday, sorry, made some art on a Tuesday, right? Then it would suck for them to have to like sit on that for so long. I get what you're saying. I, uh, let's respect the artists. Are we talking about the rumors of a Banjo-Kazooie game? Yeah, like, uh, that's the thing. Even if they've been debunked, I'm so sure they're having meetings about a Banjo-Kazooie game right now. They're taking the meetings. Phil wants a Banjo-Kazooie game. He hears your call, chat. He wants it to happen. But I don't think it'll be up to snuff. It's a nice track. All right, chat. Thank you so much. This was a fun stream. It always is. I look forward to this stream. Honestly, I was a little stressed to get it all together in time. No detective games. We, we stayed true to that rule. <laughs> Threads of Fate on Monday. I got to figure out Friday still. I don't think there's any big game coming out between now and Friday, right? So um, it might just be something random. Might just be a random new thing I've been wanting to play. Uh, maybe it's something I've been wanting to finish before we determine what game of the year is. SSX is more of a Saturday thing. SSX I could beat in three or four hours now. Yeah, fun way to start the year, no doubt. Would you like to raid GDQ doing Alan Wake 2 or speedrunning of Bikini Beach Spongebob? Oh, that'd be fun. Somebody, somebody speedrunning Spongebob tonight? Yeah, that, may be, that might be fun. I'd be into that. Xenogears could fit. Docket is only about 21 Mondays right now. That's interesting. That's good data, chat. And we typically get like 50 Mondays, right? The top SpongeBob speedrunner. Oh, yeah, we got to raid that. Just somebody named Shift? All right. When will I upgrade to annual SSX Tricky or three playthroughs? We only have two more characters left. On our SSX uh, save file, we have everybody maxed out except for two characters. So uh, I think once we have done a playthrough of every single character, then we regrettably transition to SSX Tricky. Yeah, super fun stream chat. Happy New Year. All right, so to recap everything we've done tonight. Excellent. First, we kicked off with an hour-long art show. That was excellent. Um, then um, uh, we did Chat Stupid Choice Awards, the inaugural <laughs> Chat Stupid Choice Awards. Excellent winners. Really good stuff. Then we, had, uh, we recapped all of 2023. We put it all into uh, Tier Maker. That was fun, too. Can we hear Blep's song one more time? Honestly, yeah, because I want to hear it, too. Honestly, I don't have a problem with it because I want to hear that song, too. Um, and Then we uh, added games from 2024 to the docket, which honestly wasn't as crazy as I thought it was going to be. Um. It's it's not a wild list, and that's because I was only adding games with a release date. Um, because that was something I was not doing last year, and the list got kind of uh, bad. <laughs> if, if, like, I need something solid, because otherwise it just gets pushed and pushed and pushed right off the list, like Silk Song being on there. So um, we don't add anything onto the docket unless it has a date now. Um, and then, yeah, what do we... We spun uh, 50? We picked 50 things? 
50 spins? That's not bad. Trade car desk quest. Bring the trade quest. Load the car mem the quest quest. Load mem trap desk quest. Bring the trade quest. Load desk quest. Bring the trade quest. Load 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 desk quest. Bring yep. the trade quest. Load. I was right desk again, quest. my stupid the chat. Mem trap quest. Bring the trade quest. The PS5 and the original Xbox are the same size. Bring. I like the way you work. Desk quest. Bring the dirt bag it. Mem trap stupid chat. Bag it. Bag it. Desk quest. Bring the trade quest. Slippery, 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 slippery. My streamer recommends change of life. A high quality of life improvement. Trust me on this. I like the way you work. Dirt bag it in. Stupid chat. Bag it, bag it up. Jingle bells. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one horse. Oh, then slay, slay. Twerking is sexually oh, suggestive dancing. Slay on a one horse. Oh, you are a strange then one. Slay. Characterized slay. by rapid, repeated hip thrusts. Oh, then slay. <laughs> and shaking slay. up the buttocks. You're right, we're getting banned for this. Fucking kill all this shit. Quarantine it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck this shit. Fuck all of that. Yeah, destroy it. Yes, chat. Twerking means something other than one particular butt dance. She has such a cute way of walking. Way of walking, What's going on with the way she walks? She kind of wiggles her butt. Like, oh, my, my god. Look at this guy. Her butt. <laughs> Are just hot. Black, blue, I love the jiggle on this guy. Wait, hold on. You think you're a good girl? I like my life. You promised me a good girl. No, you're being a bad girl. Come on now. Walking, trying to get the sippy of my family, but you don't get my sippy at all. Black, blue, making colors of this guy. Oh, you're making colors of this guy. 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 You're that's Blepisaur. That's A Way of Walking by Blepisaur. Oh, is that Big Buddy at the end? Yeah, honestly, there's so many layers at the end. I'm having a hard time keeping track. Kevin the Deviant. Thanks for being a brand new subscriber. Wow. Wow. What a way to kick off the year. All right, so here's the thing. I think it is me singing I, 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 I'm a little butterfly. But, like, I don't even know, like, when I would sing the rest of those lyrics that I don't know. Like, I hear, like, red and blue, blue, and a blue and red. And what is that? What is that part? Who's singing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toxic League is happening. Uh, They're making some changes to... Uh, did Blepisaur also do You Don't Talk to Me? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also a, a Blepisaur piece. Um... There's an update coming to uh, Fantasy Critic where uh, it'll, I guess, make it easier for huge leagues like ours. I should go full screen. Um, we have so many people in our league, right? Like, it's going to make it easier to divide into divisions on us, on their side. So we won't have to, like, technically have so many managers in so many different leagues. Conferences, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's an update coming, uh, apparently January 6th, but like, who knows? I don't want to pressure them. Let them figure out what they're doing at their, in their own time for sure. Uh, but, uh, that'll be, that'll be how we're doing that. And we're definitely waiting for that to happen first. Uh, also my game of the year and your game of the year is going to be a stream. I would like to do that next weekend, but we'll see. Maybe that's a, maybe that's a, this Saturday kind of thing. So. That's still, chat, those are still open. You can still get in there. You can, you can still submit um, to your best of 2023. Do you see this? That's like, it's like dried coffee. You see what I see? Is it a scab or is it dried coffee? <laughs> Man, who knows at this point? What's the difference? Previously said it was the 6th. Okay, which is what? Which is Saturday? Yeah, it's Saturday. Um, 
Your lips are so dry. I know it, Chad. I know. <laughs> the human suit is falling to pieces. Yeah, you're seeing some of the bug underneath. <laughs> Looking kind of scruffy. I feel scruffy. I feel, I feel like today's stream was like 12 hours long. It's not even, it wasn't even that long of a stream. They got to be in by four or five Saturday so that we can get them into the spreadsheet. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, chat, if you've got your top 10, yeah, there's no form for that. There's no form for it. It is all on the discord. It's like, there's one specific channel called like 2023, uh, best of best of 2023. So, uh, get your top 10 in there. And what's fun is there's uh particular categories like best location, I think best character is one. So those are pretty fun. It's not top 10. That's right. There, I think there's 10 categories. There's like your best game and then your five, your four runners up and then like other categories beside that. Yep, yep, yep. Thanks, Wujack, for uh, clarifying that. <laughs> Sent you a whisper. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot about all the shit that I was doing at the beginning of the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to raid shift. I was ready 10 minutes ago, but then I got distracted. <laughs> Apologies for that. Let me set that up now. The top. No, I forgot what game shift is streaming. <laughs> I forgot. You said they're the best player of this game in the world, and I got so excited. SpongeBob, Bikini Bottom, the top SpongeBob, Bikini Bottom streamer in the world. I know you said you don't like dogfight games, but you have to play Ace Combat 5 at some point. It will change your life. One of your favorite games of all time, and it's just a flying game. How is it going to change my life? Tell me, tell me it's not about two people trying to get behind each other. A quick thanks to you and chat for continuing to foster such a positive community. Lots of shitty stuff lately, but this group is, of people remains great. Yeah, that's a pretty good group of people. Gotta be honest with you, it's pretty good chat. You get pregnant when you play it? All right, chat, come on now. <laughs> Ace Combat 5 impregnated me. I will never be the same. Makes you older when you're done playing, okay. Chat, are we up to snuff? This chat is up to snuff, absolutely. No doubt. Um, okay, Chatteroonie. Uh, that's it. I'll be back Friday and Saturday. There will be a new delayed input this week, so we're back in full force, but I have not yet determined what the schedule is, so we got I gotta figure out what Friday's stream is. I'm pumped for it, though. Uh, the docket looks great. RZ, the Jewel of Faramore. I'm excited to play that. Um, this stream impregnated me. Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> 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 all right that's stupid we're not gonna keep that joke going um thanks everybody super fun stream very fun stuff excited for 2024 uh yeah enjoy yourselves i'll be uh i'll be back here friday see you then thanks everybody it's a robot party it's a robot party it's a robot party it's a robot party. Tie your shoe. It's a robot party. Pick the 